Alright. Guess it's time. Go in, do the new conquest. Some dailies to do. Let's show them. Show them out. Just wondering. So we should probably start off with some. Dailies and. Oh, some new and new way. And that. The new. War game simulation event. Well, however, that takes some time. So I did that already. Gonna do that next week. Oh, that's only seven or so days? I mean, ten or so days? Now, that's a surprise to me. Because it makes sense if there's really no associated storyline. Check something real quick. Hajime Tenshi, how are you doing? I'm just... Oh, and... I don't really show the mail, but we got a bit of a reward for a glitch being fixed. I'm doing great, how are you doing? Good to see you again. How did that D&D &D session go? Any big upgrade? Any big updates on what happened? Because I know last time you said... is Are you making progress towards becoming a Nazgul or something? Okay, let me see, let me see... Let's grab that, and... How'd you been mush Wait, wait, I thought you said you couldn't show up. Okay, so in that case... Since... You express interest in the teapot stuff... I feel like it should go in and at least show off... Okay, cool. So in that case, I'll show you the one thing you probably want to see. Oh! Civil War is happening in the kingdom? Oh, goodness. So, the crazy king is being deposed, maybe? Presumably. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the Sumeru teapot, so you can see Skarmusha's stuff. Interesting, so... I assume that the big difference is just, they're more willing to actually confront the monster threat. Okay, so, which ones are Skara related? That's Skara's sets again. Just gotta bring him in and see what you wanted to see. The gift sets are over here, and let's check. So the course of desert and wood, and okay, so all his stuff is outside. Course of river wood and quiet times by the river bank. So one of these is gonna be the scar one. There we go. Okay, let's add this guy. And then there's the other. Oh, but it's on cooldown because I didn't add him in already. I'm an imbecile. Okay. So I can bring him in here to yell at us. Someone is... Okay. Second. Interesting! So it's a legitimacy question. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, they're... Not... Getting rid of the monarchy. They're putting in a new monarchy, most likely. Unless things actually change, which would be interesting. Well, it, I think we're I think we're about to start splitting hairs here. Okay, so let's put in Wander real quick, so he can yell at us or something. Yell at us that our teapot looks stupid. Okay, there we go. Please save. Okay, never mind. So we can bring him over here, right? Collect the gifts you already have, so he moved to the other spot already. You've got to be kidding. There he is. Of course he wasn't cooperative. But it... The big thing is that... I mostly try to fit in all of these sets. Doesn't look amazing, amazing. But at least everything's there. Hello there. Time for Prima Gems. And gloomy and too frigid, so they're sporous and says, nah, that's interesting. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. I'm human, nothing will make me hate it. Moods every once in a while, too, you know. Oh my goodness. So, can we. Yep, yeah, there we go. We got the Prima Gems and the Gods to Praxis, and wait, he disappears? Oh, okay, so he moves on to the next one after you collect the first set of rewards. Alright, Sean, Sean. So, allow me to get in the next set over here by this village. 
It's interesting how the Samaru, they just had so many more sets in Samaru. We should become human, one day be able to lead a normal life. Never fulfill it. Finding even harder to make it come true. This is making me a fool for hoping. That's... ouch. Okay, so where did he move now? Okay, he just moved back to... the point where I originally placed him. So let's actually just move him to the other set where he was before. Let's give him a little bit of space. Oh! So, at least it was funny, huh? I guess that's some relief. Where could I put our little guy? Yeah. So, did you go and beat up the demon afterwards, or was it... Did it just get released? Okay, so he should have some normal dialogue now, too. And we did get to collect some teapot rewards. Hello. Oh, yeah? You're here. Want to fend for themselves. Okay, how do you like it? Hmm. Just say, just say it. Hmm. Nothing. Spending a name. Really empty, empty space. Right, criticizing lifestyle choices. Could be grateful, your home, arrange it as you wish. Person passing through. Okay, so we could probably move him to a more specific position. They have so many dialogue options. What is it? This place, not a good luck. Think about something in name. It's for things if I could. Always gonna be things beyond ability. Over time, maintain the status quo. Arrange it as you wish. Okay. So, let's see what we can... Will this change his positioning? It didn't seem to change anything. Maybe it just automatically changed the difference. Oh, if you do the invitation, it will repeat the voice line. Ah, uh, interesting, okay. Interesting the metric force that says not it. Rocket it, let's hear it. Start, not gonna happen. Nothing fun or positive. And we know you're depressive, frank with everyone. Oh, goodness. Honestly, have you ever played... Either Zelda Link to the Past or Zelda Link's Awakening. Because I don't think he shows up in Link Between Worlds, but there's this demon called the Mad Batter. Who, if you free him from a well, quote unquote, curses you, but he curses you with increasing your item capacity. So it's just a buff played off as a curse. And it does have a sort of releasing a demon kind of framing to it. Always been the case. Fond of tea. Bitterness, no sweet aftertaste. Inventions of human conversation, a cup, drink lots of what? General, I could drink it. Fitness is the one he likes the best. Spices and sweetness. Life is bitter. There you go, nice! Uh oh. We can handle the truth before or after it. As you kid yourself, it's just not a lot of sweet aftertaste. How philosophical. Interesting, so I presume you're gonna have to fight it again eventually. Do you like window seats? What do you wanna do? Whatever it is, give it some thought, where the line is, and then bend it. Kidding? Won't make you suffer just for amusement. Need to eat, puppets need to eat, not necessary, not for me. Fascinating dinner tables, cordial and considerate. Harbinger's banquets. Mission Zay to Slink. Any good drama. Something to work with, desserts, but he doesn't like sweetness, right? An apology, an error in judgment, mean streak, fully incorruptible. Okay, so what would the other dialogue option? It's cool to have a lot of trees here. Talking about food, food, food. <laughs> then, see, not necessary. Right, right, more about the Harbingers. Harbinger, if we'll ever see one of those and work with. Personal favorites. Awkward, at least enjoy the food. Okay. So, you got to see, you got to see Wander, and that's the important thing. So, we have our quick little Samaria commissions, and then I think I'll do the quest. The funny thing is that Samaria's Adventure Guild is actually where I want to go to do the quest. Permanent- oh wow, a permanent stat penalty. That's not the kind of thing that often happens in 5e in my experience. I respect the- I respect that. Okay. Come on, come on. 
Let's just see. There. Oh, but right, he's still got Winsith on him, right? Probably. Here we go. It's just the guy from before. The crit damage on Winsith is still fantastic. Oh, interesting. So very specifically, they all have lots of permanent stat debuffs as an ability they can just do. That's interesting. I It's the kind of thing you need to handle with a light touch so it wouldn't get frustrating. But it definitely sounds like it puts a lot more stakes to fights. So is the stab just something done by DM Fiat, or was it... Was it a critical failure on your part, or a critical success on its? So we have... Oh, 20... 40... 60... 76 <laughs> characters, and that's 40 per, and that's... 28... 304... Four. Four. Three or forty Prima gems, so that's still not even twenty rolls, but every little bit, given that Emily's coming up now. Let's collect all those rewards. And also you get some talent books and some shards, which should help out a little. In the end I just should have collected those rewards a long time ago. Okay, cool. Do I want to do this? Oh, and it's right there. Cool. Then we have a couple in the desert. Oh, oh, okay. So as in clerics can just heal it innately, or... Oh! Mind you, I... <laughs> the exact opposite. I have every character right now except for Sethos and Clorinde at Friendship 10, meaning that I just have Zhongli and Wander in the party for the sake of convenience. Because being able to fly is great. Oh, it's because... Oh, that was the other teapots. I have one teapot that I just have for friendship storage and to get to maximum potential energy for rewards. I was showing off other teapots where I just put down all the sets in order to collect rewards because I can get about 20 or so rolls, which I don't need right now. It's more for, don't even really need them for Sigwin right now. Rolls for the sake of Emily when she comes around because that's going to be something. Welcome back. Like I said before, literally any and all fan art is welcome. You do not need to you're a bad reaction. The thought is what counts, and I'm sure it's going to be better than anything I could draw to begin with. Holy blessing. Interesting. So then it would be an 8th level spell? Okay, it's good to see you again. How are you doing? But, as I was saying before, I guess that would be... That reminds me of Greater Restoration. So is it kind of like a homebrew version of Greater Restoration? Glad to hear you're doing well. Because, so I suppose in that case it's basically just effectively a curse effect, so it's semi-permanent. Alignment change is interesting. I'm not sure I ever told this story before, but there was a campaign I was in which was interesting in that the DM had a big crush on one of the players, which is always very, very bad news. But, among other things... Oh, okay, but it... So it's not the kind of thing that's horrible to get rid of, but it requires some roleplay interaction. This should take the bait, fishing rod, full of fish, fish of things that aren't fish, Kaivan. Hide all this, new bait for you, fishing process, continue fishing my way. Tier of bait, so we gotta fly around, get around there, Patisara, or near everyone will do. So what else do we need to find? Since Seti Wheat, Patisara. Oh, so is this just normal then? That's simple. Don't have to do any poking around. But basically what happened was We beat a group of mercenaries early on. 
Clorinda is fun and her mobility is great. She also has a lot of self-sustain, but her damage simply is not as high as Alhytham. Alhytham is is and remains a bit overpowered and is he is incredibly broken with the new battle pass sword. If you have any interest in that, Wolfang. But okay, fifty, right? Well, that isn't horrible, horrible, but it's still not meaningless. We're going this time, the fishing. So what else are we gonna get here? Web package, a short while later. Have a look, things in here, lost items again, right, exactly. This is the normal fishing. So is that all? Get out of the water, can't catch any fish, yeah, yeah, yeah. You fish it up, yeah, he is probably the best Dendro on fielder. Dendro skill, just want to catch a fish. Thing with all hyphen though is... His primary weakness is that he does need a decent amount of energy recharge a lot of the time. And in addition to that, because I run him with... I mean, that's not crazy crazy, but you do need something. You know, all Hytham is busted. The big thing is that he has basically triple dipping elemental mastery scaling in his kit. Because he triggers a lot of spread reactions with his normals when well, well his E effect is up. And he gets part of the modifier for his E steel damage is just EM part of it. Oh nice, let me see. Modifier and then you were Let's spend some time. Oh my goodness. Right, 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 let me see. Check and Oh! It has a Maginarium Theater on here, even though it's not out yet. Let me check that out. Okay, so you've got the Marchose, nice. The one thing would, of course, be this crit damage. That'd be the one difference, and... Yeah, Proto Amber's good. Proto Amber's good. I have tried running Proto Amber on him sometimes, but not really anymore. Yeah, because it's interesting that this is already on here, even though the mode won't be accessible for a couple more weeks, which is, well, I'll probably be starting at next patch. Okay, let's collect this. Oh, okay, equipment. And is it possible to sell the equipment? Or, oh, I should have checked the talent levels. Let's see. Talent levels on... For a game? About all hit them or oh and yep, of course you gotta take that up higher than anything else. Might even be worth crowning him. I crowned Bennett's burst and Jongling's burst a few days ago to try to be the super boss event, which it didn't really work. Well as in get the highest possible rank, even though there weren't associated rewards. So I guess the question is, well first of all, I gotta kill the toll buffer. Sigwin materials, but the real question is, how am I going to... And this is the team I use. Curse. Oh, okay, and is there not a good way to detect curses? What level is everyone right now, anyway? Okay, go over and... Run and dodge that, take that down, cool. Fair enough! Thanks for popping in. I hope it goes well. Thanks. I'm excited. And you can down and... Dodge, dodge, and... Okay, nice. That took longer than I expected. We got way too far away from all that. Okay, cool. One, two, there we go. Nice. This team works really, really well in the Tulpa. Just being able to constantly get all of its reactions off without having to worry. Well, getting vaporizes and overloads at the same time. Okay, so cryo damage bonus, but it's not a particularly good one. So if equipment doesn't work, I wonder what that means in context for D&D. &D. Does it mean that it uses a lower damage die than normal or has a penalty to hit? But, oh, like I was saying, basically, to make a long story short, in that D&D &D campaign, the player who the DM had a crush on, she took a crown, a magic crown, from someone from a group of mercenaries who we beat, and it turned her from lawful good to chaotic evil, and she quickly became under started undermining the party 
But the DM repeatedly prevented us from doing anything to stop her. Level 5. Okay, level 5. And right, you were Cavalier and Tempest. Oh, but... Fighter doesn't get... It's been a while since I've looked at fighter stuff. So you just plan to get Cavalier Fighter. You haven't actually specced into it yet because you need more levels of fighter to get the subclass, right? Or am I wrong? The big question is, is that if this is in Sumeru, who should I run? This is Archon and Conry Associated. Yeah, I'll be funny. I'll just put in put in a bunch of Fatuli Associated characters. Should be fine. Oh, okay, interesting. What's the level up pace like? Do you predict you're gonna get to the right level? Oh, no dedicate. Wow. So did everyone trade off, or did everyone sort of obsessively avoid the front line? So either way, we're right. Oh, but right, if we're in Sumeru, we should have Nahir in case we can do any mind reading. Let's just see how it works. That's... A, that sounds tough. Then, still nothing, because she is a robot. The classic. Okay, cool, time to actually start the Archon quest. Crystal, name's written all over it, only months for the job. Help is really that important, Archon class commission, never heard of a commission, need to deal with today. Interesting, because people were running out of health, or... Did, did they just not want to risk it? Was it a roleplay thing, maybe? Not as intimidating? Doesn't employ that classification? Find a missing person. Is it Carver? Only wants for the job. Mission review our backlog. Doesn't success of efforts. Volunteer and failure, even though famous people have tried. Well, thanks for popping in. See you around. Smart, smart son of Reagan. Have a nice plan where I did. Say hi to the family. We went to the Sumeru branch. Highest completion rate. We did get rid of a hole in the sky. Get you everywhere with Palmon. Can't get until we can complete it. Give it your best shot. Capabilities. Commissioner about canceling. Mission. Well, I... I am going to talk about myself for a bit. Just... The class and subclass combination, I always honestly had the most fun playing back when I played 5e more often. It was Bladesinger. Just because... And to be fair, Bladesinger is arguably pretty overpowered. But just... The fact that you could be a capable frontliner as a wizard just due to your evasiveness was a lot of fun. And frankly, just being able to dodge helped a lot with keeping up concentration spells. It's so hard to complete. Jointly issued by the Dimara Village. Villagers has gone missing. Don't know their name, only their appearance. Village don't know his name. Interesting. Nanima Shiranai. They know nothing. Doesn't exist. Could be a prank. Likely, since your tone of voice and appearance. Seem like a joke. Resting fee, no prank to spend more. All strange. Best to go to the village and ask around. Went directly and avoid misdirection. I guess it's okay. Getting curious about this whole thing. Alright, bedtime story. So she can have any special dialogue here right now, or. Okay. There's nothing special. Not even an extra dialogue option. That's. Life. I did not mean to do that! Free healing, I guess. Cold case commission. Very tricky commission for your docket. So we go over to the village from before. Definitely want to see what Nahida might be able to make work. Yeah, does anyone have any new dialogue? Villagers to learn more about the missing guy. Talk to Baram. It's challenging. What the fuck? Konai. Fodder with Quirk, Warren Quirk. Yeah, and the big thing is that. And I guess concentration might make a difference. But you don't necessarily have to be a melee weapon user to be DPS, especially if you're running Tempest. As I'm sure you know. Especially since... There really isn't anything that you can't use magic on. There are things that you can't use weapons on unless they're enchanted, but... You're not gonna die using magic. So he has nothing to say, right? Because they don't do anything for the Archon quest. 
Right, right, right. Buy well, something, do business in this area. Ventures commissioned here in the village. About that then, not the first. Made a lot of trouble for you all. Being on much hope, confident help us, nothing to show for their efforts. Here in questions, overturned for clues, no one made any headway. Or what's his name, where does he live, any relatives? Shiranai? They don't know anything. No clue, couldn't tell you, sick of answering the questions. Time short, just the answer, no go, anything else to tell us. Can you offer a strong impression, developing memories of him? Oh, it's some wayline screwery. No specifics, long gone information. One seems to think. <coughs> Only logical conclusion. So, what kind of person was he? Young guy, early 20s. Kind and helpful. Chat with him, is that so bad? Stick out his neck, very interesting. If I feel happier, you'll have to go to refreshing. Of course, everyone's fond of him, would have issued the commission otherwise. Everyone of people like him, genuine and pure, up and disappeared, hope nothing bad happened. Good way without telling anyone, wouldn't do without saying goodbye, and without seeing C, couldn't manage it. Let's grant some more. Interesting, talk to Amadea, the elderly head of the village, with failing eyesight. Hope he's okay, can't even you to find him. So now we go over here, conveniently, we can fly in- oh, we just fell down. Because they didn't expect us to travel by air, did they? Oh yeah? Kyokujin Kai? Guess, yeah. Or customers. He's from the same vein. Guy who's gone missing. Oh, jeez, son. Well, this way for our sake, case is in good hands. Bit about him, of course, happy to help out like it. What she don't eat. Of course it's okay. Going eyesight, yep, exactly. Mega Fuju there. Nothing about how he looks. His voice, now recently, was empty. So how long ago? Parents on around, never seemed lonely, offered companionship to others. Is it the elderly or played with orphans? Seeing other mind, listen with open ears, do you just what to say. Thanks, navigate difficult moments. Oh, milestone leveling. So you said there were seven kingdoms? So presumably you maybe get to around level 15 by the end of all that, if you solve all the problems. I guess the question would be whether the sort of final events of the storyline... Oh, so if there were ten, then... Oh, right, okay. Me when I confuse your game rule to that from Genshin. I think that... Does your DM have epic boons in mind, or is he just gonna cap you out at 20, or... I guess the big thing, maybe the thing to do would be, is if you're on multi-classes, and this might be what he has in mind, that you could just get a combined level higher than 20, but not higher than 20 in any single class... That's a bit of what I did. I, I, I was running a campaign based on fate some time ago, and all the serve all the servants at levels over 20, with the highest being 30, but they could still only get 20 in a single class, so they were all inherently multi-classes, but their proficiency bonus kept going up. That was the big difference. Moments in their lives, responsibilities, one rising to the occasion, I don't know, I see. General person and nice, his appearance affected you all. Name, address, or family situation? Can't remember. Information doesn't come, it just come up with me. It's definitely way on screwy. Remember, figure something out. Alright, now. Hmm. Time to keep going. So, when are we gonna run into Dainsley? Laila Domo, more than meets the eye, doesn't add up. Think so too. Weird, no one remembers his name. Able to tell us about his family, erased from reality, it only exists in memories. Not that he's been erased, but he never existed. Exists in people's memories. Your Devada, mass alteration. Right, exactly, your missile. Just arrived, and who are you? The Lord's Commission? Being the case. Give it up, so worry, the commission might be cancelled. Atosa. Searching for him, you have to find him. Track him down, try our best. Oh! So, as opposed to a normal capstone. Interesting. Okay. Stop. 
So if it's capped at 20, but the campaign is supposed to stop at 18, what... What might that imply? That's interesting. Now, the way you'd follow me, I'd like to show you a certain place. Go to the place indicated, which is over there. So, do Amadea and Varam have anything to say right now, or... Let's do it right over here. I'm searching, see what I can remember. Think of something, be sure to let you know. I do like that he got involved, given that he was a big part of the Aranyaka questline. Not you, not you. Good, I could get out. And the guy from before is not even here anymore. Okay. So what's over this way? This is... This might be around the place that the op at Nihira Story Quest might have been. Awesome. So that portal over there ends. No, but we're not going in that. That would require Aaron Yak anyway, because you'd have to have... Have to have the liar. Interesting. The place under this tree. Oh, I think... Saw a graphic. I know that... In the startup menu, they've got a big tree and Lamine and Ether, full and full of memories, so it's probably somebody else's memories burgeoning on the real world due to some ermine soul screwing. And talk. It's her skin, hours at a time, never realizing how long it had been. Okay, I feel like they're probably implying some some summer stuff, that they're all remembering me somehow. The easiest way to do this would be to check whether the name changes based on pronouns change based on let's see cold case commission based on player gender and no it's a male character regardless of whether you're playing as Ether or Lumine so it might be Carver, it might be Gainsleaf, it might be someone else how long it had been adopted by the people of the village Woods is a child people growing up it's lively could not but feel alone alone so is she Kanri related sure talk about it with somebody sort of oh oh wow interesting I remember seeing back in 3.5 there was I think it was called the book of nine swords and it basically was an attempt to make melee characters who functioned as spellcasters, because only spellcasters were good in 3.5. And that's... a lot of people have talked about the idea of how to make marshals balance with casters. And a lot of it... What people have said, and this I agree with, is just... Letting them do feats of truly supernatural skill, like, I don't know... A sword beam with pure martial ability... Because at least for one, just the lack of AoE does hurt them a bit. Somebody didn't know who I could talk to, say anything at all. You know, if you can call down a meteor swarm at level 17 as a wizard or cast a wish, the fact that all you get as a fighter is just being able to attack four times around seems a bit lackluster. Should at least be able to, I don't know, cut a mountain in half or something. Problems to deal with, confide in others. Get what you mean, what family is for, exactly how I feel, a family member, the sibling. My friends would be happy to hear me. Oh, nice. Really nice, quite lucky, missing villagers. Say that to me, felt like both family and a friend. Understand me? Oh, so people are up there now, so... It's a real vision, or... Simply metaphorical? How diegetic is it? I'd always talk to him. Not full and pure impatient, so interested, just important to him as they were to her. Disappeared so much I wanted to tell him. So this is definitely about the Traveler's relationship with the sibling, at least a little, but I want to see him again. So I guess the question is, and did he tell you? Storms are mounted... Oh, fun. I wonder if that Excalibur would deal some kind of physical damage, or I don't know, radiant damage. Not close, ever tell you anything about himself? Thinks he saw, and wild ideas as well. Parents are not here anymore. Bunch of pounds away, didn't want to pry. Much to go off of. It's like you're real, nothing to show for it. Wasn't, sorry, wasn't more help. So, don't say that, helps us understand him better. Why something talks as much more go when we're still together. Time we talk, seem to grow in dusk like right now. So, is he some sort of manifestation? Now, slowly, feel like we've been talking for hours, sun in the same position in the sky. Interesting. I feel like getting additional mount attacks could be useful. 
was playing Sekiro yesterday, and I guess it could be like Giovo or something. Relax, what's wrong? Net time never seemed to pass. Not a regular case. Keep unraveling mystery. So I can see some stuff up there. I see some people. And there are those dolls or pillatrols over there, obviously, acting a little strange. What kind of memories are weighing it. You can see that portal and the abyss mage. Disorder, one's behind all this. Abyss of Kyodai. Nanika Yatomaka. And do you see me right now? Or. Oh, wait, are you gonna talk? Are you gonna fight? They're ready to fight. Well, at first we definitely have to fight. The, the Abyss Order monsters, and. So, for whatever reason, there are these little dolls up there in the tree, and I. Oh, okay, so he has a Conria outfit for sure. That tells me something. So, let's get ripped up on you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would be happy to see that. That's cool. Yeah, I... I would understand him not wanting to let other people see all his hard work. Oh, but that already went down. Oh, right after. Forgot how Arlequino worked. Oh, and... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we gotta find a way to get them all in one place, presumably. Actually, swirls would be nice. But, oh, the burning grass... Okay, that was really funny. Can I... Mm -hmm. Spin. And... There we go, and... Oh my goodness. And we can break that shield too, so... Yeah, I would love to see that. That'd be great. Okay. So, let's just get this down too. More Riptides. It's a silly way to do it, but... Deliberately did not make a particularly useful team for this. Okay, cool. Take that down, get more bond, and we're right here. Hmm. We got the monster show up, hadn't been here, not sure what I would have done. No trouble. The disorder doing around here. Definitely Conry related. A lot more active. You know that Conry is underground, so it'd be interesting. Maybe it might shift underground, like some sort of tectonic plate thing. Maybe. Agitated to take anything inside, doesn't let them play the area around the village anymore. This order is involved. Head back, check out the situation in the village. Order's plotting something, small trouble for the villagers. So the first part of the quest is finished, and at the very least I got an achievement. Dane's Leaf. Hello! Oh, and he just blew up some hill trails, I guess. Hello. Mm -hmm. Show us more of your powers. Kisamatachi. Oh, this is actually... Simpson's car about where I actually heard his Japanese voice as a person. Yuri Lowenthal broke out the Prima Gem eyes and the mask. Friend of yours, and... I'll do it. Check up on Amadea. See you later. See you later. Atosa. So what is he going to tell us about, then? What kind of revelation will we get this time? Mataku? Thought of no rock that jump scare us or something. Slapachi? Interesting, because when he says Kisama, he clearly means it in an actual polite way instead of the sarcastic way that it's usually used. Personal or intentional, both in pursuit of the order, bound across pass, investigate them, monsters you're fighting just now, not here for the same purpose, run into them on access, on accident, want to catch on, something strange about this place, oh, dusk has stayed, so this area plan could be in motion, yo, I'll check right now, give me a second, could be in motion, then, mm -hmm. that, Oh, oh. Not interesting. So there are ten kingdoms, but... Interesting. Oh, it was in ten kingdoms in the Greece-esque area, and then eight kingdoms in the Imama, Nabadian, in the sort of Persian area. Oh, that's cool. Honestly, it reminds me a bit of Fire Emblem Awakening. 
in that it's, you know, two big continents right across from each other. Or I guess more sort of Arcanea and Valentia more specifically. I need to actually play Fire Emblem games eventually. Quite a bit of Awakening a while ago, but didn't get very far. And, uh, so I guess, presumably, the campaign will either spend a decent amount of time on the right continent, or... Oh, so they might be the Garleans, then? Oh, no, not, not, not 14, but 16. Not 14, but 16. 16 is gonna come out on PC relatively soon, right? That's another game series I want to try getting through in its entirely in its entirety. It'd be really fun to play them all in order. The big question is that for the retro ones, there's so many versions, and I'm not sure which ones I choose. Motion, electrical activity in the area. Things stand. How we doubt this is primary motive. My product, what they try to accomplish. A lot of problems. Probably some sort of internal dusk. The trailer did say the Lumu fate is already completed. Like the village, don't you think? Best way to protect them, figure out the plans, prevent further tragedy. Work for the villagers and give us answers. Have them never intend to hide anything. Ample time to talk. So the reveals are starting. What you've learned until the sky grows dark. Okay. Interesting. Right here to the village. So have you gotten a chance to play 16 yet? Because I know it's only on PS5 right now, and that's one of the reasons I haven't. Also, also interested in the remakes of Final Fantasy VII, though I would want to play the original first. Which I really should have by now. The only one I've really played is Persian, Noxus, and... Oh, Griffith. Griffith's Empire. Interesting. Exactly. I'm not a real Souls fan, because I haven't read Berserk yet. I'm waiting till I finish learning Japanese so I can read it in the original. At least that's my excuse. Oh, it only existed memory is indeed intriguing. We give a simple missing person's case, connection to the order is unclear. Increased hillary activity, not much to go off of. I think the interesting thing is that based on what the little I know about Berserk, yeah, it, it honestly seems more like a Devil May Cry game than a standard RPG, which a lot of people don't necessarily like, but I think I would find it fun. Because the combat can get really, really skillful at higher difficulties, especially. And from what I've heard, Clive is a really, really fun protagonist. And the narrative is mature without being overly edgy. I am excited, but it definitely will be some time until I actually get to play it. Social activity, not much to go off of until you promised me. Serious voice of the sinner! <laughs> Ah, do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Man, we're speaking, yes. Exactly, hesitation. I haven't figured out the whole truth. Hope to reconcile, or hope the damage not yet been done. The situation is different. Long betrayed Dane's leaf and their nation. Better film here, the vision. Visitor Fermier. Better film here, the visionary. So he was mentioned before the end of the. Fontaine Archon Quest by Skirk. My older brother. Yeah. Do you have any other brothers? Tsuga? Whatever happened in Kavi and between the two of you. Five of them, five sinners. Kane no Godai Sumi. Rise, Shrub Tatir. Visionary, better fool near. Gold, Rand, Ogon, Goku, Goku Akuki, the most evil, Sutologi. Rosher of Solnari. I feel like looking that up. What is that title? Avenger. The Avenger of Solnari. OV. Oh, like an original video animation. So kind of a shorter. Interesting. That would be cool. Especially. I, I, I would bet. I bet that. He has no interest in letting that map go to waste. It's just, when you put that much work into work and thought into it, you don't want to just leave it be. So that's interesting that there were five sinners, and the big one we saw was better full near. Of course, there's Ryan Dodier, Albedo's mom, and Surtologi, who is Skirk's master. Okay, this is getting really interesting. So I guess that at least a few of these should probably be characters in... 
presumable Conria chapter, which kind of calls into question my speculation that Conria is when we'd get a lot of character ults. They'd run out of characters to put in. That's three? Oh, wow. Have they run any other campaigns in it yet, or have they just been sitting on it? The Wise and the Avenger. Those are the ones we don't know about yet. Where my memory will become. Never forget their names. Have my vengeance. Uh, a bit of distortion there. Oh, wow. Rondo, exactly, Rondo here is Albedo's, and those three were the ones that Skirk mentioned, and the other two, Ravier and Frisvogir? Oh my goodness. The wise one haven't been mentioned yet. Albedo, but the others, Pedro, the Knight of Extreme Evil is what he was called in Chinese and Japanese, and then of course we have the alchemist Rondo here. Then, Better Fulnir was also mentioned then. Was the sinner, quoth or to create the Abyss Order, was him. So behind the Abyss Order. So it's essentially the Conrad Guards and Royal Family, arguably, versus the Abyss Order. Connected, Stone Slate's found in the Ruin. The Prophecy, Better Fulnir is doing as well. I guess... What does... So was it intended to stir up fighting against the Divine? Dragon Oh, oh, okay. So do they have players play as the Empire in order to sort of figure out the historical events of the world? Dragonborn. So presumably the Dragonborn one would be the prequel, right? So it's a, it's a, Whenever you've got a dragon-dominated era in fantasy, that's always way in the past, right? Oh, that's really cool. I know I've heard me people mention DMs using... Stuff in the past, turning villain campaigns into future antagonists for one. So the nation best of the peers outstanding in fields. So a prophet, a knight, and an alchemist for one, and then the wise, maybe a philosopher, and the avenger, maybe a secret policeman. Six of us stop the Vinster King. Foundation of the world, Vinster. Vinster meaning. Sir. The Dark, Dark King. So that'd be a person or maybe King Nibelung. So within five person or more, could not resist the abyss, and wanted. They divided a rule destroying power. So five portions, sinners, transcendent beings, possession of rule shattering power. So my current none of them defended, none of them friend of the tragedy. To give them contact with Petter Full here. Stop, betray the entire world. What you were telling me. Big Lord Rod! Never intended to hide anything from you. Moving to all this time. Questions surrounding the moon of fate. Sense of financial operation. Right, and oh, it's so funny that they have a whole CG for. We will be reunited quests from. Three years ago, for Spiel Tiller, part of their plan from coming to fruition. Okay, so he still has, he's still holding on to it, presumably. So they did mention the idea, and this actually looks a lot like the perpetual heart of perpetual mechanical array ended up doing. Oh, okay. So was it never always planned for that, or? I wonder how much of that was planned out. We have to sound like a god or something. Obvious, a technical experiment or something else. Well, the plan failed to obtain it. Skip the experimental phase. Other way to keep moving forward. That effect. Maybe the dust stuff going on here. Not too late, is it? So you can determine its purpose and deserves to their true objective. That's fair. It. Last year, I know that Dwarf Fortress actually got its real release with quote unquote real graphics, among other things. And I tried it a few times many, many years ago when I was much younger. And the thing that really interested me was the adventure mode, actually. Especially the fact that you could play adventure mode in a normal Dwarf Fortress world that you had run yourself. And basically explore your own history and its consequences. If I'm sure there's some kind of multiplayer mod for Dwarf Fortress. I feel like it could be really cool to either do a normal playthrough myself and then do an adventure mode playthrough in there with maybe myself or maybe other people. Yeah, let's just look that up real quick. Plot of... Oh, interesting. 
So I guess if you go to the other kingdom, there might be a lot of old bloody battlefields or something. Let me see. Dwarf Fortress Adventure. Multiplayer? Is there a multiplayer for that? Multiplayer Dwarf Fortress or... Adventure mode is turn-based, but it is cooperative. Interesting. Huh. And a plug-in. Oh, it's been around for a while. That could be an interesting idea. Do you need to figure out more things to do in multiplayer in the future? What are the ley lines in some way? Ley lines, Jimiyako. Siblings' memories, ley lines were unstable. So probably messing with the ley lines to control the world? This order activity in Pinerco area followed with ley line issues. Flows are memories, yep. Connected to memories, ley line issues around here are connected. The fate, missing person that doesn't exist, connection between all this. Investigation, person, person taste can unravel the mysteries. With him, need all the energy we can get, investigate some further away tomorrow. Actually, that should be farther. They're being very British with their grammar then. It's exactly. In American English, farther is for distance and further is for metaphors. It's figurative, and in British English, they're interchangeable, or at least used further for both. Too much brain juice, come kid stuff, head's a mess. And Dan got a lot of things to do today. Talk to Dinesleaf, and then memories that should not exist. Done that yet, and yep, I've got an achievement, so. Let's get someone. Town where only I am missing. It's just in people's memories. Oh, so presumably they tested the loom of fate where by erasing somebody? Maybe. How many wishes do I have again right now? I've got 16, 100, and then 41, 125, 125, and about 165. So by the time Sigmund comes out, I will be able to outright guarantee her. Well, actually, let's take a quick Tulpa break. Do you want to deplete a bit more of my resin before I continue with more of the class? Hmm, let me see. Dines leave, missing mid, familiar figure after the creatures leave this order. Orders emerge. Now that is very, very interesting, because it's... They always gotta, you know, in order to sell more characters and bring up hype, they always gotta keep introducing more big players. So the Archons at the start, and the Harbingers kind of at the start, but also a bit after. And then they introduce the Hex and Zirkle Witches, which I think they might do more of this summer. Now they've got the five sinners. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure Vine Dodier is actually in the Hex and Zirkle anyway, so that... Come on, can we... One, two, three, and there we go. Nice. Sneak in through the slum. Oh, interesting. Explosives and... A lot of resistance. Oh, so is that for the Civil War? Oh my goodness. There is a lot here. That took more than last time. Well, whatever. I feel as if whenever there's a very, very simple plan in a D&D game, it's always when the DM sees fit to introduce a lot of complications. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but... Mind you, I'm sure you know what's going to happen. I'm sure you've had experience by now. Okay, let's check some of this out. This is the set that is template for Chevros. Don is holding it right now, and Chevros is using Diona's set, but it should be more... Yeah, exactly. So, you can probably predict you'll run into some... I don't know... Some secret agents or guards down in the sewers, most likely. Switch back to our funny Fatui plus Nahida team. Then, all right. Mm -hmm. Go over here. Right back to the Mara. Okay, so the closest teleport waypoint to that would be the one on the overlooking hill. Talk to Dinesley and. Just fly down a little. Mm -hmm. Love being a Scaramouche player. 
Well, for overworld exploration, at least. He is over here, and what else is there? Oh, well, hello. I don't presume I'll be able to read her mind, but... Zoning out over here. I do find it interesting that very specifically, it's not that Nahida can read the minds of Sumeru characters specifically, but anyone within the bounds of Sumeru most of the time. Which, if that has any lore implications, if it's not just gameplay alone, and most things aren't just gameplay alone, they're generally good about some level of integration, some level of territorial control, raises the question of what kind of territorial other archons might have. Pitiful and... Oh, okay. In that case, I feel like the biggest complication could be, I don't know, access to a super weapon or the Mad King, I don't know, summoning a dragon or some other monster last minute. Right over here. And something happened. What's wrong? Your commission described them to me. Early 20s, what's going on? Certain memories that weren't there before. Of him. So, did they erase a person, or are they implanting false ideas of a person? Much about him had a weird dream or something, not a dream. Memories that suddenly appeared after I woke up. Memories that should not exist. Met him before? What do you remember? Remember? The Eye of the First Field Tiller. Oh, and I bet it's going to be gone, won't it? He won't be able to find it. So, they were able to retroactively change events. Or, what well, missing person has something to do with the Abyss Order, then? The thing about the whole Tabat Samsara theory that you might have heard of is that it reminds me of the end of Jojo Part 6. And that they might be changing events, not by... just going back in time, but basically ending and repeating the world cycle and then changing things there. Just traps, ambushes, and clutch for holes for the sabotage. Exactly. Have you heard of Tucker's Kobolds before? I feel like that might be relevant here, if you're going to be underground especially. Uh, so order and plant memories so. in the minds of others. It's impossible. It's memories they have of him, fake too, never knew him at all. Something like that. Only important truth revealed. It's the truth. Still to obtain the eye. Stop searching, even if the room is complete. It's location, point the memory to interfere. Oh, I still see. Memory is real. I haven't found it, couldn't alter reality like that just yet. Single my pursuit of the eye, caution is in order on our part. Check whether it's still in our possession. To where you hit it. It falls, let's go straight there, exposing its location. So they implied the memory to force them to confirm its location. So do we tell him? Thought of it, might we have a plan? Let's go. So are we trying to lure them to a location to fly them out, or...? And that is... Oh, that's funny. It's... In a corner around where I think there might have been... No, I think the big Sumter Beast Raja was around here. There was a quest around here eventually. I'm glad you know about Tucker's Kobolds. Yeah, I feel as if... The whole outnumbered and outgunned thing, as in your enemies being outnumbered and outgunned, is almost certainly, to some extent, attempt to lull you in a false sense of security, and you're just gonna be. You're gonna be fighting the dungeon more than you're gonna be fighting the enemies. I think that's the kind of thing that a. I think treacherous might be the wrong word, but a creative and challenging DM might do something like that. Is this a. Oh, they actually added a sort of domain portal. Well, yeah, you're not easy to discover, that's for sure. Check to see if it's safe. Alright. Maybe I could try using Corrin, but this is my fifth, happy big doll. Are we being followed? Is he gonna be forced to fight us? They didn't introduce any new enemies like they did during the Inazuma quest line. For the Abyss quest. Really does feel sometimes like Inazuma got the most effort in terms of patch cycles. Right, right. Frankly, if GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64 is anything, don't underestimate short enemies. This so was a memory erase. They forced him to forget what he was going to say. Devious, okay. So in that case, yeah, okay. And it's got this black and blue effect. It's sort of 
blue black fire. Okay, and there was a seal that he broke. Fuel to his eyes hidden. Place of revelations. What kind of. Okay, Pyro and Electro. Seems to be something strange going on with him. The eye before. Let's change out the party then. So I think in that case, we could just run relevant characters. Put in Corian. We need Electro and Pyro. Corian to Arlequino and. Actually, we'll put in Wanderer just so that. There's something we have to try to fly up on, or something I might be interested in trying to platform on. We do that. Depths of the Ruin. Oh, we got Chasm music. I do like that they've had us actually keep going back to the Chasm. It's, you know, it's a combination of Conry always being relevant and, frankly, Leeway always being relevant. So we went back for the Car Barrett questline around here, and then we went back again for this one. Well, arguably, you'd say it's also more Sumeru relevance, too. Yep, it's just right here. So we could glide down, or we could fly down. Well, hover down. But I do find it very funny that they very specifically do not describe Wanderer's levitation and midder movement as flight. <laughs> so are there going to be any chests in here, or... Uh, these envoy-like statues, awesome. priest-like statues. Get a few trash artifacts. Well, thanks for popping in. I'm glad you got to tell me about it. It was interesting as usual. See you around. Thanks for thank you for the conversation. Okay. And then okay, so we got a lot of fun guys. So clearly we want to engage them with anima. Oh, and a puzzle. Oh, I should have. Right, right, right. Dodge out of the way of that. Should have re-equipped Scour to Alice, but this is. This is fine too. Oh my goodness, okay. Interesting, and. Come on, come on. Take that, and. Oh my. Oh, right. Oh goodness. And do you have. Oh, but you have Witsip instead of Dodo Tails, that's right. Oh, but I don't have any human then. Change over time, upper forward to the side door. You're activating the mechanism over there. Shikaku? Dollar just kept going straight. I didn't quite expect that. So, right, we should have Skyward, otherwise, we'd want him to have Dodo Tails. Okay. This is still a little bit better, especially since he doesn't have any buffs. Okay, let's eat. Let's give him some of this. I guess we could actually. Still never gotten the achievement for making everyone completely full on food. Or I could... What would be the best way to just... Some trash I could spend without ever having to worry about using it for anything. This, actually... A few of the most sweet madams. Cool, and oh, so... Our rarity foods seem to be... A bit more... Right, she can get... She be healing because she's out of combat. Just get that achievement. In years and I haven't done anything there. Can't eat another bite. Bon appetit. Only 16 or so sweet madams for that. These are some interesting looking mechanisms. That door will open and it's got four of these but only three sigils on the door. It's curious. Okay. Thing over this way or can I even... Get up and over this. I can, but yeah, there's clearly nothing. Okay, oh, and they have four leaf sigils inside here. That is, it would be interesting if they went back and reintroduced sigils in the chasm. Or I don't know, added more chasm depths with sigils. Well, I guess this is basically just that. Okay. Let me see. Okay, and we got a chest. Will enemies show up? No, it's just here to take for free. And then, looking around, we can see what looks to be a bit outside. To be fair, this is definitely the upper reaches of the chasm, to the extent this is in the chasm at all. Open the door, and... Oh, uh, is this going to be the eye of the first field tiller? Well, clearly, we got to keep going. I am going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm live again. Let's keep going through this chasm esque domain. And that's. Awesome. Is that going to be where the first field tiller is, or just a fight against a. Oh, it's just a fight against a ruin guard. Classic. Okay, cool. Yeah. Come on, come on. Put this down, and we should be. Oh, that makes sense. I. Thanks. Dodge. One. Okay. One, two, three, and very good. Thank you, Horinth. Okay. That up, and presumably that will open the way back down. What else is here? What just happens. So is that undoing one of the? Thought I saw one of those glow, but no, that was illusory. Hmm. Let's see. That's open now, so we can go down and find something, presumably. Wonder, presumably the field tiller is at the end of all of those seals. Once we open up the gates all the way, Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, there's a light down there. That so we have to get in the shine on all the parts of the door. What am I? Oh, so you can see three things on there. So do we have to move this to match it up? Direction indicated by the light. Unlock the mechanism. Rotate the device. Rotate. Oh, so that rotates this. Wait. So this rotates the individual pieces. Presumably this rotates... Oh, you have to spin it between every part. Okay. So I need to find a way to separate the rest. Oh, Hodge Malshinshi, Demon Queen Sorcia. Cool name. Big Genshin fan? I'm just showing out. So, oh, and this is simple. Okay, there we go. So we've unlocked that all. There we go. Destination's just up ahead, and the, uh, the first field to it should be behind that. It's kind of Rubik's Cube-esque, actually. Big thing is, I wonder what would happen if we used Wander to fly up over that way, because clearly this is just leading. Oh, when we go over there, we... puts the light at the end of the tunnel anyway, so no significant difference is made. That's fine, that's fine. Let's keep on going and see what happens. We definitely could have used Wander to... Well, I don't think we, we couldn't have actually reached it. We wouldn't have enough vertical gain. We would have gotten stuck. And... Huh. Let me keep on going. Nothing is climbable, and you can see this Envoy statue, and... It is interesting how we started getting purple Doors of Resurrection instead of the green ones. I still don't know exactly what any of them are to begin with. So I think this might be where... We mean slash Ether shows up. Well, thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you, too. What's going on? Anything to talk about? Anything on your mind? Penny for your thoughts? Maybe a nickel if you think I'm lowballing? Alright, so something has started. I see. Hmm. So that statue was broken down. I wonder if that was deliberately damaged or just a consequence of age. Can't go any further, and okay, so we see this platform with a little indentation in the middle. This looks a bit like Enconomia, actually. It's funny how they all show architecture. Get another puzzle or a combat encounter here, or... or what? Let's get all. Care of yourself, presence of the abyss, and... This is... oh, a Cryo Herald. So that's gonna be a... an Arlequino opportunity. Look that... It is! Witness the Destiny's Inception Vanguard of Newborn Fates. Okay, so let's claim this in a bit. It's burning, which isn't precisely what I want. Let's take you down and... Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and... Oh, interesting. Oh, right, that slams down. Forgot about that part. Okay, so the big thing is... Okay, can we try to get burning off on you or something? Can we... No, we can get Melt, but- oh, I did not mean to do that. And of course we got that drained. 
Mmm, that's tough too. And even though she's not actually doing damage, still takes a good amount of her own bond of life to even hit at all. Okay, dodge, dodge, and out of the way of that. Yeah, good stuff. Fast movement, well, the far movement when she uses her first normal in the chain is very, very nice. So let's dodge out of the way of the combo. Should be four hit, and... Okay, it was only four hit. I expected a little bit more, and there we go. Cool. Finally. Only one pyro in the party, only one pyro needed. Thank you, Arla. Most memories were, were trapped, just wanted to follow us here. Well, so did you have a plan, or were you just making it up as you went? You may be vindicating my suspicions. Is there any chance to see exactly what the womb of fate is? Or, oh, is he being mind controlled? He did mention Vader Fulnir being his brother, so there might be a sympathetic connection they're taking advantage of. Been a disturbance in the ley lines, work of the abyss, and presumably their womb of fate. Since of that sort of thing, doesn't feel it. Mechanism to leave. Will you be alright? Something in motion? Opportunity to locate the villager. A hidden or a way to divide and conquer? So what is going to happen that he just doesn't want us to see? There's just a door back. Didn't even get a choice in the matter. As a point, something still feels off. What am I missing? Based on the trailer, presumably this is going to be an encounter with a sibling that for whatever reason don't, doesn't want us to be involved in. Maybe it's because they're going to fight and he doesn't want us intervening on one side or the other. By presuming we might protect our sibling. Uh-huh. Somebody's walking in. And frankly, I think I know who it is. Again, thank you, trailer. This purple blue particle effect. Very similar. Actually, no, it's... It's actually not. It's a much darker purple than darker blue than whatever the power he uses, which is more of a blue-black. So I guess maybe imaginary quantum and maybe something else for Dainsley's power might end up being new elements one day. And oh, she's still got her sword. That's the real interesting thing. Way to meet with you face to face. But why does she still have her original, presumably imaginary element sword? That'd be I. Hearing a lot of looming lines is interesting. They got Ale Yuki, I mean, Yuki Ale, to voice her in the Japanese. And it is interesting how they pick such a, such a famous voice actress for a main character who really doesn't speak much. Though they have changed that, they have fixed that a good deal. Now the gamble, a trap away by the Twilight Sword. So are we going to get to see his weapon too, or what? Curious. Oh. on your own. As followers of yours, or did you want a one on one duel or just to meet the other sibling? I don't recognize this piece of music. Given the last Dainsley quest was a few years ago, and the last sibling appearance was before even that, arguably. I didn't really count Carver for that. This could have played before, but it feels new to me. Prepare for battle, any arm I can send only march to their doom. They will like, face you all alone. So what are we going to see? So have a lot to say. Is they should you won't have to defeat me first. How about it? Interesting. Show me your weapon! Want to see how you fight? I'm not gonna get it, am I? Yep, exactly. The classic fade to black. Great, great. Uh, I shouldn't have expected anything different. On the move, Waylands are all out of whack, and so this is a domain. I feel like that suggests some level of unreality here. So we can't open the map because we're in the story mode. And the last time that we were in an area of Samara that was constrained like this, it was during Karabar, where we were in the past, or some facsimile of the past. Oh, I could have used Nihita to grab. I was going to use Nihita to grab the apples, but I got too close. Eventually, calm. We were agitated a little while ago. Calm all of a sudden. Because the traveler and the sibling were in a similar place. 
That's a horror fruit, I believe, into apples, so the two siblings in Dane's League, maybe? I don't know, here's something. Oh. That's in the sick of it? The role of the trotted son. Is that... That's either, right? I think. I need to on their suffering or differentiate between thoughts of blasphemy. Trotted son? Are they talking about the sinners? Of course, they paid souls we can cleanse into your orbit. The hill of troubles, though. Right. A new world. Just now, someone's voice, so it. Oh, so maybe that would be better, Fulnir. Gentle, comforting them in some way. Check if this is happening anything else. Anywhere else. Okay. We can't read their minds. We got a horror fruit seed from that. Check on the other hill of troubles, so. They're just hilla chillin'. Something is happening over here. Calm. Both still here. Kimio, Bokum, Koko, Nirino. So is that. Brother or endless amount of time to love? Both still here. Is that either? Or need to hold back your sorrow? Bad voice again? Okay, do they? There are those butterflies, or fireflies, or something in the middle. Kind of reminds me of the Amada aberrations in Dark Souls 2. And they were surrounded by the bright bugs. They're sleeping. It doesn't appear like the fruit of any real significance. You whispered softly. Karewa Sasayaku. Nemuro. Chichio. My beloved Pinko. So presumably that would be someone Conrad related, the son of presumably maybe King Uman. And presumably the people Conrad differentiates us shall be no more. So the difference between Hilotrolls and humans or Hilotrolls and Conrad pure bloods. Home or some kind of story. Hilotrolls have calmed down, the village should be safe at least. So for now, it might be our chance to find the missing villager should head back to the village before it's too late. World order narration. World order. Oh, it. It's world order narration. False memories of Trav and it's Fontaine stuff instead of Samara stuff? Okay. Underway once more. Presumably, honestly, it would be. them forcibly changing the world state and using the one of fate. Do they have any special dialogue? No, they have. Just normal Samaru NPC dialogue. Awesome. But it's still instanced. I'm wondering what's going on then. Still got your own normal dialogue, and. Absolutely. Yep, same Nahida dialogue too. So could I get to Amadea from over here, or. Not from over there? Amadea's over here. I want to see if I can. It's an Archon quest, so there shouldn't be anything from him, but. Yeah, there's nothing from him. So we actually have to interact with him deliberately. What happened on its own? Oji chan. Alright, seems to have something nearby. There's some hearing of it. Concerned, business as usual. It's good to hear. Didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager. He's not gonna remember a missing case, will he? He's gone missing, who would that be? Yep, exactly. Hmm, got even more complicated. Young guy, looking for all this time, post the commission. The reason we're here, with this commission, don't remember. So where's all that more are gonna go, though? Not worrying you too much, age making you forgetful, can't seem to remember whatever it is referring to, try asking someone else. Thank you for your help. Anyone else, or...? Something seems to have wrapped up. You're not right, Zeta Okashi. Absolutely strange, couldn't have forgotten about all of them like that. Some missing villager been erased again, checking with the others first. I have the possibilities and ask someone else. So, what is happening? Presumably, it's just more Loom of Fate stuff. But, nothing else. Villager, if that's something important, can't afford to be negligent. And that's Baram, the guy from before. I wonder if time of day changes stuff at all. And right, since we can't change the time of day, dusk is persisting. Baram? Hmm. Gone missing? Who? This is expected. 
Now he said a bunch of nice things about earlier, always used to chat with. 20 years old, kind of more hearted, know who you're talking about. Remember, many young people who are in that kind of place, certainly that's what I praise. So Bill, no doubt about it, says he's gone missing. Before he went, the village someone that's with him couldn't have gone far. Huh. So, is at least one of them a hill true, or... It's gonna end things, or since you remember him, just saw him. Although, not, there's something wrong with people's memories, and I returned to a time before he went missing. During the past to be that simple, the shimmances of the ley lines from likely it's related memories. What's going on? Oh, and we got more of this. Forgotten, reversed memories. Interpret. Like his memories could be in someone's memory. Before it took place, really did trail back in time, I said he hadn't gone missing. Someone's memory forgotten about him, the Mafei. Look at Devada, no one remembers him, been a change in memories. Oh. I think. Let's try that. No, so remembers him. Forgot he went missing. Reversing memories, or. Okay, forgot about the well and disturbances, someone else's memory, and how. But it's not time travel, and it's not deliberate erasure, it's memory again. So did the mechanism do that? So we went straight to the Mara after that the mechanism, so we could have actually not been a teleporter, but a memory immerser or something. Something's memory last time. Seemed to be at the time before he went missing, a memory. Maybe for another samsara. To find him, people's memories spun on the same turf. Someone go look for him where? Now you will ask, might not have time, don't know who his memory it is. We have a couple scenario things down. Go to her ability too. But memories. Since we know of his ability, trace that would give him away. A quick process couldn't blend in some kind of tell. Time does not pass because of dusk. The past might conflict. Recollection. To avoid suspicion, scenes will not change. Set near the village, not sure they're restricted and easily forgotten. I've experienced it in points than they do with time. Mention of dust from before, yep, exactly. This guy hasn't changed a bit, time isn't passing. Memories are realm. All the fake memories, basically taking place outside the regular 24 hours of the day. With passage of time, people will tell something was off. They overlap, two different things at the same time. A specific moment rather than a period of time. With his memory, it is, seems to have an obvious answer. The gal from before? Or. Dane's Leaf, Amadea, Atosa. Memories happen more than once. Let's see what happens if we choose the wrong options. Not time before the commission was issued. Or the sky moment in time she described. Nope, didn't seem right. Oh, there's no special message. Okay. Cool. Yep, exactly. She's the one who mentioned dust. Oh my gosh, so. Correctly thought. Every time we talk, always seem to run dust like right now. That's why we'll be slowly for hours, so we'll be at the same position in the sky. So, it has to be it. Definitely it his memory. Let's go to the tree. That's where they'll be. Oh, and I thought about going back to where we entered the domain for the field tiller eye, but it seems as if oh, we can't go there because we're in this domain state. Pursuit of leisure and... okay, nothing special. And we can't do any teleportation, so we'll have to go there straight up. Normal. Bonka! Banker? Let's see. Get over this way, back to the tree, and... Aha! Uh -huh, we found a guy, and we found a Tosa. Say anything, and... Could we use this to read his mind, or...? Doesn't say who he is. I did actually get a bit spoiled, but yet exactly those dolls we saw before, one of them did look with Connery, and just like... Just like them. You know, he a mercenary, an Aramite from the desert, talks like it out of habit. So try to scare them on purpose again, my own things. Then you want to share. Hmm, and? Okay, if you don't talk about what you think of me. Okay, so that's what we heard before, and that looks like Quothar. I think, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, Karamir. Strong and thoughtful, meet many amazing people, live a happy life, won't miss someone like me. It's Quothar with brown hair, this is different. It's your friends over there. Kilotrules? Oh no, us. 
Hi. Hmm. Oh, we found him. We're kind of familiar. Well, he's got clothes of his outfit. But Tosa hasn't met us yet. I don't say that taking them a lot of effort to find me. It's not so me. What they need? Continue this conversation another time. Go meet Natosa. Sorry. Another time? Oh, yeah. Back to the village. It's another time. Hmm. Oh, alright. So what are you going to tell us? What's new? Yeah, I tell you what I'll tell you too. Nice to meet you. First time we've met, you're... And that band, yep, the next car about, if I remember correctly. Memories of this order of the fate, one person that connect all this together. The fate. Or I felt Bert Quothar, founder, broke the curse of immortality. Did he break it? Or five sinners stole the power of the abyss. Car about Alvarink, abject star, become the loom of fate. Forgot about that part. Loom of fate. This order. There we go. Cool. Car about average. He does look. Oh, right in the single ear ring. Let's make him kind of kai ass. Surprised that we've met you before. She better know what I've done. Also, hasn't hmm, done it before. Memory, siblings' memory, made from back then. Sure, say goodbye to her, so he can freely travel into memories. So that's why she thinks he's missing. Message instead, somewhere else to talk. Gonna teleport us, or what is? Where will we be? And that interesting. I feel like I should try translating that. Yeah, that needs a bit of interpretation. Save that to the desktop real quick, and once I've got the script, I faded away. Oh, and it's kind of like a bigger version of that tree. Well, it doesn't look all that similar, it's just also a tree. Hello, hello, and this water. If anything, it feels like the eternal oasis. I wonder what that could imply. The proof of existence. How far can we go? Oh, this is going to be... There's a barrier somewhere, yep, it's got the same exact particle effect as the eternal oasis. Can't use our elemental sight here. How far can we go before it'll just stop us? This is fun. That's the invisible wall right over there. I wonder if we can reach that other island too. Yeah, we can. The invisible wall seems to be straight, so it's gonna cut it off. This is more than a little like the Eternal Oasis, so... What in that case is going to be... It's interesting butterflies, but I don't think those are in the oasis, but we've got those glowing butterflies, which yeah, again remind me of the Amana Bright Bucks from Dark Souls 2. Which originally was going to be in Dark Souls 3 as well. Maybe they thought it would be bad for balance. So it's basically a very limited buff item that gives you additional damage and less damage taken until you die, but if you run out of it, and, you know, you've run out of them. So I can kind of wall you. So this place, well, my consciousness no longer exists in the real world, as you well know. I don't know that. Because he's the little thing. Not exhausted, enough strength to play the part of the good host. Hmm. You get the chance to talk to, chance is finally arrived. You fear the blend of the purple and the whitish gold kind of reminds me of imaginary and Quantum from larger Hoyo stuff. We're opportunity more as much information. What happened to you and what is the loom of fame? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. What happened to you? Extreme sorrow and pain, hope and regret through the veins, abyssal power to find comprehension. Hmm. So this is these elements become the loom of fate. So its intentions never truly became it, it means for its construction. They still made the eye, and died them when I set everything in motion. 
disappearances show. A person is only a remnant of consciousness within the womb of fate. Instead, only exists in memory, capable of weaving ley lines, as in lines, loom of... Ah, oh, so exactly! It's very much a string theory kind of thing. Why they mention in the lightless string from Alderbar Narwhal, the idea of... Well, this is also interesting because it reminds me a bit of Remuria and Phobos. Especially because of the harp strings on the aqueduct. Primitive form, create and implant memory, is stronger and stronger, weave way lines of its own. By completed, how it weave way lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. It loses it, it becomes a tool that can change the entire world. Source of your ability, and is it disappearing to completion, or so I complete it as a form of compensation for literally dying? Yep, exactly. Gave his life for its sake. Memories that appeared implanted by Carver through the womb of fate, but why? To introduce himself into the people. I could plan those, cause trouble for everyone and for me. I feel like I exist in the world. Oh, it's just human. Oh. Very human. A chance at life is he. Well, to be fair, he lived for a while, but he was just a child forever. I never would have guessed any kind of meaning to this. Is this in memory? Is really kind of living? You know what you must be thinking. Do something so meaningless. Couldn't accept it. No, would be like about it. What? My own person. People think of me. He was fishing and helping and. That. Okay, I thought for a second it was represented kids, but... So those were the wooden dolls we saw before. Long time then, they're catacombs and they're cursed. Just quiet and normal life. I tried to have my own life, but only a memory. So together, it could have been one memory at a time. Yeah. Stupid, isn't it? I've ended a long time ago. Chance of living stripped away from me when I was eight, conscious left in mature, or lose your world of nothingness. When we see an invention, they send clothes our imagined version to be grown. Tragedy that occurred in Calvary back then. Guess the question is, then how did the Albert line continue? I think Kaya did say that he wasn't directly related, if I recall correctly. I was looking for you. I think I can do to make them find me. Nothing to be done, can't do anything, could exist, return without them, despise with the sudden, it's not possible as I understand it. Existence must come for them, even if only in memory, once lived among them. Hmm. Very, it's a wonderful life to have and continue another time, Dane's if I need help. While it's sort of need to meet up with him, already settled in his end. An existing memory is able to talk to your unconsciousness can be only mean one thing, which is that the move fate was not completed. Right? Oh, it has already been completed. Oh. Mm, already complete. First peel is over, falling into the hands of the abyss, something happened. We're about him, while the only guess exactly what he was planning. Oh, so he's still arguably our enemy. At least opposed to us. Inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? Yeah, but it's the closest place to keep it. Also location, because of the eye, chance can run her. And the eye to you, tell you to take it away, but... Safe to the eye, but... Because they interfered with his memories, so they forgot to do it. Yep. His mind had given it to you already. Given it to me instead of giving it to the Order, so it can confusion. Yep, there we go. When did he do that? When we entered that false location, when he had that headache. Yep. Exactly. Observation moment. All I had to do was point his arm at him. Louise, let's head inside. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for your interference. Back then, false member was being implanted in his mind, no wonder. So the Abyss Order now has the ability to 
completely change the world. Presumably they'd need other resources, maybe to feel it. It's gonna happen. Tense situation, anything out of the ordinary took it to be real. So I do feel as if the Remoria questline, the entire deal with Phobos is literally just talking about the Loom of Fate. Took it to be real. It had to be concluded and had to retrieve the eye. Took it away, nothing we could have done. What are you planning on doing? Putting it still anything? No idea what, what she's planning. He messed some up. And on system entrenched in the planet. The planet. Cannot replace her extend ones that already exist. What can it do with that? Based on everything they're planning, insignificant get a glimpse of the bigger picture. These red gold has been achieved to, to exist. For her Albrich, the sibling's memory, power the abyss, was for consciousness, too. Mental anguish. Yep, and there's that cuff again. Cuff him a story. The form of a little monster. So my fears for a moment, bedtime story, to create a world where the story was true. Comfort my old troubles? Henry and... Yep. Subet and Nogirisharu. All of them. Give them comfort, story, and story. That's why they're together. Usually a couple at once. Hmm. Just calm down was this story. The only thing he wanted. Powerful. Moment of comfort and peace. Can't change the world. The only thing I could offer. Light to exist. Meaningful indeed. Residual consciousness. Trace of dissipating the goal is the only thing that would have hold on. So presumably he's going to dissipate. Story's finished and it's time to rest. Oh my goodness. It's breaking me. Mm. Mm. Another Ruka Devada moment. Oh? Presumably. Goodbye, Carver. Are we gonna keep his coffer? Why often he'll have disappeared by the end of that, right? Mm. That oh dissipation to the ley lines. What happens when we kill a lot of other enemies? Awesome. Is that her? Oh no, it's this it's her. Oh? What are you doing in here? Oh well. There we are. Oh, 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 there was nothing there. Sis will disappear along with it. It's a dialogue. There was boys here why we were not tangible. It's a bit like we're not right now, frankly. Conversation. Oh, war drop, war drop. What are you doing? What are you gonna do with this? I can't believe it's real. You talk slowly. Mm. Battle was tough. And that Denzel. She called him Dain. Her pet name is a Tijeris sword. Still be no match for him. For 500 years. If I'm getting weaker or we're getting stronger, both neither. I haven't had a way to utilize it. Still time in the Nashaki. Oh, what a fight against Celeste. is still asleep. 500 years since the Catacles and no sound of activity. Nimoru Itsuki. Slumbering. Slumbering heavenly principles. Starting her divine throne, which should start the process of awakening. Misa de so. Let's go for the rules, take no action, proof of the situation. What will be or what will trigger it? Get them right. 
Something like that could be said, yeah. Print single minded, perfect representation of who he was, quite peaceful. Sugoku. You see? See, he looked real terrible sight in the mirror, it was enough to tame him. Mm. Comfort to the people, denied that their right to exist. What is it? Celestia, so the abyss? What do you take as the proximate cause? Too complicated to explain in a few words. Fukuzatsu, Sugite. Just said brother, actually. Mm. So, what kind of. Well, that's also true, the ether, too. Exactly, so. Yeah, exactly, unlike with Wander, even. If there's any character you can really self insert into its wander, you can't even actually truly name the traveler. Some reason not interested in asking those questions right now. Great! No horror drop. Thing, one thing I could never understand. Continue or mm. little bit tearful in that voice. And oh the dolls are still up there. Oh the dolls will stay in that tree. My journey places the sea of Ah so exactly so there is a confirmation. That was in the original travail trailer, so that will be an actual location. So is it Celestia or so we go between worlds? One flower was in full bloom. What flower are you into that? Sure before me. The end of the samsara or is a coincidence. You mean? A wish? Yeah. It seems to range and the final answer. Can't face myself. Too ashamed. And are the memories being erased while the space is collapsing for sure? Something can't exist much longer. It's breaking down. The ability to interact with each other, something else you should know about the space. Remember anything that happened here? Uh, so it doesn't matter if it was no war drop because no difference is made. And you won't remember the sea of flowers at least. Or from existence. It's interesting that there are a lot of glitchy audio effects too. Don't think that's my computer messing up. Tell me this note. Yeah, it's definitely the game. Oh, oh. Oh. Can't even hear. Oh, wow. That was something. Interesting. See what that translates to. Well, we're back. Feels all fuzzy, so what was implanted to take the place of that? What did they do? So they saw us sleeping near the village and brought us in. Like a sleep, so they brought us back here. Dan's like was injured in the fight. See anything? Make sure you're okay and all that. That was mine, but. Mm, trouble thinking straight. That memory, Sakara Bear. This villager doesn't remember what happens. Remember anything about the womb of fate? Remember that, though. It's my bad, but not the rest, because he didn't disappear yet. Commission is complete. Does Kara Bear all alone? To explain things, what happened after that? Can't seem to remember, yeah. Tired? Something happened. The absence is felt. Lost something. You are? Sleep well, seem happy, something good happened. So will we tell them or keep it a secret? Good, anything good or bad. Search party? If you are to be able to search and search away, all came back to him. Oh, more memories. That's how the village saw him. Said he was leaving on a long journey or something. Tree by himself a little later, waiting. Together, quite a happy family. There is what happened. Forgot all about it for so long. More memory change, said his goodbyes. Gave the goodbye in memory. Carbert, so the remember. Your name, help if you remember it sooner. Cotton Beretto, till you say. 
She remembered it very unique. He is relieved now that we know what happens. Well, alright. Cool. Let's see what the village probably for the best. Sort of explanation. Fate is complete, no one will change their memories, but the way lives themselves can be changed. Not better or worse. Check on her, tell her what happened. She hasn't remembered. Probably at the trees, the dolls would probably still be there, presumably. Rule to order narration. Memories living underway once more. We could do focused experience mode, but this is literally the only quest we have to even try to do, so it's not like it really matters. Okay, cool. And are the dolls still? The dolls are no longer. No, they are there. Just didn't see them at the right angle. Hello there, hello. Hmm. Welcome. Tosa? Nani? You too about to go working. Yokata? Wanted to thank you, part of the search party. Remember what happened to him now. I forgot something so important. I'm sure he wouldn't want you to forget him. Feeling you told me the same thing, can't seem to remember when. This was a memory, so on to our time together, always a part of my life. And he be in the days together. Now to meet him, who cares what happens? Oh? Kind of. Something going to be intangible, or. Hmm. Just putting on a brave face. This is him. Oh! Ex they were, exactly. They were. Lovers. That without saying goodbye, had his reason. He comforted me, I'll be okay. He said things we overcome to make life more precious, so that's something he specifically wanted. Uh, come back and see me one day. Help Jihie, should head back. Be it, go back to normal. After a conversation. What happened? Still can't remember. Something in my pocket. Photo of. Uh huh. Must get along with each other, the two of you. Uh, and that would be in. Still in that memory scheme. This guy looks similar. Can't exactly tell. That does look. I wonder if that's supposed to be in English or. I'm sure, I can just check that eventually, but. Cursive to that script is. And ended on that image. Interesting. We'll keep that as an item or group photo from an unknown time. Photos surpass the rules. Unknown person using unknown means in a space that should no longer exist. Let me see. I wonder what the text on that says. That. Does that. Okay, in the Sumeru, it's the Sumeru language, and it says you two should get along well as siblings. Okay. Sumeru script. The big interesting thing to me is that the Inazuma script is basically kind of pseudo-kana. Kind of Japanese was an abjad in that they have Consonants, but no vowels. Let me see. Just check. Zoom a script. Script. Based on the Tibet alphabet with hiragana. Oh, but they... No, they correspond to letters. And horizontally. Oh, it represents... No, it rep... The glyphs correspond to letters, but it represents... Romanized Japanese... Syllables starting the same way, so a bunch of script pieces simply are not used. Interesting. Okay. What a letter. So, how do they even figure out the. Uh, OMR. Let me say. So, I guess they just had to, they had to just decode it. Let me check that. So that should be to that script. The one I saw before. Let me just... Hmm. Frankly, I guess I'll pull it up. Get an image source or something. 
I think I do have another. Can't find the funny Tulpa again. So I guess in that case, I'll do a little bit more. I'm gonna do my weekly TCG matches, and then I think I will. Clear out all the Teapot Prima Gems. We'll have enough to guarantee Sigwin, but even in spite of that, I do want to. Uh, get as many as possible because there's Emily and then there's Notlon. Okay. Cool, and hit this and over there and was that hit? Yeah, that guy was hit. Dodge. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Close. No full level up, but. Hmm. So that one treasure chest in there, and presumably we should have gotten something from it, and they were really stingy. The treasure chest in that dungeon. Okay, we got more of that, so only 22 more needed. To have enough for Sig. Still need to get more flowers when she comes around. I'll do that sometime. Okay, right, right, it's on Dionac, because that's where Corinne's artifacts were, and I would have gave those away. Didn't give them away, but gave them to Corinne. Put them on the right person, right situation. Take these off. So I don't need to rush all of these. People don't even know Sigrun's gonna want to use, so I'm kind of in the dark on that. Not just kind of. Okay. Hmm. So in that case. Let us simply go back to Mondstadt, which... So this is the highest north point to that at the moment. The farthest south would be Surumi. The farthest east would be that little bit on... Is it... Yeah, it's the little bit by Kamisato Estate. The farthest west right now is... This part over here by Gavire Lajavard, but some people did some analysis of the Not One Dinosaur Trailer, and Not One will be around. What we saw was around this way, so it was the west of Sumeru Desert, which is, well, what we already knew, but still. There are some theories that people have that the nations of Tevat and its geography correspond at least partially to the Lunar Maria. I wonder. <sighs> oh, okay. So Fordrum's Temper is open, and there are also a lot more characters to grab for any of that. So that's... oh goodness. I'm almost sure to look at after run and just TCG matches stream. Because there are 12 characters right now. A lot of them are decent enough that I do feel as if Chilling penalty, one less, and oh, less normal attack damage. Oh, wow. The piercing damage, and interesting. Heals one, once they're finalized for two HP. Plus one damage. Still. Attack, lingering icicles. Heal damage or is healed, one less elemental die. It's an entirely new gimmick. So I guess maybe this could work well with something like Yolimia, but... So Frost, damage or seal, one penalty point. Uses a skill, deal plus one damage. Hmm. So this is a profoundly normal, basic... But if you wanted to, you could use something like Storm Terror's Lair to use as normals. Maybe not for free, but certainly a bit easier. Okay. Alright. Uh -huh. This is something. I'll do that later for now. I'm just gonna do my weekly matches of Hello, Kaya. Let me see what some of those challenges actually are. Some new commodities, so. Cash flow supervision, damage versus heal, one last max, two times per round, and that. Oh, wow. Really, really spam. Oh, but it's actually on the cheaper side. They have a Singer weapon that isn't a three cost one. That's interesting. 
And the line of cards the same name, so it unique. Catch points already, one card for each point consumed. Oh, that's cool. Just regalia, normal type. Next uses during this round, more dice with a normal. Huh. Splendor of Tranquil Waters, normal attack, and like life point. And I assume that would count various instances, presumably. Would work with Furina. I find it interesting how they do have a signature weapon idea here. We got Mausoleum, and we got the Cassava. Count down to the show of three, all the. Oh! That's actually really interesting, and that's. One less elemental die, so three, two, one. Four cards. Oh, that's really, really cool. It's really good art of Lenny, too. Distributes and heals them all undefeated equally. Water and justice. Huh. Equity. This is one. That could be fun. It's interesting that that's... The only way you can do that, that they rule out direct interference any other way. Or run that kind of direct interference any other way. So we had every character equipment support card before that, but... For one, we need more... Right, I need to buy a lot more magic meditation letters, first of all. So we need a total of... 11 of those, so... Mechanical front... No wood. No more than one card in your hand. Two damage. Two damage, four shield points. Protect there, so... Oh! So very, very clearly, you're supposed to use the narwhal. Because they eat cards instead of actually using them. Jibuburst Usia. Frame enhancement. Skill deactivate cannot use skills, including the passive, presumably. See, so yeah, energy burst, energy boost. Gains the energy boost. That all your characters will deal one additional damage. So we need a way to just get rid of them. Mm. So just using cards to... Right, because the narwhal gets its devouring points, even if you... Hmm, okay. Mechanical front. I guess a wonder and the narwhal. Narwhal wood. That's right at the end. Big guy. Almost cruise. Leviathan. The subcut of the whale song. Immune a duel with you rather than an adventure challenge. Light was speeding. A duel rather than an adventure challenge, which means oh, because it means that they have to discard cards to make their stuff function at all, so. Satiable appetite for everything, max HP. Plus five, so just six plane, and then discard just for the sake of using it. But that's crazy. Every three consumed, every three, and so 15 would take 45 additional deep devourers domain. Okay, so normally, so the idea would be to get cards that can make more cards somehow. Dark Shadow. Takes damage reduced and usage is minus two. Uh, devoured cards with set cost. Number of devoured cards. So we take high cost ones, and I think cost max is out of four, if I recall correctly. Demand, discard, use for two, and will be consumed. Hmm, every three, same original. Two cards among these, and they're the same, all three, and... Oh, so if you get a bunch with the same, so there's a bit of an aspect of a buck. I guess the question is, if you're running it kind of as a meme team, where you literally just use a platoon. Hmm. Nice original. I wonder how it groups them. In terms of three and... But it doesn't have Usia and Numa. That's the big thing. 
Guardian's Contemplation, Guardian of Opus Oasis, which is nearly and still a duel. Majesty, which is the Secrets. So they are basically interpreting this as basically Opex Avatar. That makes sense. Waken, Independent, Proliferated, Play or Discard. Oh, so in theory you could run Opep and the Narwhal together. This sort of meme team. Waken, Oasis, Nourishment, one less to die. Well, let's place them into your deck. Proliferated, Heart of Oasis. Added Heart. Plus three damage. Uses a skill. Ah, uh, okay, so. Oh, that's a crazy gimmick. She just gets crazy damage eventually. But you have to summon the organisms. The idea is to basically deck out as quickly as possible and. Oh, wow. That's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Some of these are crazy, crazy. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see if they can introduce new gimmicks and systems to the actual base combat gameplay. There's so many more moving parts, though. And right, the others would be. Let's see. No, no, the Forge Realm. Sandstorm Strike is. She was a dice to use skills, so. Presumably, you'd want to be using some kind of summon or. Draw one card. Three times per round. I do feel like the Narwhal. Just getting more cards on you. Could be the best way to do that. Oh, but. And you would be discarding rather than playing. Use an op to try to deck out as quickly as possible. Opposing characters plus two, takes damage, heal for. And that, I suppose, would be for Rathesley. Most of them are Numa. One is Usia, but... Hmm, okay. Yeah, because you'd just be able to spam stuff with Vesley. It's funny. Then, Steel needs Steel. How will this work? Should damage, two cards, and Omni Dice. After two times, with the highest cost. Okay. That does sound like... Maybe, I don't know, Neolu. Neolu Narwhal? Opep team? Let's card the two hands with the high cards with highest cost, so... That would help Narwhal get really, really strong, really, really fast. That's the thing. That... 16 HP on each. Hmm, okay. Well, we can figure that all out next time. Show some stuff, a few more games, negotiations will be perfect, a friendly match. Ordinary fruit seller, absolutely ordinary, ordinary deck of cards, apart from an ordinary duel as you could get. Let's just use... Oh, and also they did add more NPC matches to the world as well. That arcane legend is a lot worse. I wonder if Cutching Mains has... This would do Dax, more Dax, and it does not appear they have any more TCG Dax. Sad. Mm -hmm. There's no new ones, and I can't find it immediately just by looking it up, so I can wait for later, if ever. Okay, one energy will... Okay. The Impure. Okay, and oh, no Hydro Dice. Isn't that just great? So you can put this on you to mitigate some of the cost issues. And we'll do that. Put some down, and this is a 
pretty boring strategy, but it works pretty much all the time, especially on adventure challenges. Okay. It's down. Keep on using all of these bursts until. Can't really anymore. Okay, cool. Hmm. So the question is how we'll do other reactions and all. Accumulating damage and other things, but. Hmm. Better put down more Hydro Mimics, maybe? It's the question whether I focus on putting Hydro Mimics down or. Getting official's own energy up. So I could use star signs, but that would also stop some other things. Only a little bit of damage there, but whatever. Okay. Thank you. Some damage. Switch over and use this. Okay, thank you. Use this one, and what's next? So we got the big one, which is nice. Hmm. That'll be it for now. Feel as if some food would be in order. Sure, we can put some on Fischl too. Could try Libin, but that would mean less cards for tuning, and that could be an issue. We'll see what happens. All right. Cool. So who might they switch to and how? The nice thing is that their power is declining. They lose that all before thing can happen because of the electrocharge damage, which was nice. Okay. Alright then. Use this. We could also just use the burst immediately to take him out, which is probably a smart choice. Yeah, almost definitely. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Okay. So among other things, I can... How much damage are you going to... Lashes and then fixed pattern. So just five physical. That shouldn't be a huge problem. The next round I can use, presumably... Official's burst. Thanks. Let's do that, and... Hmm. That down. Or I could have used... Uh, that's the thing. I could have used... A normal attack to get a little bit more damage, but we still wouldn't get a kill. That's the shame of it all. Hmm. How many hits can I get off and on whom? That's the real question. I don't want to simply die here. Big question is what the Sun for us will do. Let's see how many electro dice we can get. And uh, that's pretty bad news. Okay, so Sun for us prepare, prepare for two turns. That won't be a huge problem then. Okay, and this should kill. Thank you. What initial? It's gonna end it. Oh, we could also use the legend is taking things out, but we can also just use the extra shred piercing damage and push them out that way. As fun as this deck is, I need to figure others out. That said, I will have to eventually, just because of Lavender Melon. Okay. Need to get more proficiency with other cards once I actually get new cards. Well, whatever. This will be fine for now. The big thing is that when you refine people, <coughs> in weekly matches, it doesn't count for proficiency. If you're a first weekly match against a character, because for characters who appear, in normal duels or in <coughs> the normal game world do stuff. Maybe that was a bad choice. 
counts as a separate match for the purpose of proficiency. Okay. Take that and use that, but the Thunderbolt will get me. Mm. I should probably try this a little differently, but oh, actually, just use the combo slash. Okay, cool. Uh, put down a mimic. Thank you very much, Nobushi Hitskeban. Firestarter. Or arsonist, I suppose. Okay, cool. This should be good spread damage. <clears throat> well, I guess that's the question. Or are they going to manage this? Just a little bit of damage there, Zanshin. So actually, what I could do, among other things, is... Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Put down a Mimic and take him two turns to prepare that. Put one of those down, and then we can switch to official, actually. And... <clears throat> use another Oz. Thank you. Goodbye. Send it around, and what will you do? Mm, I feel like some healing might be in order. Yeah, most likely. I don't have any real ramps, so we may as well play some of that. This could be useful. What are, oh, I could have played a... Well, I would have gotten a die, but I wouldn't have been able to do much with it. I could have used it for the... Kokomi, but eh, it's really whatever. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, honey. Get these bursts started. Okay, cool. Then we've got that shielding, which should actually be very useful. We can use it on official. Oh, okay. That shift mal on there. Let's play that for when we inevitably get blown up. Okay. Play that. And just switch one of them at least, so. Take that pizza, I guess. It's a it's a choice. I'm gonna go for that slash and get better, yep, exactly. Got rid of most of the damage, so. Now we're gonna switch back to the other guy, so we should put down another Hydra Mimic. Start using Burst to see how well we get this started. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ooh, alright. Hmm. Decent damage, nothing crazy, but... So that'll force a switch to the other guy. Interesting. No, wrong, wrong. You'll just vaporize that, and it's right. So how do I switch that in? <clears throat> As I'd like to. To do a bit of switching around and make sure. Right, people get hit at the right time. So then... Hit over there. Get to the Paimon, which is helpful. Use that, and then we switch to... You. Switch to the Electro Kairagi. Oh, we could use that for a free switch, but whatever. Gone the Overlord off and sacked Ocean and deliberately. Oh well. well. Actually, that wouldn't have been killed, it just would have been free. This will be more than good enough. Yep, reaction plus additional damage from the summons. I do appreciate that it's not just Hydra Mimics that count, which is kind of necessary given that we only have two Hydra Mimics on field at once. So otherwise we'd count it plus two. Summon decks are fun. And then, and then, get a little bit more of this. Oh, that's right. What I could do, what I maybe should do, is very, very close to... I could, that would be 720, so actually if I forged 20 items and cooked my mind, used a bit more resin, and you had to 10 and get one more roll on standard, which would be pretty nice, actually. So that would take me right to 75, and if I was lucky, that would be soft pity, but I will be able to get at least patch, presumably, by way of the blue fates from Battle Pass. 
We are close. And making more food would be probably the best way to do it, because I don't really need things forged, and food would also allow me to get more proficiency on relevant food items. We don't see resin right there, so we in about in about an hour. We'll be able to go in and kill the Tova one more time. And I guess the big thing is I've already got you know what for Mora for Sigwin? I don't know actually. Because I'd get it I should get a decent amount during the remainder of the patch. And just, frankly I'm not sure how much I'd even really need to upgrade her. Depends on what I'd want to use her for, because nobody even really knows what to use her for yet. Hmm. Could do some crystal farming for Corvins. Yeah, I have 24. I only need 22, so it's a maximum of 11 more runs, and that's only if I get two every time and get really unlucky. So, a couple more days and I'll have enough of those, and then more rolls for her. Rolls for her, and then maybe, I don't know, Emily pre farm? Not talking too much about leaks. Maybe other characters I might want to level up like Layla. Need a bit more from Layla lines, but that's normal. Just. There are. Eight characters standing Sigwin I don't have. Sigwin, Kirara, and then. Aito, Ito, Kokomi, Ayaka, Nyulu, and Kui. And then with all those, that's eight, and then only only 19 characters who I don't currently have fully leveled up. Yes, with Emily that would be 20, I suppose, and nine characters that I don't have. So, Nika would be funny, and frankly, Yo has been level 70 for almost a year, but it's just... She's not good. I don't feel a real pressing need to use her kit. Okay. Hmm. Alright. We'll see what happens. This should be... Oh, right, this is the wrong one I need. Well, actually, we could try. Pyro Agent would actually work decently here. All the stacked elemental damage could help. Keep the form down, maybe. Depends. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's try this. The big hits from Ocean at Summon could end up being very useful for me. From Ocean at Burst with a bunch of summons up. Okay. Uh-huh. This is Star. Spore Cloud, and let's switch over. How much? That. Oh, but. Mmm, you've already got your energy. Don't like that. I really don't. Mmm, mmm, that's not good. Maybe a quick switch would have been actually nice there. It would actually be nice. Well, huh. Go for that then. So this ends up working. Yeah, I just can't power that through. Oh well. Mm -hmm. So all the rest works, but... Yeah, that's your Radical Vitality. You've got enough to just one-shot me, I think. It's not great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it switch to someone else or what? Yeah, thanks. Cool. Huh. Okay, so maybe I. Oh, and exactly, yeah, you're just gonna get stuff back, right? I think Radical Vitality should actually do its trick now, presumably, but even with that, I. Mm. Yeah. So we could definitely get a bit of stuff off. And that's gonna be death official. We should hopefully be able to get Ocean Burst off, I would presume. 
Then, get that Radical Vitality up, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then probably just use the Pyro Agent as an anchor to take the rest down. It's an idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot, we will be able to change things, and you will just kill me. Then what else? And Okay, you're not Genetic using Feather Spreading, which is good. Okay, alright. Cool. Mm-hmm. Is that burst now? Switch some things over. Thank you, thank you. And then switch that. Should be enough for Lyman, actually. There we go! Big ol' damage. <laughs> Give me an Ito card. Give me an I haven't lost yet. The big thing is that'll totally deplete its energy. Thank you! More Radical Vitality now. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you, Dendro Chicken. It's still so funny that when TCG first came out, the only two Dendro characters in the entire thing were Koi and the Dendro Chicken. Which actually meant that Koi herself was actually pretty meta for a while. Okay. Come on, go ahead, kill me. And that's death, so. Go, we got to the agent. Four versus three, and then... If I want to be really funny, what I could do is try... Star Signs, only to finish this off with a... Burst. Okay, cool. Fairly well. Aniwaho! There we go, there we go. Okay. Push it out, and cool. Mm hmm not my day. Yeah. Can we go? Kaya, go to Nukuni, get that. I didn't want to see you. But for a game, I'll have you go easy on me. No way. Kaya's in for it. So that's a decent starting point. Yeah, I really would want to figure out another deck that I could occasionally use, frankly. I'm gonna start this as per usual. Do this normally. What's the big question would be? Mmm, I'm definitely gonna have to do a lot of conversion. Mmm, that's not great. That's not great. Let's play this, put this on you, use a mimic. And we switch to official, do a couple of conversions. What was me? I feel like I could use the Noel card pretty simply. And then live it. Cool. Might want to keep doing your Zod around just in case. Possibly. Okay. So we got our funny frog, as one does. Switch to Bennett, and then. And then. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. Is that and should be decent damage, especially from the frog. So that'll switch out, which means we can put Fischl down immediately. Oh, but that'll block some stuff. Oh, but at the end of the round, it'll... No, that just went. Okay, cool. There we are. I keep forgetting whether piercing damage... It goes through shields, but I don't think it even reduces shield uses either. It just does not interact at all. Imagine if they introduce more more elements. What would that change for TCG? Would they introduce more dice types too? Okay. Got that up. Switch around. I feel like we might want to use Kokomi's strategize just to put more characters on field. Are you gonna freeze, or are you gonna switch, or are you gonna... What are you gonna do? Switch to somebody. Oh, well, alright. That works. Hmm. I guess. Hmm. Play that just to use it, and then... Take whatever's less useful and tune it. Actually, tune with Dunyar Zod, and... This will give me Liven immediately. Liven's proc. Okay, cool. So we were able to make decent use of that ramping. 
Oh, but if you're staying there, that... Ugh. Official is not going to be much use very useful right now. Hmm. If you freeze me, are you going to try to freeze me? That's the question. Hmm. How do I want to do this? It's actually pretty good. We've been in a pretty weird situation this game. Got that. We got... Hmm. should really figure out a better arcane legend than that. I feel like the wide one that reduces energy could actually be pretty good. Maybe. Among other things, I should play a mimic. Maybe play another mimic correctly. Thanks. Thank you. That was nice. Am I oh, but I don't have Chef Mao right now. And I don't know what they're gonna do next. I, I could put another one down. I could also Food is definitely crucial. That's a better bet a lot of the time, so take that, switch it, put another down. And maybe I could actually just use the burst. <laughs> and yeah, none of that. And if I that would not kill. It would do very good damage. Hmm. Let's use that. And more cards to switch things around with. And I should probably save that for when I inevitably get killed. And... Mm -hmm. I... I'm not gonna make use of Paimon. Okay, cool. Thanks. So, not a kill, but pretty close to one. And what are you gonna do? Thank you, thank you. Oh, but that's actually death. Ooh, I'm going to die to that, and none of... I'm going to miss the Ito opportunity, then. That's really, really lame. It's actually worse than if she had actually just killed me normally. Thank you, thank you. Who's next? Oh, interesting. So, no more Hydra on that. Mm -hmm. So, actually, maybe... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Immediate star signs and a Kaya burst could be a good idea. I mean, official burst on Kaya. Star signs and then that, and I guess the question is what I do after that, then. Hmm. Star signs and hoop. And take that. And take you down. Thank you very much. And oh, that's right, we have. Bit of official here as well. Probably put down a. Well, there's not much we can do this round other than use a. <laughs> use Oz, so. Gonna get any healing? Gonna get any healing? What are you gonna do? Okay, that's big damage, but we can just. immediately knock you out, and that's gonna be three cards, right? It's not bad. Still. So, gonna put Oz down for a bit of extra. Damage spread out. I do like that basically most skills are balanced around a basis of three elemental damage. If something is different, it's either because they have a strong additional effect. And, you know, Bennett, very plainly, I mean, Fischl, very plainly, it's three damages over all of Oz's uses because Oz does one damage initially and then does one damage for two more turns at the end of the round, so that's a total of three. It's significantly spread out. I should buy. I'll match invitation letters. Thank you. Served as always. Match for you. Cool. So let's buy those commodities, buy those letters. Provisions. Match invitation letter. And we have only one right house. So we'll need four more. We can get those next week, which is when I'll presume we do more stuff, but I really need to go to the bathroom real quick.
Okay. Live, return to the bathroom. Things left would really be through and collecting all of my teapot rewards. Alright. Got four drums temper on there. And send that gauntlet. A couple days for refresh. Cool, and then we need five more invitation letters. For now we'll go back to Right, we want to start with... Oh, what? Huh? Confirm. Okay. Back to the mansion and... Oh. Which one do I want to change it to? I'll start with Monster. Which would be... Cool Isle. Cool Isle. Leave it around 30 minutes, I should get. Actually about 20, I should have enough to go. Kill Topa one more time, and then I can force my way through to Kill Tap for one more blue fate. Let's just take this then, thank you. That'll be all for now, and we've already... There are a couple of furnishings to make, actually. Bought a couple of blueprints. All down here and right, fading afterglow. Fine, luxurious indigo rug, ornate and intricate patterns, with designs of the rugs in the fated castle, dense fabric, sturdy as it ever was, even after hundreds of years, with signs of structural damage, turning the ages faded in color. Looks at the afterglow of that ancient civilization. Some towns, breeze belts, cheating finches. Small, delicately crafted metal wind chimes with boxed cloth ribbons, sounds crisp like the blue crown finch cheating music of the ear found in Petrichor. Obtains we the timid finch, since it's the environment they live in. With voices and song, and they're safe and comfortable. Finch in the tree is safety and comfort. Place chimes with sounds like the finch in the tree chops. Made a place where finches could be happy. Hmm. Aesthetics of incompleteness. Sun statue with a soldier with a sword. Power, grandeur stance. Extolling hardwood victory for the ages. Reputation of faithful castle statues. Attempt to restore the broken left arm of statue. Researchers did. Attempt to fully faithfully recreate its bygone civilization day's appearance. And they all failed. So I'm raise a critical question, which is the imperfect is the perfect. This is debating. New idea. Incompletion is not imperfectness. 
the aesthetic of incompleteness. Very Japanese, actually. Kind of wabi-sabi. Okay, so we go to Cool Isle now. We put down... Characters outdoors and indoors. I guess the question is... How long is this gonna actually take? Oh, we can actually... Ah, you can actually forge stuff here. That... And I think it's only when you have the entire thing set up. But that's actually very interesting. Did not mean to do that. Noel, Bennett, Dulek, and Diona. You're gonna have to be poking around. I guess the question is... What order are they going to prioritize these? Noel, Bennett, Dulek, Diona. Hmm... That's on right because we we could have put that down when we were in the menu. I keep forgetting it's literally all the same menu and there's a cooldown. No, Bennett, deal with Diana. All down around the weapon forging station around here. Duke and Bennett, Diana, Noel, Bennett. That's just. Okay, a little. Diana. Next to your employer. One of them. And no wow. Lonely. Well, there are no knights around, so. You'll put her. Hard at work by the forge. That's it. Oh, you can't actually move anyone in there. Oh, no well. So, are they all? They are all going to be around here, so can we? So, you currently have an. She moved, so is anything new? Hitaka? Anything new? Be in good spirits. Oh, okay, nothing to complain about. Some would just say the word. So Diana went in first. No, I didn't even place her first. I wonder how they select it. Maybe the latest release is an easy match to mix in weapon and bulky. So every day I maintain weapons, I a bit of mora. I think do maintenance myself. Hmm, got to freedom. Then where did she move on to? She moved on to the next place. Okay, it makes sense. And then, hello, you're next. Are you happy to see anything? Or... Wait. So, has anyone moved? Have to catch a cold. Anyone is. Are you? Hey there, luck is pretty good today. Oh, hi all. That's she. Good adventure. So actually, actually, I would be best to put them in one at a time, or gift event has yet to be completed. Wait, does Sue currently have? But it, huh? It's interesting, and do they mean completion is in going over the next spot to tell you now? So in that case, I should just focus on one character at a time instead of trying to put multiple down. <coughs> Makes some sense, but it doesn't mean I like it. Let's go see, similar to my hometown. In this, don't have any bars and drunkards. Well, are there any in Springdale? But no bars there, we're gonna settle down. Okay, cool. Jade Fragment and... Zoom, we'll be back at the start. Already settled in. Okay. In that case... I guess if I went over and checked... If I remove Diona, it would say some things about. Do you have any other achievements there? I have. Yep. Full save at the same time. Cross swords with your sibling. Long awaited moment. With existence, realm of consciousness, and bedtime story. Complete the quest. Okay. So, and now Noel has gotten over there. Interesting. What if I already settled in? Hello. Are and that's that the man? Going on? Send of alcohol, like it here. Mama, can I adequate? Any suggestions? Rasters in the south is far where I take my nap. Real cat. Butterflies in the meadow. Can't hunt freely. Looking at improvements. It'd be funny if she could acknowledge putting out some floors or something. He's looking at no alcohol, no drunkards. For the way it is. So, what? Would the suggestions want to say anything different? Because. Scarmoja did have separate pathing. Okay, that's normal. Okay, yeah, I get it. Swagita. 
And then chat, pretty busy. Chat, topics. Drunkards from talk, don't answer, doesn't shut them up. Most disgusting cocktail, but right. Krishna's blessing. Okay. Are Okay. Anything else? Anything else to chat about? Hunting tips. Harvest, cruels, and art strategies. Not listening, so we're gonna rattle it on. It's disgusting, and that's the same as before. It's hunting, and not much else, I suppose. Then, anything like to do? Mm -hmm. Wanted help? Cactus are hunting. Assisting. That's cute. What do you like? And help. Oh, like a cat getting brushed. Right, exactly. Bite. Yeah. More cat like that. Exactly. Come on, come on, come on. Then, what else? Just is really. Help. Okay, same as normal. And so. It's time for the eviction. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Oh, hi -oh. Bit of sunshine. I guess, do they have different dialogue at different times of the day? What if I made it nighttime? Because it was evening, but she still said morning. Oh well, and. I. Oh, yeah, so me. Come on, so we can go home. I have to be on duty. There's daytime and nighttime. That's normal. Okay. So that doesn't change, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, alright. Frankly, I didn't. Oh! Because that weird metal top ponytail. Frankly, unsightly. Okay, goodbye, Diana. No more of you. Okay. Rest. Cool. What will this say now? Not yet settled. Uncollected before inviting another. So, oh, eventually it'll talk about completing those gifts. Interesting. The question is, this should get me the achievements for. Well, beyond series two interactions, right? So those highlighted dialogue options, and they all interact. Like with friendship levels, if I recall correctly, and gifts, and okay, cool. I'm four so far. Two from Scaramouche, two from Diana. Hello. Maintain our weapon. Convenient. protecting people. Aw. Okay. There we go. We got the first achievement there. And then, did she go back or did she. There she go. And gift event yet to be completed because there was another one over somewhere else. And oh, did she move directly inside? Oh, can they move inside and outside of their own accord? It might be. Let's see, and top level would be not in current force. So yeah, exactly. So what would it say if we were outside? It would say... Not present in this area. Okay. Then up to the top, or presumably we would have highlighted her. Hmm. Alright. There we are. And yep, there she is. Furnishing scenery, special... Green wings, normal. Time and effort, freedom of resistance, gentle breezes, take good care of themselves, warmth and comfort. Hmm. Okay. There you are. I guess you're simple, I was so big there. Nata sama, oh my god, Nata sama, that's hilarious. It's for aid early, neglect and duty. Tea and snacks, okay, cool. Alright. So in that case. Go back outside to the blacksmith and then perform our eviction. It's a good thing that we set up teleports for each individual area and... Oh, so Bennett went over down there first, so... How do they prioritize these individually? 
Let's just see you again, and I like it. The atmosphere, as usual, spacious and pleasant, decorated. And this estate from is not clean. It's normal here to clean, too relaxing. Goodness. Then. Hmm. Shut and. Okay. Piece of lost property. I used to it. Random lost items. Odds and ends. Faded headband or a ball and a brush. Mark at a corner. They'll end up. Keys. A lot of confession. The order to perform. Cleaning. Queen and Tidy. Thank you. Okay. The feeling. Cleaning floor. Thanks. So in that case. What other options would we choose? Moss items, items I find. Okay. Where they end up, to reunite them, remain at a loss and found. Again, okay, cool. Interesting. There are always little bits of world building you can apply here, like a knight's loss and found. I like to do, and that asking the outfit, you know how to sew. I made wonderful momentous oblige. Okay. Busy again. I got the this. The happiest. Oh, we got a few more interactions. Let's see. What if we chose another branch? Then know how to sew. Of course. Wonder. The clothes and. In return, okay, time to get, okay. That wasn't really acknowledged, so. Night time. Night time message. Sun is inside. Hot milker, oh my goodness. So, what would daytime be? And then eviction. Okay. Not that, not that. Again, let's see. Morning. Hi. Fortunately, don't catch a cold. Okay, time for eviction and then Bennett. Fairly well. Go back to Mondstadt. Okay. Yep, we have. Not yet settled, but. Not settled yet. And we should have all of these fully collected soon. Okay. We're here by this adventurer's point, though to be fair, we already went over there some time before. Hello, hello. Then in that case, we can... Hi! This adventurer's can. Ten and a knapsack, a limited edition knapsack. Keep out with gear, wouldn't have to worry about members, don't want to put you out. Okay. So getting a few more. Get a decent amount of talent looks this way too. Nothing amazing, but this is Adventure Camp out in the wild. The latest and greatest intent designs of the cook this. We can, okay, it doesn't show whether, whether we've collected yet many smiths to make weapons or repair them. There's a demand, long years, duds would be produced, huge expense, wrap for cash, night orders, and deal with his health as well. Because he never stops being helpful to the knights. <laughs> Classic. That? Is there water? I don't think I would have swirled any hydro there. Well, whatever. Okay. Let's just get over this way then. Okay, cool. Now he's over here. Yet to be completed, and alright. Hi! High quality ores, workbench, and wool furnace. As Wagner's Wagner Smithy takes anything to rent it. Oh, because right, if he has bad luck, things would be. Raking left and right, presumably. Adventure time. Okay, so where's Duke gone now? Ten interactions, twenty, five gifts, ten, so probably thirty and then fifteen, so that would mean ten or eight characters. Two gifts per, three interactions per, but interesting. We're required for friendship and gifts. So they were, they thought that friendship, well that makes sense, if you do that outside the teapot too, it would be easier to manage than making furniture. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay, come. Looks pretty good today. Awesome. Got the open, way better. Don't need to find a hole in the tree or sneak it out. The rocks, small performance, pretty rough. Rocks. This is idle. Rocks afterwards, there we go. Not go. Unless it's you, bothering with bunch. Bothering. Then. Pretty rough, pretty rough, and. Not at all, adventure rolls like this, concerned. Like the words aren't hurting. Okay. <laughs> oh, that actually reminds me a bit of Carver. Fresh in the mind, a chat adventure just days ago. Operatory fairy. Sweet, but was it poisonous or. Yeah. Nothing. Quaska. Stomach fear. I think. Colored lights, people hallucinogenic. I think some in the bag, warn everyone to avoid eating it. Consider it more careful yourself how it ought to be. You are truly favor. No adventuring, no dangers. Hmm. See. In that case, see what else? Sure sure what? Careful yourself. Times when it doesn't matter how careful I am, because he's too unlucky. Learn others, next song. Okay, well, actually, the opposite is true. Bad luck magnet. You'd like to do? Adventure naturally. Treasure at the end of the journey, percepts of the unknown. Helping hand. Uh, physical talents, adept to long battles, exceeds managing wounds, traveling together, about this many times, personal interest in mission, and all big and thin, good, and strength, thank you. Exactly! We go on every team. The occasion, arigato. Hmm. Interesting, and. The other ones, adventure naturally, and. In hand and. Helping, adventure I admire most, many times. Thanks. Good and bad. Good luck with you, thank you. At the occasion, okay. The daytime and nighttime, and. Good morning, morning. Okay, new adventure. Ichimichi. Okay. Let's see, and. Oh, right, because. The animations keep going because this is a multi-part instance, nothing actually freezes. Oh, so mean. Battle for other adventures, don't stay up too late. Welcome to being guilt tripped. Could get that for more. Unsettled and if I put them all on, I wonder if it would talk about having completed everything in the set. So Duke has moved over to Ah, this part over here, Dawn Orchard. There's the winery in another nation visited, called the Dawn Orchard model. Maybe Fontaine? This ingredient's only one factor, skill in wine making is it's key to its position. What does it make fruit juice to balance the books? Interesting. Let's go over. Hmm. Hold up. Hello, there. Who are you here? Kind of looking out over the ocean. Kind of. Does look a bit like Cape Cod, a little. Actually, looks more like what is here, frankly. Not necessarily easy to come out of her chest. Hmm. Do I weed removal? And if you're a food quality, it's a fact the taste. Suit, qualified manager. Oh, goodness. This guy. I get. Oh, divided by. Probably eight or so of each book, which isn't nothing. It's not crazy significant, but. You know, it's basically for free, along with the Prima Gems, so. No complaints. He's over here, and they take different positions. I wonder if it might be randomized at all. Motomo? Only you know, strength soldiers are indispensable. Bill is the key to maintaining a good blight of my goodness. Pressing your smithy. Gifts all around. Cool. Finally getting this achievement after so long. Ten and then... Oh, and then it goes to twenty, so presumably this goes to forty? It'd be thirteen and a third, basically. And then this would be if it goes up to twenty. Ten and a, versus ten. 
Yeah, presumably friendship would be a bit easier to get. Hello there. The gun, good spirits. I get here, not bad, mama bad all. Let's get a taste. I'm tempted to decide, didn't mean to upset you. You get accustomed to lodging, you don't take it the wrong way. He's just hard to be around. Not bad. Good taste, not bad. Okay, cool. Then, chat, the idle variety, not small talk. Do you mind if he says that to him? security. Human greed or abyss or true stuff. And if you want to guard down, not what you want to talk about, never mind. Visual introspection. One of your interests. And, yeah, what would happen if I put everyone down? Would I be able to check and see if they can scratch or... Let's see. Happy checking, nothing of the sort, thinking, observing, and planning. Worry, more, yeah, nonsense, security. dark. Says a protector and a given. Conversation topics with your interests. Okay. Hmm. You like to do oh. this? Uh, an alcoholic, crisp and mellow. Do you like it? Recipe. Do you that? Favorite ads. Name it. Modify it. Name it. Soup test or name it after. We're in a rush. Another glass. Tsubemo. Cool. We can. Would like to do sip it with this hand, no aftertaste. Would like it, just that, favorite ask of you. And right, so that's basically normal. It's for thought. Because you're right. Right, right. Take your time, okay, cool. So it's the nighttime message. Hmm. Here we go, good night, never mind, get going. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me just see that one more time. What was that again? That was... You go to the Tolba now. Night. Nice of me. Okay. Still a bit cramped. Okay, let's see. That case. The morning is... Kibaka. Are you doing nothing to complain about? Somewhere say the word, don't hesitate. Okay, so we've got all of this. I want to see. I'll put down Noel and Diona just to see. Move around here and Noel, Diona. That. Okay, cool. And this should say we settled in and. Well, I've collected all the gifts, is the main thing. There isn't really a way to track, but... Okay, let me see. That just automatically... Already invited, no more gifts. Wars, workbench, and rent. Okay. Just check that out one more time. Let me see what... Hmm. No, not like that, not like that. Ohayo, atarashi. Let's just listen to that dialogue real quick. Hmm. Benny boy. Tanomo. Kashite kure. Says, lend it to me. Not lend it, not let me rent it, but lend it to me. Which is a little different. A little bit. So. Take you away. Mika presumably would have his stuff around here too. So, put everyone down, do some invitation. Okay. Cool. The next one to do would be we're gonna keep going outside, starting the first zone and working our way out. This is taking a bit longer than I expected. I might have to do this in bits and spurts. So, so, go back, kill the Tulpa again, cook some food, among other things. Mm -hmm. okay. 
think there are other open world players in new places. One of them is Lumidusa Harbor, and I think some might be in Chen Yu and Petrichor. These are the areas that were added since last update, which added new players in Fontaine, I believe. Two, three, and come on, and just thanks, thanks, and cool. Slash, one, two, oh my goodness, and alright. One, two, three, four, and none of that. Dumb. Two, three, four, and come on, where are you going? That way, and just... Oh, come on. I... Alright. Thanks, thanks. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, we could get that, and... Oh, wow, how could... Okay. That took a lot more than I expected. A lot more than I wanted. Okay. So, another collection from the Tulpa, and then... Mine a few things. Somewhere. Okay. Nice. That... Still getting a lot, so... Yeah, a maximum of 10 more runs of that boss. Probably just a couple more days. Should be fine. Okay, click of that, and we can get our blue fate soon. Mining, and then cook some items. Okay. I think Monset is usually the right place. It still feels so good to see 200 maximum resin on there. Not in a bad way, but definitely weird. Let's go over here. And alright. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Of all these and, Oh, they were in this node. I'm just picking these up for the sake of mining. Which means I don't need to get every single one. Not as if I'm running short on white iron chunks. Guess we can cook in Monset, maybe. Where I usually cook. That's the one thing I don't really see in terms of the lore. I never see the badly made food items. So I don't mess them up. And some fish and a lot of cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then let's make sure. Let's go through and see what we still might need proficiency on. That, 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 that. Well, the early ones, but you always have to check. It's interesting that they don't do them in release order, but... Release order and nation order. Which is why... Though these are all incredibly new. So after everything else. I mean, between... Mondstadt and Inazuma, before a lot of other things. Didn't introduce a lot of... Just a lot of... Low-level food for Inazuma that stopped... With... Samara and Fontaine, probably just because nobody used them. Onions and tomato. And cream. Where's that cheese? The tomato cream sauce? I wonder what it's actually based on. Mm -hmm. Harbor and... Deep fried tea smoke, tuna sushi, sangayaki. Oh, and there are also two more recipes I need to get from Fontaine. I believe. It's up in the hotel, so it's good that I remembered. Just now. Mate. It's a little insulting, frankly. It's not the aspect, the boudin and the barbecue. Blood sausage. The question is, cold cut bladder crab, veggie bank, then what else do I need? All oh, these are mostly done, but got more leeway recipes, so I feel impelled to check. It was the tea, it was the last thing I saw. Fruit fruity duet and fruity smoothie. So that could be flavored yogurt, milk. Uh, but among other things, I could pick up more milk from this place. Let's see what I, I need a lot of other items. I guess we could get more wheat, that never hurts. Get some more flour in. More milk. Tomatoes, I guess. Got more to burn. And more onions. Minimum of 100, no matter what. Oh, we need more salt. Okay, cool. Let's go back to Fontaine briefly and buy the recipes I missed. 
Yeah, there's some in the cafe. There might be some in the hotel. I'm not for sure there's some in the cafe, so. Hmm. It does surprise me that. Well, it's because of all the dialogue up and the fact that there are actual minor differences in the rising parts of the trees. Hmm. Strive for completion. And Sanguinetti. Greetings, see the menu ends. Alright, ah, oh, bull sauce. So it's basically orange chicken. Fine. That over there. Got a two star recipe, and. Is there anything else in the cafe? Two star recipe and a. Hmm. Let's check. Let's make sure. And there should be a cooking device down here, which is nice. And what else? Hello. Sweet stuff. Sweet as a smile. Boa souffle. Ah, interesting. So basically an orange tart. Okay. I'm going to be making the duck stuff first. But that boa souffle. Small cake. Skin scraped empty. Ah, beaten egg whites. You'll expand it. Bubble-like, spongy softness. Is they're called bubble fruits. Well, in Japanese, they're called bubble oranges. Which helps with the whole hydro thing. Small cake, which... Do they even use the orange in it at all, or is it purely decorative? I would presume they would, but... Fragrant fullness of fruits, I'll take the duck meat. Slice it in point, drizzling cold fruit sauce. Tender meat and sauce, sweet and sour, delicacy. Skin meat and... Oh, it's Corinne's special dish. That's fun. Fragrant full meats of tangerine. Any fresh sweetness, delicious. Next piece of the last evolved over the years, kept its place among the classics. Will we get her special? Well, not yet. Let's see what special one might be. And we have not gotten it yet. It's about a 1 in 10 chance, I'm pretty sure, so hopefully we should get at least a 1. Or not. We could just make a bunch more to try to see the description of a special dish. That'd be funny. Come on, come on, give us... Funny Corinth food. Oh well. How sad. And it's more of the fruit juice. Over in, and it's interesting how they count it as leeway. A leeway dish. We have pulp at the bottom, sweet juice and tea, and cheesins. And sedia, and jam, and sugar. That's so. So indulgent. Beach paradise fruit, white sands, orange sun, opening your heart and spirits. Okay. A few more of these. Not that I really have use of these. Like I said, the only ones I really make use of would be. He was pies for defense, and Winnie, Duluk, and Chi-Chi's dishes for crit rate and damage. So, we'll make another drink. Some more colors, more chinsons in it. It's very similar, but this is... It's going fruit tea versus a smoothie, so I guess this would kind of be a floral tea. Fruit flavor for yogurt, you have the milk, we scrap my clouds, jelly, and finally cut fruit, but... I guess it would be the berries? Best choice in the summer. Sort of, so they put that in automatically, which is nice. They've always done that. The change they made was making that work for... making furniture in the teapot. And also, I think, maybe for... a bit before that, I think, for... crafting. Before it didn't automatically select. Now it automatically selects, but it often selects the bad ones, like... Albedo's over Shincho. Smoothie, faint fruity scent. Clouds over chingy and tastes as light and fluffy. Well, it may surprise you, I've never eaten a cloud before. Lots of recipes from a lantern, right? That was fun. That one cooking event. Okay, one more roll. Take us right to 75 on the spanner. Let's see if we get anything. Probably not. Right, it's soft, and yeah, nothing. We will get four more rolls. Patch, we'll at least a couple more from. 
75 on normal banner. I want to be really silly. I could keep rolling with primos, but I'm not that stupid. Okay. So in that case, we'll go back to the people. And should be... Oh, but it isn't showing us the furniture sets right now? Interesting. Well, this is right by the adventure one, so... Should be fine. Right here we got... Tents, adventure camp, tent designs, Eter, Ad Astra, Abyssalsk. Resistance, lightweight and durable, even in Holland Storm, regaining their strength, become the next destination, attracting the affordable, so had ready buyers. So, and, oh, but Chagun is also, that's right. So do the five that, I mean, the four that are Monsanto who haven't showed up, because Bennett was already here. I did put that down in the relay pot, right? I think I did. I should have. So that's official Albedo, Aloy, and Nika. I'm counting Aloy as Aloy is Monstat for these purposes. Official Albedo, Aloy, and Nika. And all right, this is gonna look a bit silly, but who minds really? Me facing a weird way. This is purely utilitarian. Just want it to work. And Nika should be over here if it's in release order, yeah. Cool. So who is moving about and where? So Nika in. So Mika went off somewhere else. Where'd he go? Is he in? Oh, he went in the house. Silly. Somebody feed this guy to wolves. Okay. What are you gonna talk about? What are you gonna talk about? Oh, I guess the question is, if I put someone in here, oh no, but they do comment on both the inside and outside, so. Who's over there in this cooking room? Does he cook? Can he cook? Watching rations for entire company. Gathering out of teammates, can't drink with everyone, part of the conversation, so. He is specifically too young to drink. Okay. One gives 40. Then, not in this area. Oh, but I have to actually leave. I can't. Teleport out. Whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. All this running around, the fact that they don't zero in on a specific set does cause some issues here with. So, it'll still be faster to teleport. Hello there. Hi. Something about this place feels familiar. Adventuring campsite, first version of the Favonius Reconnaissance Manual. So Favonius Adventures Good Cooperation, Detail is just in awe. Well, I kind of bought a blueprint. Okay. Hmm. Now we should get close to 20 or so rolls from this. There she is, hello. Hello, you all. Why are we up to here? No. Like it here? Love it. Amazing, beautiful, peaceful, wonder things I've never seen before. The place is compared to this, tiny tent, so it's super comfortable here. Outside, fire would make a campfire tempered here year round. Too much of an imposition? How about let me know? Tiny, so okay, you're my guess. Thank you so much. For now, he's before I ruin it. Survey, understand your divine philosophy. How about if you ever need it? Then. Hmm. Mappy brings up and, and his idol is literally just Stormbearer Malin, so there's nothing new to show. Then, what you need, thank you. Position so no difference in the dialogue. Themselves at home? Okay, kind, thank you. Okay. Alright. So still I'm just surveying. Should probably level him eventually, maybe. Shut and, of course, eat this one. alone, many things I want to ask about. So the sword defeat strong opponents even beyond an arrow's reach. The reach of arrows, it's fine range, never a problem, manage it. Feel your stories, traveling together, watching you play. Anything you'd like to share? Connaughton's company started, pulls a sweet fart, decided to cook. Go to cooking, no complaining, constructive criticism, everyone improved. Go to restaurants, good for fuel rations, it's from way to choose the chat, element of surprise. Sweet flowers. 
Mr. Flower Boy over here. Chat and eat a soul. Strong sword and stories. This will learn. Share and Constance Company. And alright. Choose the chef of the day. Element of surprise. Okay, so that's just normal as always. And anything I like to do. That is Fitch Adeptus. Oh, Tubby. Just the topography. Going to mountains. Some harder clone. Gregor, the better. Too much to the idea. Go on a hike. It's food, cozy accommodations. Too comfortable for too long. You go to become a surveyor. Can't get complacent. Send landforms. See what you can challenge by. Tom comes. Thank you. Motivated. A mountain climber. Interesting. Let's see that other dollar tree. Adeptus and... Mountains. Again, hiking, so you could skip some of these, frankly. Perilous, normal. It's the fact that some of them create meaningful differences and some of them don't is silly. Morning, Ohio goes almost soon. Kitchen, make food. Oh, cute. So he's kinda basically Boy Noel. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, Good night, and bedtime, healthy routine. Sleep time, so he's a night owl, presumably. Okay, eviction time. Sorry, Mika. Rest over there, and AOI should be going between this and the... Oh, that changed your position, so it's semi-randomized within the confines, maybe. Over there, she'll move over there afterwards, I believe. We are... Stocking up on Prima Gems. Yeah. It could be quite nice. I should get... About 32,000. Oh, well, that's once we finish this all out. This, this will probably actually take a little bit more. It's taking about probably an hour and a half per teapot, so... Should probably... Do the leeway one, and then Inazuma. Sooner and Fontaine will be another time after that. Hmm. Big question to me is... What would I... It's just... Got enough to guarantee signal right now, which can accumulate more over the course of the patch, hopefully. That'll pass, I'm just logging in otherwise, but... If I get... Trying to think. This is with Emily. I feel like I still have to. If I go up to Pity, I'd have to win 50 50. At least once for all that. So, whatever. Can I go from them? Baseball put together and knew what they were doing. Position relation to each other, fencing shows, danger approach from any direction. Remind your companions. Okay. I do find it funny that they gave her all of this as a collab character. I wonder if they'll ever do another collab character. Probably not. That's far away enough, but whatever. Where are you now? Okay, standing in front. Hello. And Beto needs that too, which is why it's also in the Leo one. Hi. First thing, lodging furniture accrued, layout has an order to it. Mm, tribal, familiar, but different too. So right, talk about Ryzen. And towards something from this land. Yeah, you know, I did miss her bow forever. Maybe I should have gotten someone to log in on PlayStation for me or something. I don't know. And let's just chat a little. Yeah. Um, everything's traveling, silence, teapot, got from Horizon then. For a place, of course. See myself living here long term, run this place, adventure, everything's great and charming. Camping in the wilds, now they go bust by without danger, time machines, or hostile tribes. It's a safe time to adjust. So we got another one of those. Okay. To get close to that 
Name card. What's up? An adventure. Let's get out. Go straight to the snap. What's we'll around? Ruin guards. And a play going part. Which components, range, and modify gear. Swap uses. Seem to upgrade a weapon. Then, chat. Do the share. Stories. Defeat your dragon. And Ursile. Can't believe they need this. Right, and those are the ones that can guarantee we die. We need to beat. We need to Storyline that we're actually going to get the Tifa. Just want to fight back. People like you, say survive and prevail, it's small competition. The world account is a major one, well, and you went once before, pointers, eat food, and full undesired, undivided attention. Mm -hmm. Just not even sure who the culprit is. You're the one who's wrong. It's time to a fight. Mmm. I wonder if. That's any foreshadowing to the end. Well, pretty basic. I think anyone expects to just talk it out. Okay, okay. Mm. More contribution. Saving most of the board, strengthening numbers. Take it on on your own. It's also not even true. Who? Okay, cool. I she got Susan. What talking? What you want to do, go out exploring, you play some things, put an edge on the hunt. Taught you self top Too fancy, modest, too natural talent, you looked at it. Enter a shape too. Okay, gross. Good hunter. Better who I am today, I'm very proud. Proving you're my matriarchs. I don't know anything about Verizon. Evil machine in its army. You know you're more far fetched. Get your holds, like that feeling of not knowing. Just want to be unknown, new challenges. Travel or two. Wonder where X sibling is. No matter what you do this alone. But whenever, it's more than you know about to that. Village rules. This maze is an issue of hatchlings. Baby Vishapu. That would be. What's interesting is that if it's Baby Bishop. Maybe it implies that originally there were no plans to make non geo bishops. Though they eventually did make the bath as one's at least. So, the visiting the World of Horizon 1. Let me see. And very. Let's keep on going and talk about the other world. If you have the chance, take it. Troubles we're seeing and saving. That's before. Okay. Good again, same the matter, whenever you need me. And then, Janato, each other, Majutsushi, Baby Bishop Jakuten, weak point. Okay. And then, evening, Yurasumi, good night. It's quiet still. Let's make it daytime then. It is interesting that they made AOI short instead of tall. Never even notice. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. This looks clear before you head out. Okay. So we can just send her back to her horizon world, I guess. Goodbye, AOI. Okay. Click that achievement real quick. And saw chats and okay, it's not forty, it's thirty. So we are close to getting everything we need for the name card style at least, and I should spur for the forces by putting much of crap stuff in eventually. Just to get it out of the way. There aren't that many more other achievements in general. After that, it'd just basically be fishing. Interesting that this is here already, even though we can't actually play it yet. Either or false, something real, remember the end of this path. Quotic pages, supporting cast. 
Mystery Cash, Wondrous Boon. Any difficulty? Toy Metals and Vespian Tricks. Hmm. The first folio. It's interesting because, right, and, yep, exactly, it's a co op instance. So the icon does suggest. Yeah, because in that case, it would just be various wonders of the world and. Fishing, the teapot, imaginary theater, the unusual villager, then. Various hangout related events and then just random ones too. But for me, these, I would need to check each one individually to see. Okay. I want to see then. If the. Uh, I checked inside the Fab HQ. The library. Because that's where the door is going to be, if I recall correctly. Has anything changed there? I can't even go in yet. It's gonna lock. Second half of this patch, so I'm not doing it in this patch. Let's just check real quick. Mm -hmm. And that end. Down over here should be the place, and it well, doesn't look any different. Okay. I suppose it makes sense. All they would have to do is add a awesome. prompt more than anything else. There's no reason for them to change its total behavior. Okay. Talk to El Debo. Hello there. Hi. Mushiro Not being filming the wilderness. Only experts went adventuring. Go ahead and start sketching. Subject matter. Oh, nice. How cute. Did he go inside or. Hmm. She hasn't moved in. Is he. Yeah, he's gotta be inside. <clears throat> okay. Let's go over here. Find and communicate with Albedo. It's gonna be the laboratory library, right? Yeah, the alchemy one. <clears throat> the research lab, alchemy workshop, specialized intricate apparatus, any other study, but for books, reagents, samples, yes, the uninitiated. Here's cat feel the heat. Actual cats cause accidents. Tree exit regulations on workshops. Around this time, a small amount of number of headaches for researchers trying to concentrate. So, Kui. No, that's not where Kui is. Okay. Hi. Good night, Kohoda. Research here as well. You must have acquired secret art, copies things from the real world. For the research, we have some help, so. Comparison between Adapta, Al, well, Shion Arts, and Kimia, then. Interesting. Okay. Then we can again go back, talk to him. Check out his dialogue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should be back here normally. Now, official is moved, so I guess we have to kind of reload the area. So when that dialogue goes through, invitation dialogue, it does reload the area normally. So from afar, here you are. How do you like it? Chopping literature it resembles its place. Self and research get on time. Of course, alright. Surroundings, arrangements, provide inspiration, thank you. Nice. Yeah. Do you like it here? And Utopia, again. Don't need anything, creative instincts should be quite content. Surroundings, thank you. Yeah. Chat and. What you want you, of course, good. Topic, drawing, and experiments, hypothetical forms. Search purposes, reproduce without a rubbing technique. Not a good spirit, how to learn how to draw. Person drawing, anything else? Anything else? And of course, the traveler, or where the storm is more to it. 
experiments. Mm -hmm. Have a chat and topic experiments. Let me the library and research topics. We do you to learn more about gold being one of the sinners? Well, Ryan daughter being one of the sinners. And the five. I just wonder why they did what they did. Yes, the question is if they had her phone here. It was pivotal in establishing the Abyss Order. How might the others have been involved? Remember the Unknown Secrets, Master of Knowledge. He was captivating anything else, and yeah. Hmm. Yep. Kimikana. Kimikana. experiments. Yeah. Then we could like to do. Where should I begin? Oh, yeah, we like inspiration for drawing of experiments. And experiments for many other things. It was a waste of time, and you spend on you and other matters. Anomaly, more of your time, or you sketch. To a subject, your realm. To dessert. How cute. Mm -hmm. Let's see, here you are. What to do? We're shut. Okay. For experiments, drawing and experiments, many other things. Time ends. Experiments and safety is in the course. Very well. Dessert. Okay. Let's see what he has to say for morning and night. Next stage of research objectives. Revising plans. Oh, sweet. Let's see what happens at night time. We can move on to the next furniture set after this. Oh, well, footsteps from afar and good night. Sweet dreams. Bad time. Oh, funny. This is really considering the. Para bear bedtime story kind of thing. So, no more Albedo. Goodbye. You're over here now. Where will we go next? Oh, and Oz appears too? That's really cool. It's an abyssal moon. Abyss? Sensible, brilliant marks for the stars in the abyss. Brilliant marks. Sell the camps. Oh, that. Okay. That's what's going on. But eat your ad ass rabbit sauce. And where did you go for the other one? Inside? No, inside. Frankly, that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna go in and out every single time just to ensure that. I get them both sets. Appreciate when characters stick to one consistently. Here is. Oh, the master's office. Interesting. Okay. Yola and Lisa and Mona. Okay. Hi. I'm Bo Yukana. Today it's the treasure trove of the Magus custodian of books. Is that Lisa or presumably Lisa, not Mona? Right, librarian. Extended stay, seven blessings out of ten. Maybe most of the books are interesting. Okay, so what I wonder is those were the invitation events. So would normal dialogue also mean Oz showing up, or is that specific? That's the question. Oh well. Fish. And yeah, that works too. Has to interpret. Crosses my own. Tidings. Okay. Magnificent Vistas 3000. Sun Zen Sekai. That's a Buddhist term. Past and future, feebly particular. As you should record, collect a phenomena experience, grain of sand. So she's insulting it as a joke. Solidarity. Another outlander. Still flustered. Then over here. Let's see. As you like it, domicile modicum. Well, that is good, and that's normal. Okay. Hmm. And then, the chat ends. The next row marks time on present days of play. Discord of Happy Good Free. It's bothering, preposterous, not a good work. The recruits joke that they couldn't understand her verboseness. We were sitting. It's just about this, perturbed by truck. Antics is that I go, though. 
Heresy, same one to you, Reds of Faith, to the meeting, too much praise, Renly, Connaissance, maybe Propinquity, goodness. To weigh the will, a good idea, Under oh, it was another interpreter. Pointed decrees. Rokobi Nasi. Devil Radiance. It. The Japanese, though, she isn't overly verbose. This is much as just expressive. It's hard to really convey the true meaning in English, frankly. Mm. Stress? Yeah, the Japanese is more less nonsense and more heresy. We say translated as heresy in Second all. You understand? Perceived rightly, right. Innocence. Okay. Pause is gone, right. Okay. Actually appointed. Okay, cool. Alright. Then. Sonatawa. This is a bit formal, but still not as possible to understand what I like to do. Discuss. Final moments of an hourglass. Rumors from the truth, ancient god. Oh, onto that, that's probably actually true. And shadow. Oh, goodness. Oh, just. Sunset. Oh, goodness. Alright, cool. There we go. Blessings, travels. Right, the full name. Oz, full name. So is there any other... Any other thing? Let's see. Come on, come on. Do and... Numbers are... Exactly. Well, Oz would be there. Right, and... Serious. There we go, cool. Whatever. Okay, alright. And I wonder if anything would be... Presumably it wouldn't change with day and night. Good night, and tribute exalted by holiness. And we'll interfere with your sleep. Yes, we can. It's okay. So, daytime, anything change, and then we kick official out unceremoniously. Go to riddance. Refer of a word world beyond. Okay. I like the feather protocol effect. Good morning. Oh, the light, tenebrous. Call on me, basically. Good morning, encounter any difficulties? Let me see, actually. What was the first question? Let me see the first part. Shades, how old are Oh, yeah. It's good light, good sun, okay. So, time for official eviction. Go, cool. And then, we go over here, which, oh, there's no teleport waypoint immediately over. Oh, no, there is. I did put one here. Awesome. Didn't really see it the first time. I'm a fool. It was already in, so just be Amber and Sucros then, because we don't have clear. Alright. I think we've gotten a good chunk of it in. Amber and Sucros. Thank you. Sucros. Ordering is interesting for 1.0 characters, because it's definitely not the order I got them in. I wonder how they chose that. And, okay, so, you're over here, hi. Well, it's in every way, shape, there are no bones like right, right, dog. Have a research, can you help? Okay, got a freedom, and... Mm-hmm. Living and dancing. Create a cultural drawing with Ella's research. Study living habits. Camp, sea tail playing, ahead of expedition. Sand table, it's for... Somebody boarding an island and clearing of monsters. So that's why Beto is... Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So Beto takes that. Okay. Very close to getting those other achievements. Should be. Yeah. Two more interactions and one more gift. So Sucro should do it either way. Hello, hello. So it's actually basically 10 per eve. We were all a bit in total, even if it was a bit of staggering in different intervals. Books. Can we workshop? Rather reasonable menu was Thank you, Kobo. Supposed to be wrong, specimens should be damaged. Experiment, go ahead and do it. 
There we go. Gifts all around and should be back outside us. Let's collect that. Finally get that name card after this long. And right the first time I moved someone in was... Oh my goodness, that would have been almost three years ago. It's crazy to think about. Okay. Go back and talk to the crows again. The sucrose. Hello. 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 Just and smoothly, how do you like it? Don't worry, dedicated laboratory, moment satisfied. Exceeds my needs, I need to hold back. No equipment. Guilty to trouble here. Appreciate it, it means a lot. She's a bit laconic, which I appreciate. Official was very laconic. Equipment you need, and guilty again, appreciate. So this one should get the final option needed. The chat and not good at making conversation. Sushi for hours in the library, several days if it goes badly. Now about external events or people's likes. And socialize or chat. Probably to talk, whatever. And see this makes can try. So we finish that up and we can get our name card. For this much time. Okay. And then chatting and then. You're appropriate, nothing particular. Word is okay, cool. Then always bones. I like to do experiment or questions. First answer, no right or wrong answers. And Chris, no granum, ran for us animal granum. Plants full of flowers and responses. Never gotta bring this up. Private paradise. To a crystal ball, there comes a drawing. Interesting. The other option to be a little nicer and more thoughtful. And small questions and Wind will ask her. Small lamp grass and wind will ask her. Right, okay, so no big difference. Crystal fly or random. So plants, flying creatures and Hazard are flowers and right. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Favorite things, get there one day. Okay. Thank you. Morning and. It thaw, so. What would she say after the it thaw? It thaw. So no. Okay, so it's just iterasha. I thought it would be. Kiyotsukite, but it was not that. Okay, so night, and then getting rid of the dog. Okay. Cool. Hello, hello. Michiro? Are you there? Anything you like to do? Uh, no, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Suck. Suck, because of Tane. Animo seed. Mm, and. Altered objects, and. Get there one day. Okay. As in, advocate for herself more or her. Well, research, a type of cow lily for Sibboni, send it to Zashay. That's pleasant. Okay, cool. So then, let's grab this. And yep, exactly. That was finished almost three years before everything else. Mission home, world is wide under the eaves. Alright. Get through, get a few more free Prima gems from this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that... Almost 1,200 achievements. It's crazy. I wonder how many total achievements are going to be in the game after all this. Don't presume they'll add any more achievements next patch. Getting closer and closer to the fish one. I'll presume that by the end of now on I'll reach that, because Zuma is 3, then 4, then 5, so 6. Presume we hit that. It'd be funny if they added another. Because I have it described as to that fishing diary series what fishing guide series one. So presumably they might add more. Even more stuff. I think they might add boss fish or something. Oh I forgot to got to kick you out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. 
And Sucrose Eviction. Should be Amber then. Okay. Alright, and did that reload things or. Oh, okay, so she moved over here by the Caldron. Hello, hi. Yeah. Getting more books has been nice, and I think. It's very minor, but we are getting more and more of this. Actually, no, but most of that would have been from the quest. It's 41 rolls right there. 41 rolls, and right now we have. Hmm. 41 rolls, and what am I. No, no, they're all standard. I saw four and thought they were all gold, but no, they aren't. Could get some Marshall State pieces eventually. Interesting how. Oh, well, I was probably grabbing these before. It's so actually before anything else. Remember to try leveling up the set for Chevros that Diana is holding right now a little more, so that eventually Diana can get her own pieces back. Okay. Come on, come on. Thank you. Cool, cool. Okay. So 41 in there ends. Right now, hold on. I think. It's one. Two. After 29 and then. So 170 goals if I juice this all. Which, yeah, it would, in theory, guarantee Sigwin, but. So there's camps at Asugu. Tree and Scouting. Yumito. Archery. I just can beat Sigu wins. Well, I don't have. Yeah, with Sethos, I guess. I suppose. So, where did she go now? She did not go indoors. Great. To look down, stop Springville, relax the environment, comfortable lifestyle, stand out. Short while, hunting and farming. Lifestyle, gifts of nature, enjoy breezes and idols. And. Oh, so Razor likes one of the indoors ones. Interesting. I would not have expected that. Amba. How to use wind gliders, practice simple exercises in spring veil, only two or three floors, I do a for those getting accustomed. Wiggly, as in Osubasa, wind wings, rules apply here. Okay. So if I recall correctly, originally in Mondstadt, I mean, originally the game was going to have every single nation get a sort of traversal ability. So the gliders are actually an artifact of that. Well, a lot of things are. The gliders were, you know, they're wind gliders because they're meant, well, I guess animal glider might have been more specific for the English. And then the Poistrite floating blocks in Wiley were meant to be geo blocks. The boat, the wave rider was meant to be an electro bow. The four way sigils in Samaroa, dendro rope. And there was some sort of scuba diving. I don't think it was a submarine. Maybe it was diving gear, but there was something that was going to let you dive in Fontaine. We ended up being able to do. Apparently, and this was years ago, literal pre release content beta test before the game came out with 1.0. Something about a pyro cannon, which is also interesting. I wonder if that might influence what we get in Nava. And the story and stuff suggested something similar, but we'll see. Good to see you. I like it in here, and. So, so I'm just going through right now to show off all the companion interactions because I haven't done any of them. I hadn't done any of them before now, and it's more Prima Gems for Sigwin and Emily. Can't promise it'll be incredibly engrossing, but there will be some more details in there. Death to all kinds of surroundings, even sleep on a true grant, survival skills. What is she, a lemur? A monkey? This is great, and. So this is just the Hillitrol camp, which it's very interesting because it's technically a leeway piece too, because it actually mentions in its description that Beto uses it for boarding exercises, which is why it's one of Beto's favorite sets too. I like it here and I like it a lot and Tree Branch couple here that I met, of course. Place is great, okay. She's also been a bit laconic. I think the later released ones have tended to have longer lines. scar has got a lot of stuff. Did you him earlier in the Samara teapot, a chat, and telling stories, not like Lisa or Amber's grandfather, who still haven't met a journal. What about that? Haven't been hiding, read some of the entries. Is that about the comic? The journal. Except from adventure, sounds good to me. Where do I start? 
Okay, so nothing actually happens. It's still so funny that they tried to make her a mascot character. This totally did not work because she was literally unusable in game. Uh, some people have talked about the idea that not one might have a level 100 on cap, which would possibly mean A7 passes, because we've got pa Ascension passes on Ascension 1, Ascension 4, so a 7th would naturally be, you know, there's a distance of 3 between each, interval of 3. They might make Amber good. They should. Bit of a nuisance. Want to know? Have to tell you? Promise you won't laugh. Good to me. Okay, so this is still simple. I guess the question is, what would a good Amber look like? A kit revamp for Amber. You like to do, and... Did, oh, nice. Sticky honey rust. Go at home, different from eating out. Trust the food's gonna be good. Special codes if you went at home. Won't know what you mean. Waiting for... Steaks and... Right, the Burger Champion Steak. Culinary Challenge. Sticky honey roast. Color your ceiling. New color anyway. Okay, right, I keep forgetting... Delicious meal can't wait. I keep forgetting that one of Amber's character traits is being completely unable to cook. Because it's been just so long since... Well, actually, it was a few months ago that she showed up in a van, but they didn't really mention her not being able to cook there. So I would have honestly been probably Jean's story quest. Here's some steak, and that already, Sugi Honey Roast, and I'll forget to cook, and thank you, most delicious, 200 times. So they have different lines for saying goodbye at day and night. Teoreshi, good night. Sumi, don't step to it. anta. So very, very kind of informal, maybe a little tomboyish even. It's very interesting to look at the Japanese and see how they represent the characters' personalities through their forms of address, both for themselves and for other people. Ohayo, ohayo! Isatsu Kishi, Tesatsu Kishi, Scout Knight. Okay, so we can evict Amber. Goodbye, Amber. I feel like running. Then run home. We're getting more people in the teapot now. So we have gone through all three of these furniture sets and collected all the rewards. So there are a couple more, three more outside, and then some in the Mondstadt Mansion. I guess it would be nice just to look over from a decent viewpoint and see everything. Because you can see this is where I put the park and the Don Winery Orchard. Fake Springvale is over here. It's really all I did was just put all the basic furniture sets, gift sets in places. If I really wanted to, I could add them normal furniture sets too, to the extent that they're tied to areas, that'd be fair. They haven't added new non-companion furniture sets in a while. Because the thing about Mondstadt and Leeway is that there are a lot of normal sets too, and the few companion sets have a lot of characters tied to each one. But starting with especially Sumeru, though they did a little in Inazuma, each set had fewer characters to it, but there were more companion sets in total because they just didn't have new regular sets, which I guess gives every set more of a meaning to, more of a reason to exist, but at the very same time it also means that getting all the rewards requires a bit more of a grind. So Venti, Rosaria, Barbara, Jean, and Kaya. So a decent amount of church-related people, and this is the Root and Blossom Park, Monset Cell Park, Watch Hedgerows, Trees Around a Fountain, all the fragrances, finches, and butterflies, Grace of Nature, Bard Sing, so that would be Venti and Pets. But for all the chirp stuff, I can't really mention church people here. Let's put down the relevant companions, so that would be Venti. It is nice to have most everybody and most everybody max friendship. It makes it easy to get all the dialogue lines, which to be fair, the dialogue lines don't have the rewards, and then also just... Well, all you need for the event where you can get the Prima Gems and either crystal upgrade charts or talent books is stuff that's already available. That's neither here nor there. And then it's Rosaria, so you're over here, and they are all facing a weird direction, but... So are they going to move out or move in? Okay, so they are simply here, and... Oh, she actually moved to the orchard. Okay, so besides Diluc, who else is required here? Okay, so also Kai and Venti. So right, the reason I grouped them all around here is because both... is actually three out of four of the characters here share it with the other park. Well, it's trying to group things as much as possible according to some minor theme, but it is actually easier in the other teapots because they had, you know, again, they had more sets, more companion sets. Oh well. Expect to be into this kind of thing. Throwing grapes, pitch from John Wire, making your own mutton, with all grapes. Go over to try some. Very, very relaxed and frankly sleepy kind of voice. 
It's been a while, of course, since Resort is relevant for anything, so... We're here by the park, and then we can go into the deeper dialogue lines. Yibashime, a nice place. So the church shouldn't be able to find it, rest without any interruptions. Well, sorry to tell you, but Barbara is literally right there. I know it would take a lot of effort and kind of go against a lot of the purpose of the teapot, but it would be funny if characters in the teapot could have interactions not just with each other, but also with, not just with the player, but also each other. So I can really learn about you, and yet she's sleeping. Zid, how do you like it here? No like or dislike, not particular with the residences. Comfortable here than the cathedral. Prayer for, for me from catching up, so Barbara. Sitting late, being sick, care of. Right, but she did show up at the cat event. I think they didn't really mention... None of the characters who showed up at prior events really mentioned the cat event from a couple patches ago. It would be interesting to see if the cat stuff is mentioned, because I really did like how in the fungus event in Samaru, they had Layla occasionally mention the mushroom that she got there in other appearances of hers. I think she mentioned that in the Academia competition event. That level of continuity is a lot of fun, really helps with the world building. The change took a here than I thought I was, getting soft one too. At Classic, you gotta be an assassin, you gotta kill people, so... Can't afford to get soft, not particular, and thanks for your hard work. Let's cut a sum of this stuff. They thank me for it, and know you mean well, more comfortable here than exactly. So what else? Time is it, and these are the ones we unlock from our friendship levels, a chat with me. We were looking to confess, find someone else, sort of behind that. Time to see the confessions, and make sense of it. Useless words, so she can't really commit. Mercy's on me. Which in suffering will not touch them because they're blessed. Just be happier, keep on believing. And they... Bato Bas... Basi Bato. Okay. So, the romanization is pretty much identical, though to be fair, it's all goetic. Or geishic. Or geishia. How do you... Whatever is an adjective. It's Barbados, go with that. Barbados it is, thanks. Casual without being nagged is a luxury. So, hmm. The chat ends. Uh, interested in confessionals on the same page. Time sobbing, confessing, repent with concrete actions, misfortune, suffering, I okay, that's before. It honestly does bother me that there are minor but meaningful difficult dialogue branches, but it all converges in a way that means you do have to repeat yourself a little even if you want to see everything. What I like to do, go to the tavern, drink, and get actually get drunk. Never allowed myself to. The ought to be vulnerable. Perspective has changed. Trust beyond the point. Angel Shirt Diluc. Shirt of quality. Recommend a dandelion wine. Too young. Turn for you. Return the favor when. Okay. Classic drunkard. Slick Kaya. There are people who think they make a good pair. And I can't imagine you never allowed myself. So this is a repetition, but obviously the cat stuff will be different. So interested in their special cocktails from Diona. Doesn't work every day. Try and work. Couple and yep, that repeats again. Come on. Okay, but what won't repeat are of course the different lines for daytime and nighttime. Good morning. No itsumo genki. You're always in good spirits. Nothing going on after rest. It is interesting that because she is a late sleeper. The Japanese and the English the Japanese is translated from the Chinese, and the English, and then pretty much everything else is translated from the Japanese. Some things are further translated from the English. What is interesting, though, is that doesn't mean the English is necessarily always inaccurate, but that's mostly due to lore things. A lot of more subtle cues and descriptions of emotional states, like here, you know, you're cheerful versus you're always cheerful. Get some sleep, starting for me in a while. Some of those get kind of lost in translation, pun intended. And, oh, I did, well, that doesn't make a difference. So Venti should be over here. Oh, right, he went. The big thing is, I'm not sure exactly how they choose which set to go through first, but it seems like there's some consistency in that both Rosari and Venti, who go to both the park and the orchard, went to the orchard before the park. I feel like it might be due to the order I placed them in, or maybe due to some index order. But I doubt it's rant, and this is how they're working. That was wonderful, must be big and juicy. Budono hagayoko oishi, delicious wine one day. Future wines, enjoy them a little and open wide. Well, another drunkard. Classic. 
Okay, so... I will say, it's funny how many elemental shards for upgrading characters have just stocked up, because I've got far more than I need, and a lot of it is because I just... I fight weekly bosses until I have enough materials to theoretically level every single character who uses their materials to 10 10 10 skills, even though I will objectively never do that. But a lot of it is just... I like running them to try to get billets, but if I don't need their materials anymore, I can't justify it. So going until I theoretically could never, ever, ever need any more materials is the only, you know, the most generous point I could stop myself from saying, okay, this is a waste. Koenka, places in the city. Max in good spirits, we'll see what's stronger too, work together and make it more beautiful. Cute. Honestly, I think one of the more interesting things about Venti is just the fact that despite being the kind of character who would expect to be voiced by a woman, you know, sort of a younger boy type character, at least in the Japanese, in the English he's voiced by Erika Harlasher, who is, you know, you know, very plainly a woman, but it's Murase Ayumu in the Japanese, and that that's just, you know, a guy who's an adult, but just is a really, really good young boy impression that he can keep up and make sound convincing. Come to Long West, quite a few poems. I could hear. Oh! Hajime Mashtenshi, thank you for following Coffee Girl MC. Nice to meet you. I am just going through my teapot and collecting rewards and going through people's dialogue to learn more about them. Our favorite drunken bard is here right now. Sold of your hard work, immense gratitude for all you've done. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Can I'm happy? Yes, I love it. I'll probably be off in about another hour and a half, and I think I should at least be able to get through the mod set teapot. So I've got every single companion set placed down in all five regional teapots. Oh, we always two, but I won just there basically for currency gorming. As for my thoughts, confident in your own taste, real deal protagonist. He's with confidence, turn your ideas into reality, ever run into trouble, I'll lend a helping hand. There we go, okay. So then, you like it here? Poems, any poems? Great, of course, Moshiron, of course. Gratitude, anything you want, already has everything I want, find it, you ask for my thoughts. Exactly. It is interesting for us to call, for him to call us a protagonist when Venti has been sus for almost four years and quote unquote knows all songs past, present, and future connected to Istaroth, the shade of time. So what does he know? Oh, what does he know? Your companion, which tell me tired, lost, worried, works so hard. How do you feel? Funny tone of voice here. Apples lose their sweet flavor. Should I? A lot better when you wake up. Under my shoulder, serious faces are rare sign. Beating? Great, don't worry. Nice to be by your side, thanks. My warrior. Then, chat with me, and then a bit lost, and if you lost at times, nothing can always go according to your wishes. Most important thing is, I want to jumble, sort it out with that whisper of the wind. Be afraid, Kawagata and I then. Don't have fear. This is a rare sight. Hey, don't worry. Let's be by your side. Okay then, so... Let's see, we got anything you'd like to do. Let's hold the feet. Good friends, bottle of the finest wine. This is the location. Right here in the... Oh, but he's not referring to the sand, just here in the teapot, not the park specifically. This would work quite well. Benches, benches, no porch, and beautiful fresh flowers. Very coincidentally right. Theme of our celebration, theme, hold and think of one. Cheers, pop, wishes for happiness. And at least two of those were about drinking alcohol. Dishes, any dish you make, quite a merry time. Definitely be lively and help out. Officially start the preparations, a drink to celebrate, and he just loves that alcohol. They should have an Alcoholics Anonymous event that we can send to Fenty to. Yes, hold a feast and see the rest. Put on a show, bard up is sweet, haven't played in a long time, I'm here, not much time, specialty dishes, it was chaotic, we talked to Scar early in the Samaru teapot, to talk about the Harbinger's Banquet, which does get mentioned in some storylines, too, chaos staple of taste, proper organize it, or was that bards or taste, I did not quite see that, Relations for waste day, a drink to celebrate, Let's see what his different nighttime and daytime lines are, and that would be, good night, Venti, don't want to sleep yet, Keep you, company, or likewise, one way or the other. So then, let's see. Let's change the time again, and, alright. 
All right. So keeping company versus. So that must have hung on since night. Probably not taking count of the change of time. Good morning and morning. Where to play? Visit need a recommendation. Asobu. I feel like Asobu doesn't have the same sort of childish connotations as play in Japanese. At least not entirely. I don't entirely know, but. Okay, so Kai's moved over, and yeah, it's they're very consistently moving to the orchard before they're moving to the park. The Mondstadt one and the Liyue one should definitely take the longest. I feel like the amount of time they take should combine to be about as much time as the other three. Because beyond the fact that they've just had a longer to have characters without for him, they just, you know, being the start of the game, just had a bunch of added in at the start. Press them into juice, delectable wine. Another drinker. Three drinkers, and then deal with like this one. Rosari, and then Takai, and then I'll now deal with back at the winery. Secrets of wine making. So we've done some kind of reconnaissance in the meantime, as one does. So he has moved back over to the park, presumably, to see what happens. So what will you tell me? And yep, we're slowly whittling down this groove, and once we've got this park done, Shouldn't be anyone left at the winery, because that was Rosaria, Venti, Kaya, and Diluc. We've already gotten everything fuller now. Once I will be bothered by duties as a knight. My age one, having a taste when he voiced, chat as we do right now. And just like Venti, everything he does mentions drinking alcohol. And that's why this game got a teen rating. Alcohol reference. Oh, and see you again so soon. How do you like it here? But at home already, home doesn't interest my feelings in their entirety. Surprise, that I was on this place. It does make sense because it was a monster teapot, but I can't imagine it would have any different lines. Wasn't a surprise, exactly that. Beautiful than imagined. While it's a mood, initial sense of surprise is worn off, feels comfortable like somewhere I belong, who'd have thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what if we asked if it was nasty? How would he react? Oh, adversely, and of course he does have his outfit from last summer. Of course, not very pleasant, more beautiful, and that's just the same as before. So we can just exhaust his dialogue and... Chat with me, come to the right person, speak your mind, have to keep you company. But our whistles drink so much, because I like the taste. And I like being drunk. You mean, from listening, I never tried it myself, you need talent, sympathy, or... Talk to in conversation, much the same way is. Pleasure's layer in the cocktail of... What a hedonist. So the metaphor, I hadn't looked at it from that angle. Geology seems to to reflect, but small detail. The main ingredient. So in that case... What would he say? Ask about numbing the pain. Probably his old history of deal with Mr. Manga relevant character. He has been through that much, content in my life right now. Checking with you quite intoxicating. I do appreciate the level of character development that a lot of characters have had. It's, it's one thing for the character to be different between the manhwa and the game, but real character developments just... For example, last patch, I did this a couple of days ago, they had Sethos show up inside of Second Story Quest, which is over by... takes place largely around the Temple of Silence here in Samarit, which they kept accessible after the quest, which I really appreciate, and even added NPC dialogue with a bit of tidbits about Deshret too. But mainly, in that Sethos fights with basically a color inverted copy of Sino's burst powers, but obviously he doesn't use that when he was released because he lost a bit of his power, which is probably why he's four star. The big thing is just, in another game, Sino might have actually gotten a buff after that, and clearly they did not do that. Except from Jean Lee, they've never really significantly changed character kits post release, which frankly I find kind of sad. I'd like to do here by my side, and what can I ask for? Resistance, way of words. It's wisdom, flattering, only from the heart. Nothing made people prouder knowing that I was able to help you. And you trust me. Trust in me. Helping you solve your problems, compile a guide. Practical knowledge, techniques for communicating with all kinds of people, share it with you. It sounds like the guide he made for dealing with Kui. But the guide he made for Kui to deal with other people, right? The pleasure, better get to work then. Do appreciate the fact that Kaya kinda, arguably, a lot of his character is basically being a girl dad to Kui. 
Missa, no one can ask for. Words of wisdom in the future, I do service. Power guide, okay, so that's just the same. Never failed to impress. My pleasure, get to work. So that had a bunch of dialogue options, but not a single one actually changed a thing. So soon. Ready to say goodbye, get beauty sleep. Alright, good night. Who's just commenting on beauty sleep? One of the most... I feel like vain might not be the right word, but... You know, he would advise a peacock as his constellation. Preening and showing off her. Pretty significant character traits from him. God bless him. Morning Kai, I'm morning you too. Don't forget I'm always here to pour your heart out too. So we can just kick him out. You've spent long enough here. Sorry that you thought it was beautiful. You're gonna have to leave. So Barbara is over here, and actually the last one outside is going to be we got Diana, we got Amber, it's gonna be Razor over here, and all the remaining ones in Mondstadt are going to be <laughs> inside the mansion, which means actually we can just collect with both Jean and Bar oh, but Jean and Barbara are gonna move back outside. So to exhaust their dialogue options, we're going to need to come back out here anyway, so we may as well just not do that. Familiar sin. Maybe it was Rosaria slacking off. That's after doing those things, sounds of the water just so relaxing. Thank you, well, this place. Thank you. And then, clearly, you're going to move to inside the teapot. And Jean has not moved over yet, because presumably, Barbara's still occupying some space. Guess the big question would be, what would successfully reload the area in a way that- Okay, so even teleporting reloads the area enough to- No, no, no. Did not reload the area to get her removed. Question is, this is a loading screen, so clearly it reloads the area. So if I left the mansion, would Jean move to a gift-giving position, or would she simply- No, she hasn't moved, so I suppose that Barbara- as long as the character is still giving out gifts, they occupy pretty much every area where they can give out gifts simultaneously. Like Superposition or something. Schrodinger's Genshin playable character giving out Prima Gems. Never mind. Okay, so she's over there and we just went into the one empty room. Because I am a complete and utter idiot. Over here in the sleeping room. Tidy room. The phonius guest room. I didn't know the phonius HU had a guest room, though to be fair. Noelle's dialogue here also told us that they had a lost and found, which I didn't know about either. Cute decoration to be more cozy. And you have the time. Thanks, Barbie. Let's go party. Okay. It's just, every now and then someone does make a joke that Barbara is basically, literally Barbie in a number of ways. You know, the name most of all. Which is always at least a little amusing, in no small part because I keep forgetting and getting surprised by it again. So you're over here now, I'm just giving out normal dialogue, facing random direction off towards the sea because everyone is aligned exactly the same when I place them. Can care can't tear to spin them around. Do you find it interesting that she has a book and oh but she does have a random cross. People have joked that you know due to the random cross motifs in Favonius. That implies that at least some point Venti got crucified, which is really, really funny, especially because in terms of actual biblical motifs and narrative, Fontaine is a lot more relevant there, and they just don't have that symbolism. But at rest, they've got a lot more Fleur de Lis stuff over there. We will have it here. Totemo kimitayo. Good to me. Different from Monsat. It, it's not particularly difficult. Not particularly different from Monsat. Put the Mondstadt stuff here because it looked most like Mondstadt. So you could say maybe it's more like Golden Apple Archipelago. And this did come out a few months before the first Golden Apple event. It was, wow, almost three years ago. It's crazy. Not disturbing anyone. Best way to practice. Don't consider a disturbance. Say that. Make sure I'm being considerate. Happy you invited me. Stay here a little longer. Well, you can stay as long as you have new dialogue to give me. And then you're getting kicked out. Sorry. Well, we're here and... That's great. Happy invited me to come here. Stay a little longer, so that's just basic as normal. Without the compliment, but still the same dialogue tree, basically. Reconverged. Convergent evolution. It's like crabs. Everything becomes a crab in the end, that smile. Spicy food, or chatter of a long time, plus all of a sudden, easy to please. Not such a bad thing. Find it receive joy. Oh! Oh! I... Share that joy with other people. Let me, let me show you something. Wonderful as people say, no need to shower me with compliments. 
what criticism can we grow? So, a couple days ago, and, well, right here, right here. And she is currently using my R5 Black Sword. I did a bunch of pre-farming, so we had a Thundering Fury set ready for her. No constellations. Everything at 8. I didn't have enough more to take her to 9. And I don't have enough of these crystals, though I probably will do some farming eventually. It'd be a good excuse to go and fight the underwater local legends again. But it was really funny, because two days ago on stream, I had both good luck and really, really, really bad luck in that... I got Corinne at 17 pity, winning the 50-50, which gave me a lot of stuff to keep on for Sigwin this patch and Emily next patch, but that stream crashed six separate times, including my computer forcibly shutting down, because my computer just kept overheating. Part of it was that I had a Firefox window actually open for various and sundry reasons, and part of it was that, as it turned out, my room was not getting air conditioning, because my vent was not open. So I fixed that, which should help out a little more. I also, if you can hear a fan in the background, it's because I've got an external fan blowing behind the computer. So I've got a fan inside to take. That said, actually, taking off the dust cover might be a good idea, but there's also a lot of dust to fall inside, so probably not. Top dust cover is that there's a fan that blows hot air off the back, but since it's under my desk, it's relatively easy for things to pool around. So I have a fan blowing towards the center of the room from the side of the PC to try to blow that hot air farther away. Especially since when I was constructing the PC a couple of years ago, well, about a year and a half ago, with the help of my cousin, who's a computer engineer, among other things, that said he actually had to get his dad's help. To be fair, his dad is also a computer engineer to build his PC initially. That was a lot of fun. It was a good chance to hang out with my cousin, who's a couple of years older than me, but... I should bring them on stream sometime. Maybe when, if my dream of doing a six-man multiplayer Elden Ring playthrough comes true, I might be able to get him involved with that, but... So I had very good luck with really good core end rolls, and then... I did manage to pick up one Sethos along the way, no cons, but I did also pre for him. Frankly, his cons are good for his charge shots, but... The annoying thing is that he actually does not... You don't really use his charge shots as much as you would want to, ideally. Because his charge shots are only really worth using for, with this effect, but it takes 15 seconds, which is the same cooldown as his burst. So you can't run him quick swap like you would with Tinari. And if they hadn't put that crazy restriction on him, you would probably run him ideally basically as a secondary DPS quick swapping on a Tinari team. But it's just not possible. If you want to use him at all, you have to use his burst. Sometimes, especially at high cons, you can use one quick short shot before the burst, but if you don't do that, he's just unserviceable, which sucks. Because he has such a fun kit idea, and characters that can use energy in other ways than just powering their burst. It's such a cool idea. The only thing we have like that right now is... Shimonawa's Reminiscence, which I do use on Yoimi at least, because it is her best in slot. And sometimes on Hutao, that'd be fair. Hutao has gotten pretty hard power creep saddling, even though I do have her C1 on accident. It one day eventually, hopefully. The big thing is that my long-term goal is to get every single character and get every single character to level 90, ideally 999 talents and a, an artifact set just for them that I don't have to take from someone else. That said, a lot of these characters over a year are oftentimes strictly worse versions of other characters, which just don't really have a niche. Because Candace is fun, or interesting, and I have her C6, and I do want to build her eventually. Have an emblem set for her, because once you get to higher constellation levels, you do arguably want to run her. Kind of, or, or at least make her personal damage not entirely suck. It becomes worth building for. Love the Ankh, love the aesthetic, but... The big thing is just... What's very, very interesting is that in retrospect, a lot of people have said that... Candus is probably intended as a bespoke Sino dedicated support. At least at C6, because we kind of work as a Xing Chao and Gaewon substitute, kind of. And we see you have higher cons, and she also specifically buffs normal and charge attack damage, or at least normal damage, I forget which. And yeah, normal, normal damage. Increases elemental damage bonus 20%. I'm not sure if that scales or not, I don't know. The big thing is, is that I'd like to use everyone eventually, especially because of the way Imaginarium Theater is going to work. 
because I'm very much a horizontal investment over vertical investment guy to the point that the only best in slot five star weapon I have is this one and I only rolled for it because of drip it makes her really really strong she's not crazy crazy but she's still good especially now that I've gotten her working here she actually worked decently a bit with only 666 talents before I had enough materials to actually start upgrading her and now she works very very well I still couldn't get more than one out of four Platinums in the Super Boss event last patch, though, but... You know, it's a necessary evil that make things that really only whales can do. Because the whales fund the game. They fund our game. As much as I might hate to admit it. Yeah. But TGS put out a summary of Sethos before the patch came out. Where he basically said, even if you wanted to use his charge shots, you have to use his burst again anyway. Because the cooldown on his charge shots of special effects, special buff damage is way too long to actually use for quick swap. It's sad. It really is sad. Sure, and talk about being a people pleaser, something amusing. Chat with a friend like this in a long time. There is no pressure, but there is a fan chord if you scroll down to the buttons that is mostly a schedule chord. So if there are any delays or streams due to extenuating circumstances or schedule changes, I think that would be the best place to check out. But even if you're not interested, I do just appreciate you following and chatting on stream every now and then. Long time, bless all of a sudden, putting other people first, what I'm supposed to do. Maybe people looking out for me, to repay their kindness. This is wonderful as people say, no need to shower with compliments, criticism can we grow. What I will say is, is that if you have any interests, occasionally people do ask me if we to look at their lineups. So if you have any interest in showing that out, I would be happy to, happy to help. And full of life, and anything you like to do, practicing a new song. Add a few details, course, up a half step, dance routine, not sure, watch and write idle performance, unconditional support, what's it need practicing, perform for you at such close distance, left to me, know where I could run, but well, gotta believe in you. Koen Kaishi, let the show begin. That is not an expression I've actually heard before. Koen Kaishi, it's probably proverbial in some sense. Details, Nidan. Half step, yeah. Do my honor. Don't laugh again, yeah. Not demo my. Yourself as well, and okay, then. Koen Kaishi. The big thing is, I wonder if the second step would be. Oh, Bond of Life Sword? It. Give me a second. I have some thoughts. Smile and. Or anything else? Putting other people first, so yeah, there was no part I missed. Okay, cool. It's all about just being nice and happy. The big thing is, is that Finale of the Deep works with her. It's probably her best non-battle pass four-star option. The Black Sword, if you show off for it, is definitely better. Just, it just gives a damage bonus on normals, which all of her main attacks count as. And Bond of Life works. It is annoying to farm. And frankly, most people probably have a good Thundering Fury set lying around to use on her. The big thing for me is that, and this is the thing that a lot of people have commented on, including TGS as in the Genshin Scientists, which is that during beta, they increased her multipliers somewhat, not all that significantly. They significantly decreased the duration of Night Vigil. I believe it was around 10, maybe even 12 originally, maybe 11, I don't know. The big thing is, is that they kept her long cooldown, but decreased her uptime significantly. And that means that... Thundering Fury can often be better just because it produces her cooldowns and makes them more manageable. You're running her on a Dendro team, which is generally what, generally what you should be doing. So if you try to run her on an overload team with, say, Chevros, for the Shred and the Damage bonus, you would usually end up... They would be triggering power reactions on her a lot of the time. The big thing is that, unless you could maintain Power War, which is hard, unless maybe a Jungling, you wouldn't really be able to drive Fischl, which is generally how you want to... You want someone who can drive Fischl usually on a Chivros Overload team. That's how I run Arlequino. I run her... I run Arlequino... Arlequino, Chivros, Yai, and Fischl. And Yai and Fischl combined, especially if Fischl's A4 passes, can keep up pretty much infinite Electro Aura on most enemies, especially with Arlequino triggering Overloads to trigger more Fischl hits. And that works well. But Thundering Fruit would not work on a team like that, usually for a number of reasons, if you were using Chlorins. So that's why, so if you run Thundering Fury, maybe you could definitely run Bond of Life set there. The big thing is that Quirin also wants, as I'm sure you know, triggering reactions to get a bit of a damage bonus to her attacks. And that 
can still work with power off fielders hitting, but it's generally a bit more complicated and weird. That's what I would say. Because if you want to run Fischl on there too, which again, Fischl is so good that a Chiros team without Fischl is, I don't know, like a fish without water. But, generally speaking, I would prefer running her Dendro and running her Thunder and Fury. The best team for her is usually going to be some, something like Fischl, then either Nikita and Baiju based on preference, then Corinne and Fischl. Just generally Dendro and Fischl. And maybe you could run Nikita and Baiju together. The big thing is that Oftentimes, the heater and or Baju is a trouble getting energy back on that kind of team as a solo dendro. But generally speaking, just it takes extenuating circumstances, and by that I usually mean Chivros, to make it worth it to run an Electro DPS character without dendro on the team. They're just that good. And it is honestly really funny that just dendro was a huge patch to the game in the sense that Electro went from being probably the worst element in the sense that I guess the question is sort of Mono Electro is still decent if you can't ride in or at the very least her multiplies were high enough and the energy recharge utility good enough that even though Electro sucked and was arguably one of the two worst elements alongside Geo it's still it was still a really really competitive archetype and one of the, consistently one of the best team archetypes in the game Rational I beat a lot of abysses that I probably shouldn't just using Ride National. Because Mono Geo, there is the question of sort of how much do you take in the stock, the element there. I. Just a second, I gotta sneeze. I'm not sure Geo needs a buff. It, it's not amazing, amazing, but they put out Chiori, who is specifically, arguably, a better version of Albedo for Geo teams. The big thing with Geo is that since Crystallize isn't really relevant most of the time, unless you're running Navia specifically or a Geo DPS with Nighttime Echoes, which is really just Navi, of course, and then maybe Nikwong, because any character could use that set or Husk is going to be better off using Husk. It's all about multipliers, because they're not getting more damage from reactions, and they just need to give them big numbers. It's like physical with Eula. And then she got power crap just because the numbers got bigger and hers did not. But Ito's still good. Shiori is, again, better Albedo for Mono Geo teams, while Albedo works better with, say, Navia to produce crystallized shards. Unless you get Shiori C1, in which she just hard power creeps Albedo in pretty much every meaningful way. But, you know, raises the question whether you should evaluate character kits at C0 or C1 to see their intended performance. Because, you know, for one, with Thesley, never really uses these charges unless you're at C1 where it's guaranteed at the end of a combo, but really though, still. And then again, of course, you know, Hutao's C1 is very important for quality of life, increases her defense significantly by letting dash cancel instead of jump cancel, but also Hutao's power craft hard and not relevant really, but it's neither here nor there. I think the question is, is that we're probably getting at least two more relevant elements. You've got Imaginary and Quantum from Honkai, and Quantum is obviously Abyss, and Imaginary is obviously whatever is up with Celestia. And then Dainsley's power might be Quantum, or Abyssal, or Skodo, which is, you know, Shadow or Dark, and Skodo or Erebo, which is Dark or Shadow in Greek, like the other English translations. Because Dainsley's stuff isn't very purple. It's more of a black and blue combined. And, you know, we've got enough color variations within elements, such as, you know, Yai has a pinker Electro, Clarin has a very dark purple Electro. And, of course, Zhao. It would have been really funny, frankly, if they gave Zhao Uxia, given that he has a very dark animal. Though it makes sense that they did for a number of reasons. It still, it's interesting that we've never really got any kind of specification on exactly what Numa and Uxia are. There are a lot of best guesses, but... You know, Celestial versus Abyssal Orientation, but they've never said anything straight up. Big thing is, is... We're either getting two or three more elements before the end of that chapter, almost certainly. And they might give Geo more... buffs. I think something interesting they could do is... Specifically for stuff like Mono Anima or Mono Geo. Or, God forbid, Mono Dendro. Basically giving a reaction for one of those where you apply the aura of that element. <clears throat> and 
And if you an attack with an element that can't be swirled, it gives a viridescent venerable like or deep wood like effect for that element. So that there are other ways you can get Geo Shred other than Geo Resonance or Zhongli Shield. And that could be nice. But again, I think the identity of Geo is very strongly about not reacting, given that loading stream tips specifically describe it as inert. It's all about just giving them good numbers, good numbers on their basic attacks and skills, numbers on their buffers, maybe on Shred, who knows. And, you know, not putting enemies in Abyss that have shields that require a lot of elemental applications to break. So basically, no iniquitous Baptist. See a good dream. That was a command. Okay. Let's see, I guess... What do you think a good Geo buff would look like? I've seen ideas that other people have had, and a lot of them revolve around Geo Constructs. I feel if they wanted to do things around Geo Constructs, the first thing they would absolutely have to do is just mean it, make it so that Geo Constructs aren't breakable. So either, there's no way they could make them completely impassable to enemies permanently. There'd be too much cheese there. Actually, not really, because it would block us too. But maybe something where if an enemy deals enough damage to break it, doesn't remove the construct but makes it sort of take on a phantom state which hopefully it wouldn't reduce damage but basically make it passable to enemies instead of just disappearing entirely because the fact that albedo's flower can break is frankly ridiculous especially after that at chiori whose dolls are not constructs but just they get moved around but they can't break they don't have hp to break the wife might at rest and good morning West with a wonderful day. I will give you my prayers. Okay. A short boy. Oh, that could be very, very interesting. As a damage over time effect, or just an immediate damage proc. Because that reminds me a bit of Ningguang C1 that adds fracturing shards. But right, I didn't want to progress the daytime. I just want to kick Barbara out. Sorry, Barbie. We're sending you back to the dream house. Okay. Oh, but right, right, and she came back as we exhausted her dialogue, so it's just Jean over here talking to this. Goes in the house and then you have a razor. Sun will a walk. Monset happy and free, till deeply inspired. So the city's residents may live in peace. Work is excellent, thank you. I guess when people talked about a geoconstruct buff, usually they've talked about it in terms of basically constructs being able to do a sort of elemental absorption in the way that animo can often can and giving either a straight damage percent buff in the vein of petra although petra just isn't good even if it worked the thing about archaic petra and a lot of people don't know it because the description does not say anything about it but the character with the set has to be the one picking up the shard and if another character picks up another shard, not even just one of a different element, but any other shard at all, the buff goes away if they don't personally personally have Petra. It's basically unusable. Especially because damage percent is very easy to get crazy amounts of. And especially now that Furina's out, the Petra suck for one time even before Furina. Whereas Shred is a lot harder to get access to, and that's why Viridescent is always good. Perfect city exists outside of the Fudonese headquarters, Masaka. I can't believe it. Just have Tokimo. Any time or. Reading or working? Thank you. Very Aokishi, on a very night. Very satisfied. So then we go back out and. Honestly, I expected all the teapot tour stuff, stuff to pass really quickly. I. This is gonna sound exceptionally crackpot. I think there's a strong possibility that Animo is just secretly also the time element. Given the comments on Winds of Time. But if it was a separate element, I feel like it could end up being imaginary, sort of a light in time kind of thing. And there are a couple of reasons for this. One is because... In both... Enconomia... And... The bottom of the chasm in... The Perilous Trail, Archon, Perilous Trail, Archon Quest slash event. That was a really cool idea. Making an event that was also an Archon Quest. And I guess you could argue that was maybe kind of cost-saving. But the domains involved were cool enough that I didn't hate it. 
but some of the puzzles were time based, some of them are light light based. In Enconomia, there were simultaneously shades of the past, so shades, shadows, and light is a central puzzle gimmick. And another thing, and this is going to sound very, very crackpot, very crackpot, but a lot of Genshin lore is inspired at least in part by the lore of the Dark Souls series, which you may or may not be familiar with. But one of the lore tidbits in Dark Souls, which actually... Basically, the big thing is that one of the magic spells you can get in Dark Souls 3, which is a version of a spell from the first game, it's a repair spell that repairs your weapons. It says that light is time. Basically, that by using light, you can control time. And that's specifically why, for example, that one thing in Dark Souls is also that lightning is specifically effective against dragons, which a lot of people try to come up with scientific justifications, but it's almost certainly because, as revealed in the third game, lightning, light is time, and in the first game they say that lightning is the power of sunlight, which is, of course, a time of kind of light. So basically, lightning is the manifested power of time, and it kills dragons, which are immortal and timeless, by effectively empowering, applying the power of time to them and basically forcing a normal concept of mortality upon them. But that's enough irrelevant souls talk. The big thing is that light is time in souls. And again, Genshin gets a lot of things from souls. The Black Serpent enemies internally are named Dark Wraith, which is the name of an enemy faction in Dark Souls that has a pretty similar appearance to the Black Serpents in Genshin. And Electro and Eternity? Well, give me a second. I have something to say on that. And that basically the lore of Genshin is a source of power made for gods to conquer the world from dragons, which is literally the intro cutscene of Dark Souls 1. There are a lot of games and fantasy settings that have sort of dragons ruling over the world before humanity takes over with the help of the divine, but the connection to the number four is very specifically souls. Especially given that the shades are almost certainly connected to time, space, life, and death. And two out of the four gods of Dark Souls are life and death. The others are... Not he light and dark. Light and dark. Which I guess you could maybe tie to time and space, especially since light is time. Though, you know, space being darkness is maybe a little different. But the thing about Electro and Eternity is that it's specifically... A an erroneous connection, which Electro is literally the most transient of all the elements, arguably, in the sense that it's lightning, because lightning explicitly, and they describe it in, I believe it's Philosophies of the Light over here, they explicitly say, yeah, lightning is literally only for an instant, literally only for an instant. What were you smoking, A? Our lives in this world, <coughs> oh, I need water. Are our lives in this world not akin to the leaven as a lightning flash? Because wind and phenom wind and fire are also phenomena, not substances, but they can persist. I guess you could argue about an electric current, but the importance of a lightning to the depiction of Electro and Genshin is enough of it. Electro is explicitly the most transient element. The fact that A prioritized eternity. And, you know, Makoto's attorney is literally not eternity. It's literally change. Constant change that just goes on forever, which is only eternity in a really silly kind of way. The fact that A prioritizes eternity and things not changing while supposedly being the goddess of lightning is supposed to be part of, you know, showing off how ridiculous what she's doing is and how much it makes zero sense. But, second. It's also just because, like in the Inazuma story quest, it's stated that Eternity is closest to the heavenly principles, that it was basically an attempt to avoid Inazuma getting nuked by Celestia like Conria did. Okay, so what do you have to say, Jean? Kazuna Michi, let the wind lead, the path of the wind. Very comfortable here, as just fresh. Kuki got Shin Sending, yeah, fresh air. Relax, literally just relax. So quiet, comes from get a lot of work done while you're still working, not alright. Enjoy yourself, thank you. Keep your suggestion firmly in mind. And then, Kazuna Michi. Genshin, yep. The Genshin overworked one. Enjoy this place. Keep your suggestion firmly in mind. 
And then, mm -hmm. there's an Omechi. A chat, and, or perhaps you could, oh, we asked some, a walk. Adjustments to my life. Oh, so they're taking into account the previous dialogue options that we unlocked at lower dialogue. Or friendship levels if you complete my work, performing official duties. And with you now able to unwind, great progress. I'm saying relax. Great progress, all thanks to you. Compared to the sort of circumstances, you can recognize this much. And then... Oh, also, I just checked. Thank you for joining. Thanks for joining the server. We're we are all very glad to have you. Let's recognize this much. Thank you, truly. Oh my goodness! Not the Traveler, Riz. Mark will be talking. Which I want to say to you. Goodness. Hey, it's no problem at all. I'm... There is nothing I enjoy more than meeting new people and chatting about video game lore concepts. I spent more time than I, than I might have liked to last night talking a lot about Sekiro, which is kind of and kind of not a Souls game. Playing through that right now on a harder difficulty. Doing a bit more tomorrow and Sunday, all thanks to you. Time, right, so it's same as normal ends. Won't go me, truly. Thank you too. Have a good night, While we talk, issue and so talk together. While we walk, talk together. Not walk while we talk, talk while we walk. Which I want to say. And then the second one, Cousin Amichi. Also, also, might take a bit, maybe around a month, definitely a couple weeks. We'll see. I did want to have it ready for Elden Ring when I started that in a bit. Probably won't be ready then, but I do have a model upgrade in the pipeline, so you have that to look forward to. So exactly, yeah, stick around and enjoy the show. Chat with me and it's a pleasure to be in your company. Topic or discuss anything except for work. I was singing, I didn't know she could sing. Show the choir? Desperate for the people around me to think on this. You need to take it so seriously, sorry. She keeps on apologizing. More informal, or she works for me. Multagai, between us. And then, the big thing with Sekiro is that it takes place in a real world, real world historical fantasy setting. As all the other Souls games are various kinds of original fantasies, sometimes based on parts of the real world. But Sekiro, it's fantasy, but it takes place during the Sengoku Warring States period of Japan's history. It has a lot of the themes of other Souls games, in particular, sort of letting go of the past and accepting the future, and not getting obsessed with what you have, which is very, very Buddhist, which also works very well for Sekiro because there are a lot of literal Buddhists in the area, in the game. But I think it's a lot more resonant because it deals with real-world events in real-world settings. So the entire plot is basically about the main antagonist trying to use unseemly supernatural means to resist the conquest of Japan by the Tokugawa Shogunate. Which, it's one thing to say abstractly, oh yeah, you know, don't hold on, don't do horrible things to, regret, to protect what you have, and then say, oh yeah, this guy, fake character dealing with real events, this is what with some fantastical elements, this is what our lesson looks like in a quasi-historical context. I just found it very, very cool. And of course, you have to be very sensitive when you're doing real-world settings and dealing with real-world events, but they were, they've been very, very graceful with it. I wonder what From Software might do if they did another kind of a role fantasy setting. Company, top to discuss, sing quite well. A few simple songs I'm going to brag about, hear you sing. Completely unprepared. Practice first, works for you, works for me. It's interesting that you didn't bring up Barbara in conjunction with that. Though it would be fair, good morning. Good morning, Ohio. Successful journey. Don't have to get to ask. It is interesting to me that she... She and Barbara don't really talk a lot about being sisters, to the point that, frankly, a lot of people don't even know that. It's actually pretty easy to forget. Of their parents are Seamus Pegg for Derek Gunhilder, the first being basically Mondstadt's Pope, and the second is, <clears throat> recall correctly, a former Knight of Favonius. Big thing is that, you know, they took different names, split the family in the divorce, literally. Step too late, remind me yourself. That's, that's a fun detail. So, okay, so Jean can go home and rest. I. I, I'll make a channel for that right away, actually. Just a few reference images. I, I've sent some to people upon request, but I'll make a channel right now. In general, and I guess where would that go? I feel like support might be alright. Support? Sure. 
references. Eigen references. Cool. It's just gonna be normal and send some things here. By popular request. And I'll just put in a few. They'll, they will be a bit messy because this is literally just shots I've taken of a Vroid. It's not like this is anything particularly artistic, but I do have some references in here. So, get a few angles and a headshot or two. Should be good. I'll be fast with this. Is this about fan art or personal inspiration or specifically brings it to mind? I have no problem. Whatever the reason, I'm just curious. And okay, cool. This should be, and then top of the head. Just a few pictures from various angles. Oh, there's... Actually, that's right. I've never... There's nothing from behind, but frankly, there's nothing interesting about the behind part. It's just more pants and more vests. Monochromatic. Okay, cool. There you go. So you can check that anytime you feel like. For whatever reasons illicit or insidious you might have. So we've gone here already, and right, Venti Rosario, Barbara Jean Kai, we've talked to all of you already. Well, I would greatly appreciate that. It's. gives me stuff to put on schedules for one, and it's always cool to see what people create. You might have seen that one guy in the server was talking about making fan art before, and he was worried that it might not be quote unquote good enough, and I said, I assure you, anything you make is better than anything I could make, and even if it isn't, I still appreciate it. It really is the thought that counts. So we still have a razor over here. I guess the question is, what's that? It's taking a while. That'd be fair. I've had a number of digressions during speaking. Questions to talk about various things, which I have no problem with, it's just... Well, to be fair, as long as the hours are passing by, things could be much, much worse, and here you are, Razor, and then presumably you'll go back inside. Urawa. Urawa. Villages are a person thing. Toki-toki. Toki-toki, occasionally. I want to go. Sore ni. Omae mo iru. Omae mo iru. Kowakunai. If you're here, not afraid. Here. Here, thank you for bringing me. Okay. So he speaks in a very, I think childish might be wrong, but a very concise, blunt manner in Japanese. It's... I do like Todd Haberkorn's English voice acting for Razor. And frankly, I have a number of friends who are specifically Todd Haberkorn fans. But... I like how the Japanese makes him sound less feral and more thoughtful yet uneducated. He's not he's not dumb, just inexperienced. Kitchen. Kitchen and Shokuzai. Fukuzatsu complicated. Such so Shokuzai. Sukawanai, don't use it in the forest. Such so Shokuzai, which is for Zairyo, he uses the word for ingredients, but I guess Shokuzai would be more specifically ingredients for food, because the others could just be components. Hash potato. Nabitai. Well, it does. It does make it a lot easier for me to parse what he's saying, because it is very basic Japanese. He just says just Rupika, Wupika. You and the family. It always is interesting to see what is the same and what is different between various layers of translation. Because again, you know, there's Chinese to Japanese to English and a lot of other stuff, and then some other things from that English too. So there are some Genshin scripts that have gone through three layers of translation. Some perverse game of telephone. Looking for me, yeah. How do you like it here? Huh? Just says ah. The smell of here. The smell of you. Anzen. Sugokui. Very relaxing, very good. I smell like stars, see, wind will ask her. So for wind will ask her, probably because it's actually the Traveler's Ascension material, which is three years ago for me, plus. 
Stormers of the Sea, but the sea, maybe a sea of stars? Oh my well, stars, of course. Travel oh is a star, which might connect to Alistair Crowley stuff, actually. Happy? Nice. Because in the Fontaine world quests, as you may or may not know, there are a lot of references to real world occultisms, which, such as Hermeticism and Rosicrucianism and Kabbalah, which I thought was just combining things specifically just to be fun, but it's also very deliberately a reference to Thalama, which was a sort of witchcraft system made by a guy named Alistair Crowley in the early 20th century. He was British, I believe. I think he also spent, spent time in America. Among other things, one of his protégés. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very interesting. I'll show you something real quick, which is... I like. Oh, smell here is your smell. Good smell. Just in your life, you're adjusting. Oh, you're through, I'm happy. Is that I should still have the Orthant diagram, but... Let me see. Not over here, and there should be a map with this map fragment, and you see this. It's only the bottom part, but this is basically the bottom portion of... I think you can see it more in the Book of Revealing, but I don't want to go over there right now. So the bottom part of the Kabbalah Tree of Life diagram, also known as the Sefirot, which I believe is... Let me just check specifically. Is it the... I don't know Hebrew. I know that Sefar Sefirot is Book of Numbers. Sefar is Hebrew. Sefar. Sefar means book, so Sefirot just means numbers. So the Sefirot, or the numbers, are the Tree of Life, which basically describes in Kabbalah, which is a form of Jewish mysticism, various sort of aspects of God. And the ideal one, which is Keter, which means crown, which you might have heard from SCP, actually. They use that as their top level threat, basically, or containment difficulty for a monster or item or other quote-unquote anomaly. It's basically the complete unity of the divine, and there are other forms, like breath or presence, if I recall correctly. It's been a while. And then the other side, they have the Kweepa, the Kweepa, or shells, which are the opposite, the absolute disunity. No, it, Kweepoth, and the... And the top of the Kweepoth, the equivalent of Keter, is Thaumiel, which is the complete disunity of the divine. But the big thing is that, among just lore dumping about real world occultism, Kabbalah, that Rosicrucianism, which was... And Hermeticism, which are more just... More just plain magic systems. Not really religious, though. Hermeticism specifically relates to a figure name known as... Hermes Trismegistus, who, depending on your interpretation, was either a legendary human figure, or arguably, basically, the actual Greek god Hermes in his systemization with the Egyptian god Thoth. Because, if you've heard of the term interpretatio graeca, or Greek interpretation, the Greeks and also the Romans, who, again, were basically just Greece too, or at least wanted to be, they were just weeps for Greece, as you probably know, would, when they conquered a local area, when they conquered kingdoms, they would enable them to continue worshipping their gods and continue their customs. They would kind of take a lot of their practices that they liked and basically say that roughly equivalent gods in these new areas were basically equivalents of existing Greek and Roman gods. The Greek interpretation. And very specifically, they said that Thoth was essentially another interpretation of Hermes because they were both gods of, among, among other things, learning books and knowledge. So Hermes Trismegistus, or Thrice Great Hermes, which is also a term they use for Monomagistus, just means Mona the Great, and which a lot of people thought that was her real last name, but of course it's way to Hermetic Hermeticism and her master, Barbaloth Trismegistus, that's just specifically Trismegistus, as in Hermes Trismegistus, which just means Thrice Great Hermes, so you have Thrice Great Barbaloth. But in Fontaine specifically, like I said, you have references to the AA or the... I think the Adeptus Argentum, I know the second is Argentum, which is just silver in Latin, but it was Crowley's little cult for Thelm as a witchcraft system. They had Rosicrucian influences, Kabbalah influences, Hermetic influences. Rosicrucianism is, Hermeticism is also kind of like an alchemy system, so was Hermeticism. Kabbalah was not that, mostly, I would say. But basically one of the Tenets, and this is what I'm getting to, of Thelma was every man and woman is a star. 
And the Traveler is explicitly, literally, a star. And in one of Raiden's voice lines, which was remarked on a while ago, she talks about the Tango, and, let me see, about stars, about you, let me chat, about, there is, I know in some way she talks about the Shorin, Kurabata, Somewhere, somewhere, mortal world, worldly beauty. Where is something about calling us a star? And right, shooting stars at night, fleeting moments of luminosity, used to be one of them. Are you a Tango warrior? And that refers to a few things. The big thing is that the traveler says that the travelers are stars, which again ties into AA stuff. Crowley said a lot of people remarked on that in various lore tidbits. But the big thing is. Well, beyond that is that it's a reference to Tengu, because Tengu literally means, in the original kan kanji, heavenly dog. So there are a lot of variations on Tengu, in particular Chinese Tengu and Japanese Tengu. The Japanese Tengu are originally based on Chinese Tengu, like a lot of things in Japanese mythology, to the point that originally there weren't dragons even in Ch Japanese mythology before they took the idea from Chinese mythology, but... Originally, the idea of Tango in Chinese mythology was basically they were basically sentient falling stars. In Japanese mythology, there's a bit of that, but they're also generally just wolves slash dogs or crows that have taken on humanoid forms occasionally or just more sentient humanoid forms or gain intelligence at least. It's complicated. But also, their idea is that sometimes becoming a Tango is a punishment for basically failing to achieve Nirvana. That it's sort of a both higher and lower form, if I recall correctly, that you get to if you basically fail in enlightenment. And so kind of maybe a failed Buddhist monk sometimes. Japanese mythology gets very, very weird, especially in the points that impinge and infringe on other cultural mythologies. The ways in which they're both the same and different tend to be very, very interesting. Well, it... Possibly, but I think specific instances related to specific traveler names are hard to really glean anything from, because even as much as they use Aether in advertisement as the canon twin and Lumine as the canon of this princess, you still can choose each one. And in the original Chinese, her name is Ying. In Japanese, it's Hotaru. In, in all languages, in both Chinese and Japanese, Ether's name is just Sky. It's Kong in Chinese. It's Sora in Japanese. You've probably heard that name before. Which, it uses the same character, it just means Sky. Interestingly enough, the Chinese and Japanese characters used for Lumin are different. In Chinese, she's Ying, which just means light. But in Japanese, she's Hotaru, which means Firefly. Which is, coincidentally... The same name given, at least in Japanese, to Firefly from Star Rail, which, well, I haven't played. But the big thing is that there's a bit of difference there, but when there's a name meaning light, I guess the question would be, what name would be given to Lucifer in most Chinese or Japanese descriptions? Would it be rendered as sort of a Rushifa, or they translate it to something more directly meaning light bearer? I don't know. Body. Not good at chat. And it's hard how to find the right words. I understand what you're trying to say. Practice. Oh, that's cute. Good to be strong. Trying to speak more. Glass more than four. Jimen Yori. Sogen Yatsuki. Jimen four. Hiroi wide. Not big, but wide. Demo. Katai hard. Grass is big or small is good. Use and. Soka. Soreni. Soreni. Cooking it, better than raw meat, but he does eat, sometimes he gives him food poisoning. Oh, oh, I'll show you, I'll show you. Cooked meat, are they alright? Decent. I named him Futen, which is meant to contrast with Raiden. As in, Raiden and Futen are the Japanese gods of thunder and wind. So that's what I did. Which, honestly, maybe keeps him connected in a way he might not prefer, but I'm not using that appellative stroke right now unless I absolutely have to. Unless they ban me or something, and Futen suddenly offends people for no reason. I know a lot of people named him Shinji because he gets in the robot, which is funny enough. 
Oh. Even a zone who hasn't oh, no. seen Evangelion. Chat with me, not go to chat, talking is heard, I'll practice with you, practice, thank you, try to speak more. What did you name your wanderer? Speak more and grasp more than four. Hard and it smells good. Soka, it smells good, cook me, a bit of raw meat, right? So this was just the same no matter what I chose. And then, and then, and then. What do you think you'd like to do? Guard. Mamoritai to guard. You are the house, strong, you need to guard. Home for you, your home. Home is a guest, my Wupaka. Also my home, guard home. Interesting, rather you guarded me. No need to guard the house. You like, I like too. Mamayo. Mamoru. Goku ni itemo, wherever you go. There is danger. Blue and a. Oh, so is. Would it be Japanese? Would it be Ao? Or. Could we can protect you? And we can. I think you'd like to do guard for you, or the house. Ah, oh, nice. Only a guest. Wipaka, also my home. Guard home. Are oh, you guarded me? What do you like? I like to guard you. There you go. Okay. Cool. Oh, so I think it ends early if you just say guard me. Interesting. So what if I did the first and then chose the second option instead of? I like that because it's also a Japanese. It's Japanese, but it doesn't directly tie him to ride it, which again I doubt he would like. You go, go the home, and I guess so. My home, go to home. Oh, okay. No, I just go somewhere. So it's the same no matter what. Mostly says the same. And what do you say during daytime? You say morning razor. Oh, Ohio, but he doesn't run in the Japanese. Run, run, Hashiro, run. Call for me. Okay, call me. So I guess in the Japanese you might be saying more specifically, call me if you need me for hunting and running, not I'm hunting and running if you need me, call me, which is somewhat different. Ohio. Hunt, run, need me to shoot. Wait, did I? Is there a difference between. Does he not have a difference between daytime and nighttime, or. Just not make it nighttime enough. Let me see. Oh. Good night. Okay, we didn't get far enough. We also me. Never in night toki. Can't sleep. Oreo, they call me. Okay, so that was more specifically giving a specific intentionality of being called over. An intended purpose to be called over for, which is. Retained in one line, but not retained in the other. And that is the kind of thing, is that whenever you're translating, you do have to decide oftentimes between poeticism, for lack of a better term, and maybe actually prosaicism, just sounding natural and good in the language and conveying all the original intention. Okay, so Lisa, what are you doing, Jean and Fish? So Lisa, Mona, and Eula come in this one here. So the big question is, actually, I think that farming a few more Fontaine Crystals from Local Legends could be a great way to close things off, because I'm not going to have enough time to go through all of Leeway. Not even all of outside of inside, because we just got inside here. And then, Lisa and Mona. Mona. Oh, but, oh, oh, okay. So I need to do this one at a time. That's interesting. Oh, oh, but Lisa already went to the other place. Which is just over here because she's also in the laboratory. Hello there. Hi, Lisa. Eh? Pokewash Shuchin, thank you. Research. It's materials, imitate, initiate, not imitate, initiate experiments. Kekiru, useful. Yoshino, Kansata. Onesan, older sister. She doesn't say. Cutie, because in Japanese she would be, she would say, Kawaii Oko chan, which basically means great, cute, good kid. Which is probably at least slightly, deliberately a little overly verbose. Let's go over here and see. Hello, Lisa. R2. Put shelves in the fireplace, put my feet up, and so cozy. What's funny about it is that this is literally Jean's office. I feel like they were feeding shitbait 
I, as in actually built and put down, because I, I have every single companion set put down in all relevant teapots, so I have one teapot where I just have a bunch of stuff just haphazardly slapped down, all I'll go to like, just to get to maximum adeptal energy. And then that's one of the two Liyue ones, because there are two Liyue ones. And then the other Liyue ones, and then the other ones for the other nations, I just have those. Is <laughs> when's where I put the companion set down, and I thought I would be able to get through all, through all of them today, but I, I'm going to get through Mondstadt and nothing else. It's kind of crazy. So, we can just talk to it and see what you have to say. Ara, Tsukuri ne Kitano. Lost in thought. Like it here, conserve my well being, just as sweet as. Nesan, Kope, Yasurua, the heart. Love it here, like to renovate, improvements not at all. Special built personally, nitpicking, ruin creativity and charm. Wouldn't want that to happen. And then. Like it here. Warm and fuzzy, and any suggestions? Not at all. Again, so this is the same exact dialogue tree, when would that happen? Let's see what else. Got nighttime right now. I do find it funny that it's got the same sort of pseudo Mondstadt external skybox as you see right here. This is what they do on the inside of the Favonius headquarters, because this manor was based largely off of it. There's a bit outside that doesn't geographical correspond much of anything, though maybe arguably the a little bit to Windwell Highland, as of how. So this is basically, again, this is basically Gene's office, but isn't really connected to a specific place. You can actually see a bit of color differentiation. This is a bit more orange, this is a bit more green. Hard to see through the blue, though. Have a chat, and when would I ever not? Uh oh. We're in potion making, and that was the event. Last patch. Potion event was actually really, really fun. No, two patches. The potion event was really fun, honestly. Day chatting, borrowing books, special potions. What was... Last patch was... What was it? Last patch was Iridescent's short rhythm game. Borrowing books, people borrowing, the same as always, returning on time than before. Probably scaring them with lightning. So time, quite relieved. I suppose you... Oh, uh oh, now there is. Now the Lisa is. Oh my goodness. Okay. But if you're talking about teapot sets that have actually collected all the rewards for, would be only six or so, the ones outside. So that's what I finished, the ones from Mons out outside. Never not, and... Shokan. Books, I believe. Or, I'm probably reading that wrong. So potions, and... Textile softer. That's just fabric softer. Friggin' fresh and an air freshener. Requested personal interests. That's in nature. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Don't know how I feel about this. She still does have her Sumeru outfit. What would like to do, and if like afternoon tea, there's a tea, cake, rose with tea, just rose tea. Make it yourself correctly. Can't create if I put my mind to it, just that. Fun, these things would be worth all the extra effort. Nice like Lazy Lisa, don't think about energy spent if it's for you. Instead of asking for your preferences, that'd be a surprise instead. Kind of offer a little delightful. Sweet enough, uh oh. Okay, can you underestimating me? Yeah, I... Oh, goodness. That's right, you haven't seen. Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes. You know, I don't like to brag, but I have been at this game for about three years now. <laughs> and to be fair, some of them I did have to... One of them, for the Fontaine ones, was in Elenos down here. It was around the start, just in a treasure chest under a rock in this area that I actually missed when I was clearing it out. So I had to go back and find it, and of course, just so you know I'm being thorough, there's this too. I, well it's, it is well and truly a battle of attrition. It's not the kind of thing you can rush, it's not the kind of thing you should rush, because that burns you out like nobody's business. That said, I did rush all of Sumeru. By islands, do you mean Golden Apple? Because there wasn't a treasure compass in the first two Golden Apple ones, but I did try to get most everything when I played those. Big thing is, if you rush, you'll burn things out. I did rush Sumeru, and I liked that, but I, I was also streaming it, so I was able to have, you know, company during that time. Oh, Inazuma Fog. Oh, with Inazuma? That was actually really, really funny. Because when I was playing through that quest line, 
I explored everything I can, everything I could as soon as I unlocked it through doing the quest line. So on the third day, which was no, I think it's a four-day quest line, four daily, three daily resets, so four different days. When the red fog went over the island, I was able to take a picture where it said exploration percentage 100% with the red fog on the island, which was honestly kind of crazy. But the big thing about it is just. The chest cycling is really annoying, but especially with a treasure compass, especially since they buffed the treasure compass. Last patch, I believe, it should be much more doable. If it interests you. How do I y'all? There's no afternoon tea, and they just said afternoon tea, not a translation at all, fine with anything. So easy going, Rex and spending time. Trouble would make something nice, something I can't create if I put my mind to it. I get a surprise, extra effort, special, and. What does she need to do? Sweet enough already. Yeah, yeah, but... You know what the buff is now, right? Now that you know that it was a buff? Did you try it out or something? Or... Ta-da! Some thought and good night, Musa. We also me, Kali Oko-chan. Yep, Kali Oko-chan. Cute. Great. Little child. Not Oko-san, Oko-chan. Right. And just like even this hour, we're getting up sleep. Oh, okay, but do you know what the compass buff is? Do you want me to explain it, or... Well, I guess I will, just so you don't have to say anything. The big thing is just, it auto-refreshes... It comes off cooldown automatically when you open a chest, and it shows its exact location on the map. I used it a bit when I was out exploring Remoria, the underwater fontaine area, last patch. And it was pretty useful, but it wasn't crazy crazy. Frankly, I prefer exploring normally without using the compass, especially because... You arrive and just a second. Oh, hi, oh. Keep on top of everything that needs doing. Struggling, always available to lend a hand. Tuskete. Tuskare, probably. Is that when I explore, I like to try to stick to defined regions and go systematically. I like to stick to topographic levels of the map. So, for example, and go in circles, usually working inward. So, for example, sort of all these ridges, I would explore on top of them in this big circle and then work inwards. And the nice thing about it is that it means things get more convenient as time goes on. Because you don't have to go as far to explore, you know, this area from here as opposed to this area from here. When I did that on Desert of Hadramavet for last summer, oh, that was... I tried to wipe out all of Desert of Hadramavet, not quest-wise, I did that long before, that would have been crazy. But exploration was after having done the quests in a single day, which was basically all of this, which actually more like all of this because they didn't add this area quite yet back then. But I started from outside and worked my way in slowly, and that was <laughs> that was kind of crazy. It was nearly twelve whole hours. I think that's still the longest stream I've done. Period. Okay, well, Lisa, you can go home now. Go back to the library. I'm sure there's some book returns you need to take. That means we can put in so Mona or Yua first. I guess we'll go with Mona. We're doing this in a relative release order. And I think she also goes to the alchemy lab. It is still very, very convenient. There's no way around that. And is she in? She's not in here. So Oh, she went to the kitchen. Didn't know she, well, I guess maybe she can't afford her own. Maybe she's trying to steal ingredients. Oh well. Let's go this guy. Kitchen, the other shokazai. Shiba the sate, sate te kudasai. Give me the opportunity to inspect ingredients. Oh, she's actually taking ones. This should be full for one entire day. Limited ingredients. Bring these. Welcome to try some as well. So yeah, she helped me. She helped herself to my ingredients. So she wouldn't have to spend any money on them herself. I kind of saw that one coming. What's the... Wait, what? What daily quest? What daily quest did Mondstadt? Because I know that it was around here, right? What daily quest did they move? Or did they add a new daily? That would be cool. But, hello. Wait, wait, which daily? Oh, is in Wait, with the Mona one? The Mona daily, or? Is it as well? Don't mind if I stack all the store maps, I bought. But on sale. Wait, wait. As in which which daily? Which daily? I don't know. I didn't know about that. That's cool. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't even... 
I've gotten that one multiple times. I didn't even think about the location being moved. I just thought I'd never gotten that one before and actually kept forgetting. Right, because they moved it over Oidal South by Kui's treasure pit, right? I didn't even think about the connection. That's actually really cool. Thanks for bringing that up. That's a really, really nice observation. Sail, use of space, plan this out more carefully. Okay. Now you're just back here so we can get your normal dialogue lines. Very... How many other sets are in here? That is Mona and Tertaglia is so it's only Razor, Mona, and Mika for Monsa. The rest would be Riwei. Oh, well, I suppose so, but I think you could also make the argument that they moved it semi-permanently in case they wanted to maybe bring the minigame back eventually. Especially given how, it's a bit far-fetched, but Imaginarium Theater ended up being, and okay, so Yule is up there too. So once we get Yula through, that will be all for the monster ones for now. We don't have Kui, so we can't get her rewards yet. But one day, one day, we'll get Kui, we'll get her a friendship 10, and we'll send her through the teapot. Some of my predictions. Goho. I get here. Four facilities, first class, very comfortable here. Hard to adjust once I we, we before it's too late. Serious. Astrologist pride, goodness. We're evicting you. Before you let that pass, we would repay you somehow. Be indebted. Because Imaginarium Theater, there was an event a few patches ago that was also a sort of make a team using a randomized lineup that was, in that case, it was all trial rental characters. You know, Imaginarium, we can use our own in addition to the trials. But when people were getting leaks about Imaginarium, they were saying, okay, this, that event was very plainly a dry run for Imaginarium. The potion event was really, really, really cool. I liked it way more than I thought I would. And it was very gameplay it was very gameplay heavy, very little story. It wasn't even fighting gameplay. But the way they made that puzzle work, especially because I managed to very, very quickly just cheese a lot of the management stuff and was able to get hilariously high amounts of top level ingredients. The stacking mechanic honestly really drove it home. Just because early on it's just to make things actually fit with the ingredients you have. Once you get to max level, the stacking is something you actually need to maximize to get the most high-level ingredients on there as possible to get max-level potions. Figuring out how to actually get totally max-rating potions was very, very cool. You know, having to use that is just extra spaces you can basically choose where to put instead of just a crutch. It was a lot more interesting of a puzzle system than it had any right to be. I'll say that much. I would not complain if they added it. Something kind of like TCG. A little bit? Hard to adjust, stay forever. TCG is also very, very fun. Really? Able to live in such a wonderful place? Am I dreaming? It's all just a pride, huh? Let that pass? Think of a way to repay you. Be indebted. You know, you know... I feel like I should leave some relevant characters in here. Yeah, I liked how they... Sort of piled onto some of the aspects they had with the wine sale event a couple years ago. The sort of Sumeru, I believe. The Ballads and Brews, if I recall correctly. The one where you got you could get mailed flower? No, it was Miss of Wind Spirit, not mailed flower. Mailed flowers from the other wind bloom. Around Kaveh's time. It was the Sino and the spirit that was arguably sort of an okayish four star for Sino. Thing, the thing for me is... All of that is ultimately just banking off of, from the very first patch of the game, the sort of spending money to buy stuff for right of parting. Predictions and... Mona and Yula have a chat. Right, good spirits, I mean you wish to know, some of your knowledge, how studious. That's Scar, Haku Shiki, Scar, above and earth blow, tentative astrology, practical advice, like a lot. Means cost-effective meals if you cook them thoroughly. Maybe sales, rains, and dry food. So you're gonna suggest making the lentils? Oh, and beef jerky. Not take Mona for a beef jerky girl. All right, once you try, master these secret wonders hidden deep. They're all money-saving tips. It's so funny. Chat with me and let's see, eat a show. Some new knowledge and studious erudite. Then, life experience, of course, and... Okay, this is just the same as before, yeah. 
I'm not saving money. Oh, impolite. Oh, goodness. Disciplined life. Objective laws of the world. So we're going to be more disciplined to understand the world's truths. So that's a sticking point. Okay. Anything you'd like to do? Spare time? A vacation? An inhabited island? So basically golden apple, arguably. Just like for Shadowrun. Though she was in the second, golden apple, not the first. She's going to have a spare, right? This man of the one track mine, choose the world, vacation is the way to be the end, a long time ago. Savings are up, but that's some of it. Hardcover comp is a manuscript, saved up enough, can't use your money. It's worth it, set aside some time. Your word. So I guess you could arguably see that it's for Shadow and Golden Apple Archipelago 2, which was... A lot of people hated Archipelago 2, I loved Archipelago 2. Especially, especially the domains, except... The Kazu one, the Kazu one actually made me feel nauseous, which is not something that often happens to me in games, but it, it actually, it kind of repulsed me that it was sort of a mega structure, sort of perverse building. All the changes in orientation were, it was unpleasant and not in an interesting way. Just kind of freaked me out. Prepare them, of course. Prepare them a long time ago. Saving money, saving zhar. Can't use your money. What do you mean by that? Consider it. Want to do it? It's fine. Set aside some time. Okay, cool. So in that case, let's see what she says during daytime and what she says during nighttime. Good morning. Hi. Oh, hey, Ogazamas. Time for you. Something you can't resolve. So nighttime, and then it's just Yula, and then that'll be all of Mon's dad. And then I'll take out a few of the... Take out the ocean local legends. I find it very funny that despite being the least threatening, arguably, normal enemies, the Bubber Beast in Local Legend is probably the most annoying to fight. Because there isn't really a crazy weakness in the same kind of way. So if you're determined, now there's enough time in a day to replenish your strength. Holy crap, I didn't realize accidental Scaramona. Never mind. So now we put Yule in. Then we. Sorry you couldn't stay. I honestly, like I said, I feel like I should leave some characters in here who are relevant. Why is Yula between Raiden, Toma, and Yoinia? I really wonder how they decided how these work. So she's upstairs right now, and okay, we can't awesome. climb that. That's alright then. Mm -hmm. Simply go in here, and hello there. Hi, tired. Furnished little place, good lighting, never will do just fine. Take raises of luxury and duty, arrange it horrifically, test those customs, and really relax. Well, with everyone except Seth Austin Clarent, yes. I very deliberately cycle characters who aren't at Friendship 10 into my commissions party as soon as possible. And as long as I can do it, it's still so cool they can... How, he sh how she can literally throw bullets into her gun. Crazy party trick. Try to use as many new characters as possible doing domains and other events. Other things that give friendship experience in order to get them to 10 as soon as possible. It's all about that efficiency. It's not even really about the name card. I don't display name cards as trophies. I don't even really use other name cards. I've been using... I've been using this Challenger name card one with Azza forever. That said, I... I used to have Zhongli as my profile character. I... My... Now that you bring it up, honestly, maybe I should change it to... Wanderers. Fair enough. At least for now. Thin Snow Abide. Okay. That's a fun difference. I used to actually like Blue a lot more as a color, though of course, as you can tell, then... I... oh... In terms of gameplay, or in terms of... Just liking their character. Because I... In terms of character, I like... I just love all of the Fatui. Honestly. I find it hard to choose. I think, maybe in that case, I would say... All the Harbingers and former Harbingers are a tier above the rest. Lenny a little below that, Lynette and Fremini together a little below that, but I love all of them. Level of moral complexity and grayness. None of them are evil evil, but none of them are good good. They're very human and have a lot of interesting and complicated motivations to pry into. Just very, very fun to optimize and all. I mean, to analyze them all. Like, like, memories, books that taught adequate no avail, I had to memorize them all. Yola with the book. Yola at the Cotillion. 
I can get myself down, look forward to head to my new life. And now she's just back here, so we can chat a little bit. Out of playable characters, I would say... Probably in that case, three-way tie between Wander slash Scaramouche, <laughs> or Lakino and Tartaglia. If I had to choose one... If I had to choose two, then Wander and Arlequino. If I had to choose one, probably Wander. <laughs> a lot of it is frankly just... I've had him on my commission team without hardly ever leaving unless I had to do stuff for friendship. Except actually, last patch, I used my Chevros, Arlequino, Yai, hey. official team a lot. Because it destroyed things. But just, he moves so fast, he can literally fly, and he does good damage without having to roll on reactions, just base numbers. Got a good artifact set, and when I was rolling for Orokino's side, I also got this funny thing, so that made him a bit better. That said, for actual Abyss stuff, he still uses Witsith a bit more, but for normal overworld stuff, he gets good use out of Scabbard Atlas, and it also lets me do normal spam instead of charge attack spam. Because before that, without external buffs, he would actually want to use Dodico Tails instead of Witsith, unless, again, he can use Atlas instead, so using Dodico Tails, which meant wasn't doing normal spam, I was doing charge attack spam, which is frankly as silly as it sounds. Okay, cool. Family responsibilities. What is it? How do you like it here? What kind of question is that? Not so many's good hand. Goblins, want to know your feelings? Tender soul. Very good or bad? There you go. Is that so? I'm not looking. Do not notice. Vengeance will be mine. It's always yours. It's your only character trait. Question is that. Not someone who's got a hand in confidence, feelings. Tender, neither good nor bad. Gentle expression. Goodness. Okay, that have a little echo to show her thoughts. Anyway. Basically, think about my revenge. Consider my revenge. A chat and to get bored, speak, seek vengeance. Summit for our treasure hoarders. Springville Hunter attacked by a monster. Was that drought? Eaten and wine, so maybe drought. So there's a monster. This insult worth remembering. Not just that. Stomach ache and enjoy it. You know, I do appreciate. A lot of the characters' teapot voice lines feel very dated, due to the fact that we've actually had some level of character development for a lot of characters, such as. You know, Shenha, for example, becoming a waitress, Koei going to the academia, and frankly, and a lot of it is probably just writing her differently rather than an actual change, just the fact that when Yo has shown up since, she's been a lot less annoying about the whole vengeance thing. Yeah, she... she was in Valorian Mirage last summer. I don't, I don't remember hearing vengeance once. Draw the line to the same mind. Chat with you made me feel a lot better, thanks. Good old unsociable Yule. Then, to get bored and let's see the other pathways in this branch. Attacked by a monster and weren't injured. Small frog like that can't hurt me. So good stomachache couldn't enjoy it. And some too. What? Make a storm crest pie. Make me feel a lot better. And Yule still does have the arguable, maybe arguably dubious honor because it makes raise some question about the game of being the only character with a four-star signature dish. The only character with a four-star signature dish. I wonder if they could ever give someone a five-star dish. The only five-star dish is still Adeptus's Temptation to do. I wonder who would, who would fit. So it's not John Yu. They give her something else. Oz is not a Jian. I do still find it kind of silly that they changed the name Jian to Adeptus. That was, you know, at the start of the game, where they were more attempting to hide that they were a Chinese game. To accompany you, what a weird statement. Dance of Sacrifice. Act 1, Flickering Candlelight. Dance of Swordplay, need to learn to dance first. Favorite artistic pastime, time to learn. Do what? Snape's Dance Ups first, then we'll talk. Avarice is Grievous of Vengeance. Want any new grievance? Deep and inextricable. Okay, so, uh, let me see. Ritaikoto, a thing to do. And that's strange. Dance of sacrifice and that's time. And step on your feet. Dark Sims Grievous of Vengeance. New grievance. Long been inextricable. Then nighttime message. 
Good night, Oyasumi. Shirohara Zeus sleeps better than anyone else. Might have said this already, but there are only seven characters I do not have. Hirara, Koi, Nilo, and four Inzuma characters. Ayato, Ito, Ayaka, and Kokomi. So I started the game a little before Inazuma's release, at the end of 1.5, which is actually right when Yula came out. Oh, I need to change data. And so as a result, when Inazuma was first getting released, I was focused more on getting older characters in order to release that I'd seen before and wanted, and then getting the new characters as they came out. So I'm a bit behind on that, but... Ohayo, an act of vengeance for in one piece. Sarunai, don't forget. Okay. Not remember more, don't forget. One piece? No comment. Okay, let's clear the house out. Oh, but I need to... So you're in here. Be fun to leave Mona in here. She does... Well, she has a house. It's not as nice of one. I... It's... When the model upgrade comes shortly, it's very, very... I guess I can tell you a bit ahead of time. It's... I deliberately formulated it to try to be somewhat original without being overly complicated. Because I care too much about these things. But basically, the idea is sort of a manifestation of grudge, hatred, vengeance. Not specifically a yokai. Not Japanese enough for- oh, and the boat's there, that's fun. Basically, an avatar of a curse, who decided to take the form of an angel to represent his desire to not sort of be evil. To not simply be an avatar of hatred and resentment. And it's a bit overly complicated, and that was a change. That was something I changed, because when I originally started, I it was literally just a dark, e a dark angel, not an evil angel, just a dark angel without wings. So it changed a, it changed a good deal, but that's what the concept is right now. So I'm gonna put in the team that makes the best use of everything underwater. So that would be Nuviet, Furina, Accidental Nubi, Fury, Lynette, and then Fremine. That's more stamina consumption, more stamina regain, more speed, and more abilities. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I, it was more or less, well, I, the design inspirations that I gave to the guy who I was able to get a model upgrade for at relatively low cost, gave him some design inspiration ideas, some characters, Skarmouche is on there, obviously. Skarmouche, this is going to sound kind of silly. Dark Pit, Shadow, the Hedgehog. Glad you like it. Oberon Vortigern from Fate. Who I chose not only because I liked him a lot, but because he was one of the few Fate characters to get high up on the recent Japanese Yuma Joshi poll. But that's neither here nor there. And then Bloodborne's... Bloodborne's Hunters, including Lady Maria. My guy should have a coat with the final design, but we'll see. And then in terms of Pokemon, Haxorus, Volcarona, and Flygon. There we go. So there you have it. <clears throat> That's your list of what the eventual inspirations will hopefully be. Oh, I went the wrong way. So where is... Let me see. All the locations... Of, oh, that was right over there. The first funny... Walrus, Blubber Beast, basically. I I could do this now. I could do this later. I am approaching... Yeah, I am approaching six hours already, and six is already a bit overkill, so... I should find... Who is your favorite local legend? I feel like I should just find a local legend real quickly to hit. Six precisely is a quick little thing to do at the end. Got the funny guys over here, but I've usually fought them with the Zhao, Fiorina, Shawnee, and Farazanti, but I've fought them a lot. Also, the guy, Liam over here, Rocky Ableton over here, too. You know what? I'll go fight, I'll go fight Rocky. I have a decent team that just totally cheeses him using Scarra, among other characters, so that would be... 
Orzon Yuan and Bennett Bennett right. Thank you, thank you. I don't worry I've beaten him before. And if I'm lucky I can do it again. Lack of a shield might be a bit annoying. The big thing is that Scaramouche can actually completely juggle. Completely juggle humanoid enemies. Yeah, which normally doesn't mean all that much, but so both of them have fab bows right now and not fab sort of right. Normally we want you to use Scoured Blade. It'll be really, really funny after all this big talk. I just got my butt kicked. Frankly, it's more likely than I like. Let's see. The big thing also is my OC, for lack of a better term, has a bit of a fire aspect as a character. Or at least that was an idea I wanted. Some of the color scheme sort of, well, sort of a darkness and fire aspect, which part of the reason for that is that I've been playing through the Dark Souls games, and oftentimes I've been using a lot of fire magic and dark magic because it's fit the silly challenge-ish build I've been running, which is leveling every set equally, which, generally speaking, is pretty much strictly suboptimal. And usually in Souls games, dark magic and fire magic either don't rely on stats at all or scale off of both magic stats. So usually I can actually make use of them pretty capably. And then, of course, since I scaled physical stats too, I basically run a sort of spell sword with... Uh, spell sword with... Oh my goodness, I did not intend to do that. Let's just out of the way and take that down and sort of magic enchanted spell sword build, which is a lot of fun for me. I run it because I personally enjoy it, not just because I think it's a fun challenge. And frankly, I've kind of thought maybe calling it a challenge is a little silly because the main reason I run it that way is because I personally enjoy that method of gameplay. And oh my goodness, I dodge and dodge and oh my, ooh, right, right, right. We need to get some of that back. I, oh my, dodge and... Okay, we got that out of the way, so we can... Oh, goodness. I, okay, can we... Oh, the energy issues are really, really working up here. I don't like that. That is why this is so hard. He just dodged out of the way and totally dodged everything I had. That is kind of crazy. Okay, cool. Hit and keep on. Yeon's time and Farzan's time might be a little off here. Getting the burst back is going to be more trouble than I might like, but... This works really well, and the fall damage, too, is really, really strong. It's probably the most amusing part of this team to me. Just the fact that you can knock him up in the air and do a lot of damage just to be able to make him fall down. And just dodge. Oh my, what? No. I need to get out of the way before you kill me. And this should be good. Farzan's a good, got a good amount of uptime. And thank you. Get out of the way before you hit me. And you hit me that successfully. Charge attack and dodge. Thank you. That was well timed. And take this guy down. And oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. And there we go. Goodbye, Rocky. Well, we didn't kill you, because you're just going to come back tomorrow, and also you did use a smoke bomb instead of disappearing into both particles, which is what happens when someone maybe not dies, but disappears from the ley lines, which is why it happens to... Well, the machines just explode, because it's okay to kill robots. There's no such thing as robot gore. There is, apparently, it's okay. But trolls and most animal-type enemies will just disappear into the ley lines. Okay. So, let's just take these guys down. Sorry, Hillatrills. But your time is gone. Then we can... Alright, get that down. And get that, and boom. Take that, and go for a few more hits. Thank you, goodbye. But does he have... Witsit? No, he had Scarred Atlas, so... Presumably, actually, especially because of the crit rate bonus, Witsit is better with Bennett on the team because he doesn't need as much attack. So you can focus on the other buffs, as in damage bonus, with the also his attack, but it's two other things too. The damage bonus and the elemental mastery bonus. Well, the elemental mastery bonus doesn't do much for Skara, but whatever. It's not here nor there. He can do some damage if he's swirling the on a hydro app, but whatever. And then, and then, and then you have... Saiyan. Of course, the crit rate buff and Witsith, so... A decent amount was accomplished. Thank you for sticking around. I think I've been on for six hours now with some minor interruptions and be back on tomorrow and Sunday at a similar time for Sekiro and then more other stuff next week. Again, you are in the server, so you'll see what happens. Wait for the new schedule and also, don't want to rush you, but if you put out fan art, you will be in the queue to be added as 
added to the schedules with your precious funky little name in the credit bar. So thank you so much. It was a lot of fun chatting with you today, so I'll see you next time. Sayonara again. Thank you.